jewelry makers how are we all it's the weekend it's time to party it is isn't it do you call friday a weekend yeah friday friday day. <laughs> friday day. <laughs> saturday sunday yeah um tuesday's the weekend for you ads well i suppose it was and thursday yeah different weekends ours is because yeah, obviously yeah shift. different shifts and whatnot look who's with us today it's lovely charlie <laughs> Good morning. how are you doing darling i'm great thank you it is my friday today <laughs> is your friday today so you have got the weekend i have got have the you weekend. got any plans well i've got a little bit of work to do i've got a bit of catching up to do but other than that i want to get in the garden yes I really want to get in the garden we've got a little plot of land that we want to get some crops growing on and we've not prepared ah. anything yet so i know when you say crops it's what like are you Charles growing Dimmick, isn't it um well we want to plant sweet corn because nice. it's um agricultural green belt land you can only grow certain things so right, we okay. have to be clever about what we're doing but because it's been so boggy we haven't been able to do anything it's just it's just bog land weirdly enough i've just checked the weather yes forecast because michael's going away oh. michael wolf he's uh, he's on another uh, channel today um and he was saying he's going down to lovely devon oh and i said oh what's the weather like and it's going to be nice apparently yes. Touch wood, yes, touch wood, touch wood, to touch wood. Is it? Yeah. I need to cut my grass. Yeah, get it done. Get, get it, it done, done this today. Weekend. That could be our texting topic. What are you up to this weekend? Are you getting in the garden? Are you, are you growing anything? I grow weeds very well, <laughs> very successfully. <Are> we <laughs> <laughs> weeds a weed is only a flower where you don't want it to grow i know well i'm very good Except at growing nettles. those <laughs> yeah very good at growing those i do Hardy. need to get better like i say this to mark all the time my my um idea of gardening basically is stick it in hope for the best yeah yeah that, that's a good way to go yeah <laughs> doesn't go. always work but Some, it doesn't always work yeah but my my olive tree by the way update is doing really well Ooh. yeah I know. Got an olive tree. Well, hundred pounds from home yeah. bargains. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, I didn't even know they sold them. Yeah. Bargain, isn't it? Yeah. I know. I keep going on about this olive tree. I'm shut up about it. Um, we've got gorgeous Dan as well. Oh, gorgeous Dan. <laughs> How you doing? Did I take you by surprise then? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Lovely Dan. Have you got any plans this weekend? Blues. There you go. I knew it'd be something football related. You going to watch or are you working? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Probably oh. Work. You might be working. So when he says working, you're camera, aren't you? Yeah, oh wow! Yeah, it does. Yeah, he does, yeah look. Big screen. Oh, you that's clever Dan. That's boy. Dan, yeah. recording all the footballers. Performing better than the players. Oh, are they not doing? Are they not? doing well? Blues. Oh dear. Oh dear. Blues. Come on, pull your socks up. Um, we've got beautiful Lauren as well. Hi, Lauren. Are you all right, lovely? Have you got any plans? Shopping! Mm. Oh, that's always fun. That's a good plan. Shopping for what in particular? Clothes. Clothes shopping. Anything. Love it. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I went clothes shopping. I know. I know every time you pull something out of the wardrobe, it doesn't fit. Yeah. It did last year, not with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's a conundrum. They <laughs> shrink, that, don't yeah, they? they? Do. My wardrobe has the ability to shrink my clothes. Yeah. yeah. And mine kind of travels to my daughter's room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that issue just yet. <laughs> Hello, lovely Roscoe. Are you all right? Give us a little wave, Roscoe. Give us a little wave. Where is he? Where is he? Can we see you? Lean it. There he is. Well, there's his hands anyway. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit creepy. <laughs> That's all you see of Ross, by the way. Just like his thing. hands. Just like thing. Yeah, absolutely. You got any plans this weekend? I know obviously you're here with me. Selling beautiful gemstones, he says. And handsome Adam. Hello, handsome Adam. What are you doing this weekend other than being here with us? Aiding the sales of beautiful gemstones, he says. <laughs> yeah, amazing. We're going to have a hoot this weekend. You've got an absolute stunner lined up, and it all starts here, jewelry makers. Can we talk about your deal of the day? Because some time ago, I forget how long, but um, we launched for the first time our alhambra inspired sterling silver strand so instead of it being just the shapes they're encased in the sterling silver um, and you get the links in between so the first time now that sold out sold out in an absolute heartbeat and immediately afterwards wasn't it roscoe we went to up to the powers that be and said look we need to do that again we need it in onyx we need it in more colors mm. Um, and ideally, it's sort of, well, more. We just want more. We want more, 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 more. Um, and it's taken probably about six months, would you say, Russ? 
Yeah, about six months to actually for it to appear. Today we are launching it. We've got the most beautiful necklace that's been put together by um, our lovely Mark. I mean, look at that. It's and of course, Van Cleef use onyx as well. Yes, they do. With all these lovely colours. So you can see the strand just before you as a pair of earrings because they come in pairs as well. So oh. if you wanted to, you could do, you know, the kind of the blue onyx, you could do the green onyx, the black onyx, nice. you could separate them into their pairs. So that is your 10 o'clock deal of the day, jewellery makers. It's going to go crazy. We've got 150. It is sterling silver as well. 150 of those available. So make sure um, <clears throat> you're ready to secure yours. Um, we've also got jewellery makers back by very popular demand. We have the return of San and Scan. San and Stan, Cartier. We had some carvings yesterday. Um, the Imperial variety. We have it in the rounds, um, eight millimeter rounds. It's totally natural, same gemstone that you're seeing in Cartier at the moment, San and Scan. And we also have it in those lovely nuggets. The nuggets, there. by the way, is one of the lowest prices that you will ever see San and Scan in. It's an expensive gemstone, it's very rare. It's new to me, I don't, I'm learning every time. It's a I'm... variety of jade. Right. It's uh, Cartier using it. Um, it's very difficult to get hold of because it does flake oh, naturally. So hard to you, work with. Yeah, absolutely. Cutters. Very yeah. difficult to cut and carve and polish. So um, huge sizes. Those are coming your way. They're brand new. We've also got lots of stock opportunities on your Cotan. You know, you, those of you that know me know, say definitely if you are a collector of gemstones, get your Cotan now because they believe within the next couple of years it's going to be mined out. That's oh. 10,000 years of history gone. So get it now. Um, and we've also got some amazing pearls. Your early bird are super, super, well, they're early bees. That's what they are. <laughs> they're early bees. They're very sweet. And I don't think, let me grab some tweezers. I don't think we've done anything quite like this before um, because we've done bumblebees. Bumblebees are a massive inspiration, aren't they, in jewelry? However, these little buzzy bees, you'll see, have got a difference. I'm, do you know what? Charlie, I'm visualizing these, you know, like a little bubble style, like oh, a cluster of gemstones, created, yeah. like created a little flora, uh, flora, yeah, yeah, flower, yeah. <laughs> and then you could have your little bee in there as it well. It's tucked in, oh. I quite like it as a charm ring, I'll add it to other, like you said, two other bits, it's super cute. It's very cute, isn't very it? And shiny. you get four of those as well, get four of them, aren't they sweet? I'll show you the silver too, aren't they beautiful? And they are carved. Aww. So these are coming up when? End of this hour. Can we shop ahead on these then? You can, and you've got them in the rose gold as well. Now, coming up on today's show, jewellery makers, eight o'clock is your early bird hour, so you've got your bee charms, you can shop on those, but remember every item that we bring you um, <coughs> will disappear off the website um, at nine o'clock, so make sure you're checking them out. Some of the items will also be quite low in quantity. Nine o'clock is all about our lovely Charlie, who's going to be teaching us how to do adjustable rings. Yeah, with a twist. Right. Okay, um, so I've kind of made a, a fully custom piece, mostly because I thought it can't have been a happy accident that they sent me a C initial ring. Ah. So when I looked at the birthstones, there was a peridot in there. So. Ah, you're an August baby. Yes, I am. There you so go. I thought, oh, well, look, why that's not? that's beautiful. I've got a great little tool to get that lovely little flaring on the edge as well so there's some some nifty little things in there amazing looking forward to that so that's at nine o'clock ten o'clock is all about your um your alhambra inspired onyx clovers in a sterling silver strand we've got 150 of those um 11 o'clock that's when you're going to see your cotan some pearls lots of other amazing gemstone selections and then 12 o'clock is about i'm intrigued the rain dance ring What's yeah, the it, rain dance ring? Well, really, it can be boodles? anything. <laughs> oh, getting a bit of boodles. So you're channeling the right, right yeah. direction. It's just you can make you totally make it your own. Yeah, you know, and there's some oh. other little bits in there as well. So there's. I don't want you to be frightened of it because it does look like it's an epic make, but it's actually quite straightforward when you've broken it down into bite-sized pieces. So we'll talk about that as Charlie, well. Charlie, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. So really looking forward to that demonstration Real. as well. As always, we want to hear from you lovely jewellery makers. Drop us a message. Tell us what you're up to. Um, come and say hi and we'll have fun. We will have fun for the foreseeable. <laughs> Shall we get cracking? Remember your little buzzy bees? You get four of those bees, by the way. Um, <clears throat> Oh, it looks like I've got like some kind of like 80s 
uh, aha video vibe going on on my monitor. Can you see this, Dan? Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, I feel <laughs> like I should be on some kind of 80s video because yeah, it's like, oh, okay. Okay. Is that what our customers are seeing no, as well? No, no, no. You're not seeing it. Okay. It just, you know, it's when you, uh, it would be quite cool because honestly, I look like I'm in some 80, you know, remember the sun always shines on TV. Was it that one? No, it wasn't. It was take on me. And she comes out in the magazine or he goes into, I don't know which way, but it looks a little bit like that. Anyway, anyway, should we get clacking? Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Because I don't think you can see what I can see anyway. Let's do what, sorry? Agate Donut. I got it. This one? Here it is. Morning, everybody. They've all gone? That's because everybody knows the process. They know you, Ross. They saw that little hand. So the little hand waving, they were like, I know Ross, I know what he's going to do. He's going to do a pound deal. They're speedy. One pound. It's gone. Well done. Well done. I have some lovely crazy lace agate. Crazy lace, one of the rare varieties of agates because it's totally natural, isn't it? So rare, so rare. Pardon? So <laughs> rare that Ross does this silly price tag. <laughs> I mean, that makes no sense, Ross. Crazy Lace Agate oh, is, is, is a more expensive variety of agate. And yet here we are doing the cheeky pound. He's bonkers. He is as a box of frogs. <laughs> as a box of frogs. Crazy as a box of frogs. Um, <coughs> well done, well done. Ratlicky Reserve on, yeah, beautiful. And some calibrated stones here as well. Mm. I think this is a bit of Charlie, this. Very. Oh, they're beautiful too, Charlie. Look at these. I did have a sneaky peek earlier. Did you? I did. It's I could put one in my pocket. <laughs> Sneak it. Wouldn't. Sneak it. And I'd be like, oh, there's so jolly. I've only got one here, but don't worry. You get two. <laughs> Our audience know the drill. Studio samples. Yeah, sometimes oh. the odd piece goes a little bit wayward. <laughs> and let's be honest, it's only 50p anyway. Because oh, really? we're charging them a pound for a pair. Pound yeah. for a pair. Yeah. Oh. You need to bring your phone into the studio, Charlie. Yeah, I know. Um, right then. Lemon quartz, leather, Le leather. Right, okay, sorry, Ross. I have with pearls. Oh, these are lovely. So you got your little slider bracelets, and you get them in three different colours. I like those. They're beautiful, aren't they? Um, saves you the hassle. They are leather, and they're genuine cultured pearls. Plus, you've got that. I can't remember what knot that is. It's not a Solomon's bar. It's different, isn't it? I only know a sliding knot. Is it that? Well, yeah, basically. <laughs> Let's just stick with that. You get all three of them as well. $39.99. So that's working out at £13.33 per bracelet. Very on trend. You get three. How about $9.99? So that's £3.33 per leather cultured pearl sliding bracelet. That's fab, isn't it? It's amazing. Yeah. And you basically just attach, choose whichever colour you wish. You attach what you want just here. Could you use and your clovers? You could use, oh yes. Use the, use the four leaf clovers That'd that we've got lovely, coming up today. Just one of them there. there. Amazing, lovely piece of jewelry. So on trend at the moment. You get three of them, it's not worth making them, is it? Uh, it's just bonkers, isn't it? Yeah, save yourself the hassle. Make, pearls. Um, make sure you check it out though, everybody. How many have you got, Ross? 10 mm. left. And I can see Lucy, Five, Tracy, Derbyshire, Angela, Samantha, Lisa, Andrea, Northamptonshire, Rachel wants four, Kim, um, lots of multi-buyers. So we've only got 10 left. So make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. And don't be shy, texting, come say hello. Love to hear from you. I feel very rested at the moment. I feel like I've had a nice little, little, little bit of downtime. It's only bit, what's that? <laughs> I mean, probably, yeah, to be honest. Ross Adams just said, Al, you've only worked two days, haven't you, in the last month? <laughs> I do feel like I haven't been here a bit, though. I've done more than that. I'm sure I've done more than that. But yeah, I, I think I only had one age. shift off, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> on, I only had one shift off. <laughs> Says he, who was off for two weeks last mm. month. Um, yeah, so, and, and Roscoe, who just <laughs> practically took the whole month off last in, of March, didn't you? And you're having your next long week off as well, are you? What are you doing now? Watching Coventry, Coventry City are going to Wembley. Are they really? 
Sorry, I know nothing about football, but even I can't get my head around that. Are they? Are they doing well? Yeah. Just a bit. <laughs> Unlike Blues. We're playing tomorrow. You're oh. playing them tomorrow. <laughs> and then you're a stag do. Where are you going? Mm. Hamburg. Oh, that's going to be messy, isn't it? <laughs> um, hello, Miss Janet. Uh, I got these when Claire launched them. Lovely quality. Thank you, my darling. They're great, aren't they? Great, and as if they were £3.33. pence. Hamburg. Now, I feel like Tom's been on a stag do to Hamburg, and um, I remember there was photographs. They're all dressed up. I think they were gnomes. <laughs> I feel like all these, like, 30-something men Brilliant. were dressed up as gnomes. And then I think the groom was Snow White. <laughs> and they were on... Um, in Hamburg, they were on this bike where they all pedal. So it's the one bike. They all pedal and drink beer at the same time. Oh, that sounds fun. It does. I do that. <laughs> yeah, it does sound. It got very messy. Yeah. Very, very messy. I don't know. He was in no along the way. And... Exercise. <laughs> I, I feel like there's cobbled streets, maybe. <laughs> Ringing the bell. <laughs> Dressed as a gnome. Uh, why not? That, what are you going fancy dress? Stag do, you've got to dress up, right? Uh, no. No, so you mean you're not going to be a gnome? Oh, oh. disappointing. That was her just saying Tom is a gnome. They had to dress up as gnomes. They've been all sorts. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Let's do. Uh, he's just having a moment. Hang on. Ridged crimpy covers. Yeah, I know what you mean. You get two lots. Here they are. So decor it's a, I think the launch of these was actually the first time that we'd ever seen decorated crimp bee covers. They're brilliant, aren't they? Super sparkly. Love them. Yeah, very cute. Because, you know, instead of it just being a, a, a smooth bead, you've actually got a pattern to them as well. Um, now, let me see. You're getting two packs, 10 of each design, different sizes as well. Um, 39.99, these are solid 925 sterling silver jewelry makers. How many do we have available? 36 okay that's not a bad quantity they did absolutely fly though didn't they on the original launch um <clears throat> and i get it you get 20 of them I, I i get why they flew because like i said in our for almost 14 years i don't think we've ever actually done a designed crimp bead cover yeah they're not something you stumble across all the time are they no I well you were talking about anywhere. this where do you see items like yeah, this yeah that's it jewelry maker are quite unique that they can source these special things that no one else can buy so then it's your unique selling point then yes isn't it? Yeah, and charge a bit more. Charge a little bit yeah. more. And that's the thing, getting access to uh, mm. to items like this. Um, I was this was some time ago, but looking around for different clasps um, because I wanted them to be in gold. That's why I didn't come to Jewelry Maker. And genuinely, I had to import them from Italy, Ooh. which is expensive to do, isn't Beautifully it? Beautifully made, but amazing. Very, very, very really expensive. So I think we're missing a trick there, you know. But I'll, <laughs> I won't say any more about that because I've all jumped on that soapbox <laughs> multiple times. Um, nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Mary and Jerry, Helen and Catherine, well done. Make sure you're checking out your basket. She's off again. She's off again, ranting. And someone upstairs will roll their eyes. Oh, <laughs> Elle's talking about the gold again. Well, Elle, because I'll back you up on that. Yeah, well. we should. <laughs> Two of them We've now. got Cotan. <laughs> We've got the most amazing pearls. We should be doing gold. Yeah. I think it, we should. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Ruth Jean, well done to you, Sandra. Congratulations. That's less than one pound per ridged crimpy cover. That's, a, again, quite a funny description, isn't it? Ridged crimpy cover. Should we go again? Should we do it again? Oh. Why not? Why not? We've got 20. You get your pack of 20, sorry. We had 36. Already getting snapped up. We've got less than 30 available now, and we are going lower. And I should imagine, by the way, jewelry makers, just because you're seeing them on air right now doesn't mean that we will have them indefinitely. Because um, it does have like a lead time in terms of if we sell them out, I should imagine these are already on pre order, but it usually takes best part of three months minimum um so get them whilst you can if this is the kind of crimp bead cover that you want to be working with ruth stocked up well done ruth multi-buying 14.99 we're going lower the clock is ticking ross ross is there with a 60 second clock he loves the clock don't you you do yeah um <laughs> 
Uh, make sure you're checking out everybody. Hello, Bridget. Hello to you, Patricia. Hello to you, Sandra and Catherine. I know what we should have a texting topic about. Where are you going away on holiday this summer? I keep getting asked that now. <laughs> yeah, we haven't booked anything yet. We will, but at the moment we are very much. Have you got an idea? kitchen at the moment that's what oh, we're thinking yeah. about so that's going to take in all our funds yeah um but we will go away at some point yeah it's probably later on in the year yeah when the weather starts to turn again yeah. and you need to extend your summer that'd be a nice time to go yes yeah, yeah. so maybe like october yeah. or something like that yeah. yeah i don't know there's a few places that i'm thinking about you have to text in is there anywhere you recommend i want a little bit of heat yeah, I so it gets a little bit, bit more difficult yeah. if you're going in October, Italy. doesn't it? Italy. Oh. Italy. Nice. Never been. Love have you not? Oh, that's no. beautiful, Italy. I'd, I'd have to remortgage me out. I'd want shoes and bags oh, and no. jewelry. Yeah, take the spending money. And then I'd eat. Uh, oh, <laughs> pasta and oh. coffee and pizza. Pizza. Um, twelve ninety nine only. That sounds like heaven, doesn't it? Yeah. Rome is one of my favourite places, actually. Oh, really? I love Rome. Just I only went for a, mm. Romantic. I went there for a weekend. Oh. Um, I went for a weekend. I was expecting Willow at the time, oh. so couldn't really. You had to behave. Had to be good. Yeah, had to be good. But what I uh, what I couldn't do in the drinking, I made up for in the eating. Eating. Yes. Yeah. Um, Twelve ninety nine. These are flying out. Jewelry makers. Ruth says, "I'll have three. Thank oh, you very yeah, much." Too. Helen's had two. Well done, Lorraine. Hello to you, Heather and Patricia. What is your favourite place in the world? That's a good texting topic, isn't it? My workshop. <laughs> Your workshop. Yeah, because I, no one else is in there. Yeah. Do you know what? I would say home. Yeah. Home, I'm a proper home, home bird. bird. Yeah, me too. You know, I love yeah. going away, don't get me wrong, yeah. but I always, I love my home Very the most. Very comfy and set. We your do little love space, it. isn't it? Love. Yeah. yeah. Your little space, it's your little bubble. patch of land. Hello, <laughs> Kathy. Uh, not going in the summer, but flights booked for the winter to Goa. Ooh. Wow. No JM shopping when I'm there. <laughs> I mean, you can take us on the app, Kathy. You can. <laughs> Because I know you'll miss us. You will miss us. That sounds amazing. Again, I was talking about uh, um, India. I was saying like, because Tom's never been to India and it's a lovely place. Yeah. Lovely, lovely place. Oh, have the best time. Have the best time. Text in where you're going. Where you're going. Where's you planning on going? Have you booked it? Have you not booked it? I fancy Abu Dhabi. Oh. I fancy it. I'm booked it. Don't oh, well. <laughs> I've got no idea how much it costs. I imagine it's beautiful. I'm thinking of Abu Dhabi, yeah, but you'd have to go later on in the year, wouldn't you? Because otherwise it'd be too hot. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's do the matching um, crimp B covers. Are we all having a little clear of our throat? <clears throat> yeah, me too. We've I've got, got a bit a of a frog in my throat. <laughs> all right. Now, we were saying when we launched these, Charlie, that they're almost too beautiful to hide and squash. These are the kind of components that I'd use as spacer beads rather yeah. than Yeah, as I, I do it in the same way as well, yeah. And then you use them all and think, I wish I bought more so I could actually crimp my stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, look how beautiful they are. I mean, you can see there's an investment of sterling silver. They're quite thick. Yeah, they are. They're lovely. Um, and they've got this almost, yeah, like a twist in their design. Yeah. Um, very beautiful. No, a lot of sterling silver. Um, you're a silversmith, obviously. Mm. So how is how easy is it to make a, a crimp tube? Oh, it's a pain in bum. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not bother. worth doing. I won't bother. And the thing is, if you make it yourself, you're going to have a solder seam. So you're better off buying anyway because you don't have to think about that then. That's true. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, stock up. Um, you've got a pack of how many is in here? Is there twenty or thirty? Thirty. 30 of them in there. I'd use these as spacers personally. I think they're really decorative and the fact you've got that nice twist. 60 seconds, we're gonna take it to your early bird price tag. Um, text in, favorite place in the world and where are you going this summer? There you go. I sound like a, I'm doing the stereotypical, going anywhere nice this year. <laughs> You've been a proper you go, Brit. <laughs> yeah, going on holiday, going anywhere. Dan, are you going on holiday this year? No, I blew it all on New York. Ah, oh, you had a oh, New York. But, might be going back next oh yeah awesome awesome for a week for a wedding wow save it up for next year oh who's getting married in new york in new york are they from new york do what right oh okay so you're going over there amazing that's very glamorous a little bit jealous i know just a bit just Ah, oh, there you go. Well, you know we'll be calling on you. Because yeah. <laughs> Dan also, when we do go away, Dan always goes and stays at my house. Oh, and then, yeah, He looks after, you got just Brutus, the noisy one oh. there. Um, <laughs> where are you taking these two then, Roscoe? <gasps> 
30 spaces effectively aren't they for for 9.99 i think these are too beautiful to call just crimps i would agree there's only 20 available and loads of you have got, have to, have got involved already on the web on the phone lines uh, well done to cheryl multi buying helen stephanie five catherine in manchester morning everybody yeah where's your favorite place in the whole wide world ross Berlin, Berlin, he says. And you like Amsterdam, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anywhere do you want to go? Are you going on holiday this year? Not this year. New baby and all that. Ireland for a wedding. Ireland's lovely. I like Ireland. What about you, Ads? Where's your favourite place in the whole wide world? India, he says. But whereabouts in India did you go? Kerala beautiful amazing i imagine it's very colorful it is very yeah. colorful yeah and just just energetic it's yeah. really yeah it's beautiful very i went with work we went to jaipur some gosh some years ago now um and it is exactly that colorful yeah the colors that you Quite see a sensory and, overload yeah it's amazing <laughs> absolutely amazing um wow text in i like this conversation because yeah. also you give me ideas for where to book <laughs> um 9.99 well done hiya gloria hello to christine catherine stephanie helen make sure you're checking out you get 30 again you can see that decorative design um so again i look at these like spaces rather than just your standard crimp which you would obviously squash yep. and hide yep. effectively these could be um these could be in full view morning to you northumberland saying we're very very lucky off off uh, tomorrow to Mallorca for 21 days. Oh. Taking JM up with me. Oh, <laughs> oh three week <laughs> holiday. That sounds amazing. Have the best time. We'll miss you. Yeah, take us with you on the app. <laughs> Enjoy the sunshine. Hello, Rachel. Same favorite place, Elle, is uh, the Greek islands. I'm in total Ooh. agreement. It's beautiful. Um, but I'm going nowhere this year as I've slipped my disc oh. in my back. Oh, bless oh. you. Oh. Bless you, bless you. When get yourself ready and then book a book, you know, an outstanding trip for next <laughs> summer. I agree. The Greek islands are amazing. I love the Greek islands too. It's so beautiful, isn't it? And the food, oh, the food, just delicious. Love that. Right then, let's bring you an amazing clasp. Yeah, Greece is beautiful. Um, here we go. Now. I call this the Charlie Baron clasp. It's not officially his, but it looks very similar yeah. to his design. He always used to go with a um, box clasp like this. You know, very simple, you can see, but streamlined, yep. elegant, uh, simplistic. Yep. That's exactly what I was going to say. Elegant. Yeah. Yep. You know, if you're Seamless. working with, I don't know, pearls like this, mm. you don't want and you might not necessarily want your clasp to compete with those pearls. You go for something classic. That's it. Um, easy to fasten. Now, it's a beautiful box clasp quality and um, very very secure ross is saying should we do a little friday morning wake me up deal yeah let's do it ross i'm game not pri uh, not closing where at this first price crash not closing not for a box clasp so basically obviously you tie you you tie knot whatever technique onto your jump rings just there and then if you look on a side angle can you see you've almost got this like tongue groove design that's what you press down it's like a um, a wedge in a door and that's what secures your piece of jewelry you can be used in bracelets and also in necklaces we're under 10 pounds already jewelry makers but we are not stopping there we're going again could stop there though that's an amazing price isn't it <laughs> always yeah i don't know what's with long. the hand gestures yeah. this morning. <laughs> you're theatrical i like that it's good <laughs> what's it all about very excitable we all need a bit more relly do you want to make a musical oh dear <laughs> that would be terrible wouldn't it don't bring back the masks <laughs> no <laughs> the scary masks. oh i don't know my I, I, there are some singers in this building carol's actually a very good singer mm. she's a very very she is though why are you laughing <laughs> Michael Wolf, yeah. I'm a dreadful singer. <laughs> dreadful. I still have a go, but I... I don't say you do try. <laughs> I always try. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, she's a trier. <laughs> We're going even lower, jewellery makers. How many have we got, Roscoe? 40 available opportunities. These are going to fly out the door when you see the closing price. We're doing a little Friday morning wake-me-up deal, jewellery makers. So... Um, make sure you secure yours nice and early. Keep those text messages coming through, everyone. Nine ninety nine would be awesome, wouldn't it? Not stopping there, though. 
you're also not paying that. Oh. <laughs> We've got 40 available. <laughs> 40 available opportunities. Just the whole process to actually make something like this. Seven ninety nine. Yeah. Hello, uh, C in Essex saying back from Malta mm. yesterday. Aww, oh, lovely. So warm and beautiful. Uh, now have a uni, uni assessment to do. Definitely have the post holiday blues. Jewelry maker will ease me back into it. Ah, oh, welcome back, lovely. I get that. I get that because you've just got a load of washing to do, and, yeah. and you've got to add to it. On top of that, you've got a university assessment to do. Bless you. And it's been. If it makes you feel any better, it's meant to be nice weather for the next week. So, whereas we've had rain while you've been away. So, oh, Malta's beautiful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very beautiful. I went when I was a child. A yeah, I think I was ago. very young. Yeah. Ross, you went there last year, didn't you? You loved Love Malta. It. That might be one of your favourite places. There you go. Don't you also think it's about the memories as well? Oh, yeah. It's who you're with and everything. Mostly, yeah. And yeah. smells. Certain smells. Yeah. Like, oh. Just little memories that you yeah. have from certain places. Six pounds and 99 pence only um, to get hold of this beautiful box clasp. Again, I always talk about how the box clasp is probably one of the most historic, one of the most secure, yeah. one of the most luxurious. I prefer them. I do prefer them. Yeah. Would you say they're a luxury clasp? Oh yeah, definitely. If you offer that in a, in a display for your customers, they're going to opt for that one anyway, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, it, it has that perceived yeah i think so because yeah. it's kind of it, it's visually beautiful as well yeah whereas no disrespect a bolt ring clasp isn't so much is no, it? no it's practical and we all use them but yeah. that's a little something special a little something special love that uh 6.99 marion says i'll have three at that price and yeah. jeans multi-buying and jane and jacqueline yeah, I will. all the jays look uh venetia well done to you helen well done to you uh fife well done to you Teresa, christine Jenny, new customers, Pembrokeshire. That's one of my favourite places. Pembrokeshire's amazing. Where is it? We West Wales. Oh, right. So beautiful. Oh, I'm so under so compared to you are. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Wales, obviously. Right. So regularly we used to go to Pembrokeshire. Oh. Um, it's, it's so you've a, got lots of memories there. Yeah. yeah. Like, have you got a tent? Have I got a t Do I go tenting? Yeah. No. 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 Oh, see, now you need... No. You can borrow my tent. I can I do like an RV. I can't do a tent. I'm go sorry, to, I can't. Go to Pembrokeshire. They do nice B&Bs and everything. Beautiful part of the world. Um, do you know, next, Anne, I'm just talking directly to you now. <laughs> <laughs> Anne, um, so um, Saundersfoot. I love Saundersfoot in, in Pembrokeshire. And, and I think that's Pembrokeshire, not Carmarthenshire. Anyway, um, there's a restaurant on the beach is it called Crab and Stone or something like that? Or the Stone Crab, something like that. You have to book like six months in advance. Really? We are planning, my brother and I and family, are planning to go back to Saundersfoot, but we have to book the restaurant <laughs> and then plan <laughs> the Obviously. weekend around that Brilliant. restaurant I know, yeah it looks incredible though um yeah well done everybody i rocked on up there last summer and said is it, have you got any chance of a table they're like <laughs> <laughs> don't be don't silly, be silly. Love. um <laughs> let's do some we relaunched tahitian culture pearl right we relaunched these about two weeks ago um and this is literally all that's left five just for those people, if you've been away, for example, and you might have missed, uh, um, you might have missed um, the news, the future decade harvest of Tahitian pearls and South Sea pearls has been bought outright. So what that basically means is we can't buy anymore. We cannot buy anymore. By a private collector, whoever it is, we don't know, um, has bought the entirety of your Tahitian pearls. So what we have is what we have. Right. I've got five. Oh. That's it. Five available opportunities. The price, and again, we showed you footage from Dave over in Hong Kong recently, um, and single Tahitian pearls were like five figures. Five figure prices. So if you love your Tahitian pearls, or if you've got any in your stash, then definitely fully appreciate just sort of the value of that gemstone that it is right now. It's at an all-time high. They've always been regarded with, uh, um, always had a higher price tag attached to them, of course, in the pearl world, but now more so than ever. There's five available opportunities. This is a perfect half-drilled, look at the quality of that. Oh my goodness me. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely stunning. I was just saying, Adam, you know, it's like it, w Dave in Hong Kong, I had that 
footage and he was speaking to that pearl supplier and they, they were like five figures twelve thousand oh, dollars for yeah. single tahitian pearls of various different sizes as well um so please know the price the the price of your tea not just tahitian tahitian south sea it, it's had a knock-on effect with everything even your freshwater pearls are ludicrously expensive now right. um is it ludicrous though they're beautiful gemstones wow. but we can't we can't buy them is my point now here we go it's all down to this lady nini She's a Chinese influencer. There she is photographed wearing her Tahitian pearls. It was this photograph and, and her social media, uh, um, I don't know if it was intentional, I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, her talking about Tahitian pearls, which changed everything. It changed everything almost overnight. Never seen anything like it previously before. Tahitian pearls were always expensive, but they were accessible. Now they're not accessible. You only have to, 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 you know, to back up our statement, look at charlie barron's social media he was a pearl well it's a sixth generational pearl harvester and he's now dealing in other has charlie finished now then now yeah he his photograph is still in our in a, in, in uh, like on, on the wall listen charlie we hope will come back but he can't get pearls do you know, it's actually really sad. Yeah. Six generations in Charlie's family have harvested pearls and he can't now do it. It's quite an eye opener, isn't it? It is. You know, it's now Charlie is dealing in diamonds, sapphires, rubies. So yeah, Charlie's, he said, he said when he was in the building last, he was like, I'm not, I'm not coming back anytime soon. Unless anything changes dramatically, then no, I won't be back. You can't make pearls happen no. faster, can you? Well, here's Dave in Hong Kong. These are, there's a, there was a whole video of him talking to a pearl supplier. Look at the prices. All right, that's slightly bigger, but still, that's a South Sea, 21,000. There's your, there you go. There's your Tahitian, slightly bigger, but look at the prices, and that's one individual pearl. And that was, was March, just gone. Um, here we go. A strand, for reference, mm. these strands uh, that we have provided with the colors that, uh, that yours display are selling at $50,000 wholesale. So look at the one that's on your screen, 48,000. Remember that's wholesale. So times that by four plus that for your retail price. So here we go, for reference. The Tahitian pearl industry has changed overnight. The whole harvest has been reserved for the next 10 years. A genuine conch uh, necklace would be more affordable right now. Seriously, we've never, ever, ever seen anything like this before. So, no, in answer to your question, Susie, yes, we, the, the door isn't closed to him, obviously. It's always open to Charlie. Yeah. However, yes, for Pearls and Charlie, yes, it is, it's finished. Because he hasn't got them. He hasn't got the Pearls to actually offer our audience have a look on his social media page it's not pearls but we've got some here we have some here only a few there's five <clears throat> good luck everyone good luck everybody we are a lot the fact that we are we don't hesitate putting our pearl alongside pearls of that value i think we can't really tell the difference can you i would no. say their shot is closer to your shot closer so they're marginally bigger are they yeah marginally bigger so hair. yours is about uh, a nine to ten millimeter Whereas theirs are, what are they, 12? Sorry, 17, 15, okay, so oh, they are bigger. I would prefer your size. For me, I think that's more usable. More wearable, yeah, I suppose. Definitely. But you're still talking thousands of pounds mm. for Tahitian pearl, whatever the size. We're already jewelry makers at 999 pounds, but that's not your price. We're gonna do a huge, huge closeout deal. I know it doesn't make sense, um, but it's the way we do business here at Jewelry Maker. We were able to, with our relationships with, with Charlie and of course trips over to French Polynesia and things like that, we were able to stockpile Tahitian pearls. Nobody foresaw what is going on 
right now in the pearl industry coming though had you know if we had a crystal ball then obviously we would yes, have bought loads I'm of them so, yep. um loads and loads of them we have literally just five available for you today 299 pounds is madness i'm not sitting here saying that 299 pounds is a small amount of money of course i'm not but it is when you compare to what literally last month we saw in Hong Kong. We go to Hong Kong to buy pearls usually. This year we went to Hong Kong just for updates, photographs like that. It's like now, research, yeah. Yeah, research. The last five in the business. Oh. It is madness, isn't it? It is complete madness. Do you know? There are five available, that's it. I can see collectors within their baskets. Do you know, even before the current situation, when I worked in a jeweler's back in my early 20s, Tahitian pearls were not three figures. Mm -mm. Ne they never have been three figures. No. Seriously? We launched this amazing natural, genuine certified Tahitian pearl with Dave at 129 pounds. Today for the final five, this uh, they have to sell out of that then because I don't want any evidence of this this price jump. Okay, right. Seriously, Kent, you'll want those two because we're going to take it under a hundred pounds. We are over allocated. If you've got more than one, I only have uh, in your basket. I've only have five available, and there are lots of you with multiples in your basket. Now, this is ridiculous. We all know that, right? Yeah. It's completely ridiculous. We could have easily taken our Tahitian pills to Hong Kong, couldn't we? We could have taken them to Hong Kong, sold them into the mar into uh, you know at trade value, and yes, jewelry made would done would will have done very well out of yep. it. But what I always say uh, when I'm asked that question, well, why didn't you? Well, we wouldn't have much of a TV show then, would we? Well, that's it. And that's what we're about. It might well be one of the last Tahitian pearls that I ever get the opportunity to present to you. Oh, that's a statement. Isn't it? it is. It is. It is. Well, certainly for the next decade. Yeah. Certainly, we know that as a guarantee. Now. There are four separate collectors with it in their basket. All of you, at bar one, have got multiples. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Even when Tahitian pearls were accessible, it was ridiculous at 99 pounds. Well done, Kent. You take us down to three available. Can oh, Kent, fair play to you. I bet that is a jeweler, yeah. Um, Kent has taken four, which means I've got one single Tahitian pearl opportunity. This is why we should be selling gold. Sorry. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is. I agree. You know, this, this deserves to be on 18 karat gold. You could sell that on in a heartbeat at a significant profit, I do believe. Oh, I do believe. Look, that that's just my opinion, but I do believe. No, I'm with you on that, Elle. Educate your customers. Tell them about what's going on with Tish and Pearls. That's the thing. We do educate the educated, don't yeah. we? We need to spread that word. Totally. Yeah. Um, there's Samantha, Heather, Jenny, Jane, and Anne. Oh. Jenny, I don't have six. I have one. I'll leave that last one with you. And ma another maker in Kent. Oh, is that Kent getting the last one? I'm curious, Ross. Is that Kent again getting the last one? Mate, yes. Oh, yes, well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, should we do another closeout deal on pearls? How about South Sea Tahitian faceted? <laughs> this was a vision that Carl Fabergé had in 1910. And when he said, I believe faceted pearls are going to be the gemstone of the future. Nobody believed him because they think, what? Faceted? You can't facet yeah, a pearl. Not possible. It's yeah. an organic gemstone. I've said those words on air. I said, oh, the only way you'll get that look is if you get like a, um, a shell like, pearl, yeah. which is reconstituted. Little did we know that actually, and it was a customer actually that mentioned to me about 10 years ago, maybe, actually, Elle, you can get faceted pearls. I was like, oh, okay. Never, never seen one else. Fast forward to the current day, we have faceted pearls, but know that there is a handful, and I do mean a handful of people on our planet that have that ability. Yeah. 
Firstly, they have to be the best quality pearl. The nacre has to be fine because obviously with over 200 facets to the surface of your pearl, if you, you don't want it to sort of chip um, mm. in any way, shape or form. When it is faceted well, it will give you almost like a glass-like luster to the exterior of the pearl, like almost a translucency, which sounds pretty odd when we're talking about pearls, but you'll see what I mean, what I mean in a few moments. So let's read this. In 1910, a French journalist who was interviewing Carl Fabergé asked him, among other questions, what, in your opinion, will be the popular jewellery of 100 years from now? Fabergé answered, faceted pearls. Of course, everyone thought he was joking. He could have said his own eggs, couldn't he? Yeah, he could, yeah. He could have said... <laughs> he could have done, but he didn't. He said, faceted pearls. Fast forward. Reading on. Um, the AGTA, which is the uh, um, kind of like the Oscars of the jewellery world, um, and they basically, well, you can see them there actually looking at some of the finalist pieces, and they will award the best pieces of jewellery and gemstones um, in the industry. One of their nominations was a faceted pearl piece. So you can see with platinum honours, um, faceted pearl, this beautiful, I can't work out, is it a ring? Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Is it a ring? Yeah, I think so. Um, but again, what a work of art, the craftsmanship of the precious metal as well. Platinum, yeah, platinum ring featuring a black faceted uh, pearl. Ooh. Katerina Perez wrote about it as well. I'm not keen on that myself. That's very different. Yeah, very, very it? different. And also, can I just say, oh, we're amongst friends, aren't we? <laughs> Your faceted pearls are better. They are actually better. I, I do think so. The, 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 the faceting, the definition of the faceting is better. Anyway, a Japanese factory, uh, Komatsu Diamond Industries, specialising in diamond cutting since 1967, were the first to pioneer this technology. Their original goal was to find a way of sprucing up the, uh, the ordinary look in a coir. You can't call it a coir ordinary. No. However, I get why they're saying that. The um, a coir <clears throat> sales were dipping. Oh. So they wanted to give it sort of a new lease of life. Oh. Um, and in one of their experiments, they try applying diamond cutting technology to the pearl. It took 20 years to achieve the desired result. 20 years. That's some commitment, isn't it? Um, there are also um, exclusive exhibits showing off the work of pearl cutter, um, a field of which Viktor Tuzlikov is indisputably the master of. Look at those blue eyes. He's got the most amazing eyes too. I watched I watched uh, June the other day. June two. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. He's got spicy eyes. He's got spicy <laughs> eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, um, and you might be thinking, okay, so he's the indisputed master of pearl cutting. Well, Victor has cut around twenty pearls. Oh. That's it, in pursuit of his uh, perfect symmetry, half of which can be seen decorating the jewellery of Russian designers, um, some of which he donated to the Russian State Depository and Kremlin Museum as a prime example of top quality modern jewellery art. Um, and two have found their way into private collections in America. 20 pearls he's cut in his, in his career. That's not typically where you class a master, is it? It's usually hundreds and hundreds. Absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, there must be hard. Absolutely. <laughs> it is, it, well, there's 200 facets on each pearl. Oh. 200. I'm about to show you naturally coloured freshwater pearls where you have the three colours. See what I mean when I said earlier on, when they are polished, or faceted correctly, they almost take a, have this polished beauty about them. Almost look like they're coated in glass. Yeah, they're very special. Now, when we say close out deal, we absolutely mean it. That's £100 per faceted pearl, which is amazing already, yeah. isn't it? How about you get all three natural faceted pearls all three for under 100 pounds today i have 25 available opportunities really sorry ross has just shocked me as well he said look we're nowhere near done he says so much so this is as much about trust we're not going to hint he says if you love them 
trust Ross because you'll have a minute at this next price crash and it's crazy, he says. Giving you plenty of warm warning before we bring it in onto your screens. Everything that we have just said. Oh uh, yeah, I thought 999 was your price. Is it not? No way, oh, there's a lot of trust, Ross. You will all check out in a matter of 10 seconds when you see this price tag. In fact, probably less. Good luck. We have 25 available opportunities. You've got a minute at, uh, oh, oh, now. Oh, stop it now, that's just really naughty. Is that his head on the chopping block, maybe? Probably. <laughs> Jeez. Ross? Yeah, Ross. That shouldn't be that price for one. A minute on screen, he says, then you've got till nine o'clock. They'll never be that price ever again. They'll never be on air no. again. You'll never be allowed to bring them to air again. <laughs> ever. Wayne will be absolutely spitting feathers, won't he? Dave or livid? Livid, livid, livid. Although I've never seen Dave cross. I can't imagine Dave no, cross. No, I can't. I've, I've seen Wayne cross. I think that's a little bit scary, that. Is it almost Hulk, Mike? It's quite funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of cross, but he's still like jovial Very at the same time. <laughs> yeah, he's still jovial. <laughs> oh, sold out. Six left, but oh, loads of you with it in your basket. On. 34 of you have it in your basket. Wow. Um, Wayne, uh, wait, I called you Wayne. Ross. That's probably one of the most ridiculous deals you've ever done. That is really bad. You know that, don't you? Have you got any remorse about that? No, <laughs> I don't think so. No, none whatsoever. Right, one more auction before I bring you a lovely little buzzy bees. You've got a little mini colony of bees. Oh, that's what, that was lovely. I like that. Did you like In that? All colours, I love it. Yeah, a little colony of bees <laughs> coming your way in all the lovely colours. So they're coming up, you can shop ahead on those shall we do mm. oh definitely definitely the carvings which one okay righto you get both this put a head pin on glue it into place we've just done well ross ross no there's no we ross has done the worst possible deal ever best as in best <laughs> possible deal on a Tahitian pearl. Then did a massive closeout deal on, on a faceted pearl. He's like, I'm already in trouble. Should we do the same again on natural type A white jadeite carvings? You get two. Can you see those there? A game of trust. You get the pet. Look at those. That is glossy beyond belief, isn't it? Yes, fine crystal wow. structure. I would just literally glue a head pin in that. Where turn them into earrings. Oh, see, I'd go a bit overboard and I'd loads of diamonds, a bit of gold, yeah. lots of lots of settings. Yeah, I'd be over the top. Um, I would be over the top, but that's me. No, <laughs> I like the sound of that. We're at we're at fifty pounds each. And we are no way near done, says Roscoe. How many have you got, Ross? 25, I want to get these. How do you get both? You do get both. Oh. After this price, says Ross, you're not gonna stand a chance. Really? I'm gonna miss out. Um, Hand-carved type A, natural Burmese jadeite. You get these beautiful stargazer lilies. We're gonna do it in one price crash jewelry makers and then you're gonna have a minute. And after that minute, we're gonna dive straight into your early bird jewelry makers. Everybody that has already confirmed, massive congratulations and thank you for your trust. You will not be disappointed, I assure you. This, Ross is saying, I'm going to look, yeah. He says it's just stupid price. It is, Ross. It is. You've just got, where else in the world can you guarantee that you are getting genuine, natural type A Burmese jadeite, hand carved, for 15 quid each? Nowhere. And then on top of that, <laughs> Oh. If you've got those pearls, ten pound each. They look great. They look. They'd be lovely in areas, yeah, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would. Ah, <gasps> oh, Ross, you change. I would one hundred percent do that. Yeah. Or as a ring, they'd be lovely as a that. ring too. As if type A jadeite carved of this quality 
How much? Twenty nine ninety nine. Fifteen pounds each. Fifteen pounds each. I know. It's you great. can tell when he's doing his crazy deals because his hair gets crazier and crazier, doesn't Does it? He? <laughs> he starts ruffling his hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you know you do that, Ross? <laughs> you, <laughs> Sorry, Ross. You ruffle your hair. Oh yes! Don't forget, we're going straight into your early bird. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody, because we're about to join our beautiful little colony of bees. Okay. Now we all know that bees are one of the most important species, well the most important species on the planet, aren't they? Yep. And I think the awareness that we have for bumblebees now is 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 is, is present everywhere. I mean, um I thought Elizabeth something, I can't remember her name, but she does these embroidered bags on uh, I found stumbled across her on social media and she does like little makeup bags, she oh, does cute. sort of uh, um laptop bags and things like that and it's in a fed it's in a velvet and then everything every item that she sells she donates to the to the uh, um to the actual animals animals that they oh, speak that, 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 yeah it's lovely so um for the protection of elephants and she does one for turtles and she does one for bees oh, as well so beautiful but you think of all the designers that have incorporated bees gucci big ones yeah big ones yeah uh what's his name alex monroe Lily Rose, so many different mm -hmm. designers. We're seeing it a lot in art, aren't we, as oh, well yeah. at the moment? Yeah, everywhere. You see them on buildings, don't you? People you do. paint them on their houses, sculptures. I've yeah. got a pair of wellies, Jules wellies that have got bumblebees on. Oh, you big cutie. I love it. I, you know, and I, I love, love the that. fact that we are really supporting them now, aren't we? We're more aware of the Teach fact. Teach our children that. And yes. How important they are when you look after them. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. I mean, I read, it was on Facebook actually recently, and there was, um, you know how they swarm when they're trying to find another and trying to find another home yeah and how not to be scared of them and apparently there was children in one area that had seen this swarm i don't know if it was last summer or whatnot but seen this swarm and they were really nervous and they were trying to squirt water on the bees to oh, shoot them away okay. and it was actually saying no no they they just they'll move they'll move their own accord yeah. they're just trying to relocating that's all it is but again the awareness that we have for bumblebees and our need to really protect them um and we can do that as well as jewelry makers by adding little additions like this that's into it. our Represent, designs yeah yeah. And they are cute, aren't they? They are babies? very cute. I do like those. They'll blend in and, and then shine out. Yeah, yeah they'll do both. I love it. Now, you get a pack of four. We've got them in all three colours. Your own little mini colony. Now, your first price crash. We're starting with the yellow gold. Your first price crash. They are detailed as well. So, if I just pop that down a minute, you can see they have, they have the little markings as well on his little butt. Look at those! I like the simplicity of them as well because you can get the very intricate, yeah, you but you can. can also get the really simple, yeah, really simple designs. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's not for one charm, mind. That's for four. You get four of them, and we are going even lower. Four little buzzy bees. Look at how beautiful. I'm visualizing these something like, like only because I've got it here, but like imagine mm. like a multicolored sapphire. Imagine those kind of nestled in there, a bit floral. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, re like create flowers, yes. Represent all the little flowers. Oh, charm bracelet. Oh. And you'd have, I'd have eight. I'd probably have a full track of them, you know. That'd be lovely. Just jingle jangle. Or even um, along your decolletage, like almost like a choker, but yeah, a little bit longer. Lovely. Yeah, I would definitely do they're that. A bit, they're a bit Ashley Clark as well, aren't they, I think? Mm. You know, that kind of design. Well said. Yeah. Um, like yeah, a little those. bit Ashley Clark, where it's not massively ornate, but you can know straight away exactly what they are, don't, yeah, don't definitely. you? Yeah, definitely. Because you look at Alex Munro, it's very detailed. Yeah. Very, very detailed. And that's not for everybody, no. I suppose. Um, but it's is a, a simplistic buzzy bee. It's a, it's a subtle nod to something very important. Very important, very you beautiful. You can wear it. Yeah. You get four. We're not stopping at 9.99. Seven oh. pounds and 99 pence. That's two pounds per bumblebee charm two pounds unbelievable absolutely unbelievable these are and they're of the size i think as well uh, charlie that you could wear them in earrings you know if you were to put them maybe on maybe we spoke about bubble style yeah so yeah if you did like a bubble style of um or maybe you know like linda sometimes does like the cluster like a, cla uh, a cascade yes yes so and you could actually have them hidden in there yeah, if they're sort of nestling for the little pollen. flash yeah oh. i love that idea 
My Tigatron is, um, sorry, Tig, Tiggy. Yeah, I love that, that's so cute. <laughs> my Tiggy's scared of bees. And again, we're going through this whole process of they won't hurt you. Yes. Yeah. You know, they're, they're good. It's they're just good. sharing, it's just, knowledge is power, isn't it? And they are the investment for our future. So we need to we educate need to them on it. Yeah. Them. And how to cute to do that. You could do a stretchy bracelet for your little ones. Yes. And add a little bee charm <laughs> and encourage them to... Uh, be more affectionate towards something that sounds a bit scary. The last thing they want to do is hurt you, isn't it? Yeah, well, the that's last it. thing. Right, let's bring you the rose gold. They're on the web. They're on the web, okay, but I'll give you a little sneaky peek of them. There you go. There's a little rose gold. Very beautiful. Um, now for the colour, which always, always goes crazy. It's all for the sterling silver. Again, you get four of your little buzzy bees, everyone. Um, we could stop, what do you reckon? 19.99, that seems like an amazing price tag for four sterling silver charms. 7.99, not paying that today. Loads of multi-buyers getting involved on these as well. Absolutely beautiful. Do you know, um, you could almost put them, you could buy little jars of honey, or maybe you make your own honey, maybe you've got your own hives, um, and you could do like a little stretchy bracelet. Yeah. You could go alongside it and that could be your marketing. Oh, that's so cute. Nice little bee stretchy bracelet to go alongside it. Seven ninety nine jewelry makers. I'm more than happy, Ross. That's an amazing deal. I would be deal. very happy with that. Yeah, Have definitely. we got quantity of the silver? Almost 200, but they are absolutely flying, if you pardon me. Uh. <laughs> They're not base metal. These are solid sterling silver unbelievable absolutely unbelievable make sure you're checking out there are tons of you getting involved um there is somewhat of a, there's a hive of activity <laughs> <laughs> a buzz on the phone lines love it you are completely buzzing about this <laughs> yeah yeah there's so many isn't there it's a sweet deal the, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. yes we're loving it loving it loving it well right. done everybody make sure you're checking out your basket um a minute to close not just your buzzy bees um your four sterling silver charms but a minute to yeah. close absolutely everything in this hour jewelry makers so if you've got anything lingering in your baskets then make sure that you do check them out um yeah, um, and encourage everybody if you've got, a, if you're able to, little bee houses. Oh, yeah, definitely. Have those in your little garden bamboos somewhere. bamboos snuck in. And yeah, yeah, you can make your own version. Yeah, there's some beautiful ones out there, but definitely make your own. Make your own. Yeah, yeah easy, easy, yeah. easy done. You're going to feel like, this is Adam's by the way, you're going to feel like a queen wearing these. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. Four ninety nine. We love the little buzzy bees. They're beautiful. So wait a second. Hang on. What was it? It's sixteen. For just over twenty pounds, I can get I can get twelve charms. We're running out of time. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to make my way over to our lovely uh, Charlie for a wonderful kit hour. We'll see you in two. <laughs> Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. I've been making jewellery for about 10 years. I started making jewellery um, really because I was actually quite good with my hands. I've always been quite good with my hands. Um, but when my children were young, there wasn't enough money to spend lavishly on jewellery. And some of the designs were so simple, I thought, I can make that. I started off wire wrapping and very quickly knew that I wanted to make something more rigid and more structured. And um, because I take after my Nana, I do like sparkles. So it was just a natural progression to work towards stone setting. Um, my favorite tool is a little bit like picking your favorite pet. Um, probably my handpiece actually. If it wasn't for my handpiece, I wouldn't be able to do half the amount of work I have. Um, and I do like a good old hammer and rolling mill, who doesn't? I love Jewelry Maker because without them I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, and they offer opportunities for myself and other makers to be a part of something much bigger that would be typically out of reach for most normal people. Um, and such a whole world of gemstones um, it's very exciting and it, it's, it's where it's at for me. Welcome back. It's lovely Charlie, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I do love coming here. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, it is. And everyone's so lovely and there's always giggles. Oh, yeah, always not giggles. Us, so, Lots yeah, I love being here. <laughs> yeah, just like the occasional word. It's very childish, really. <laughs> but, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it. Can't be a bit childish. And we're know, always so spoiled when we come as well. So. Oh, you've got um, tools oh, awesome. coming up as well. Yeah. Well, talk us through these this amazing design. I love that you've titled it, you know, personalised ring. Yeah, well, do you know, I just thought it can't have been a happy accident that I got a C. Yeah. And I never get to make myself jewellery, ever. It's just something that I don't get time for. So when I saw that and saw the period, I was like, wow, well, I'm making myself a ring. If that's not allowed, too late. So I just went ahead and made it. Yeah. Um, and I was sent the flaring tools as well. Now for me, I like a little flare, yeah. but I've also made it ribbon-like, almost frilly, a little bit girly. So in the Something instructions, it'll explain that. Yes. Um, so here you go. Here is the piece that you can that Charlie's referring to. Oh, Charlie, that's absolutely amazing. Can I turn it around yeah, as well? Yes, can. Because do whatever you want. It's the detailing all the way around so okay now and there's the c for charlie now if you what sorry if you see this they're all going to be loaded onto the website so you can choose your gemstone so it's all about personalization which i think is why so many of us actually get into jewelry making yeah. is being able to personalize it and make one of a kind pieces so this can look at the texturing so go to the website you can choose your amethyst you can choose ruby you can choose oh, peridot um, emeralds yeah all your birthstones are on there so you can effectively customize your project now before we get into the um other rings yeah, okay, um, which we're going to bring to you. I also want to mention that you've got these amazing pearls coming up at the top of the hour. Again, I kind of touched on it earlier on. South Sea pearls, Tahitian pearls, the pearl market has gone completely crazy and it's had a huge effect on all varieties in terms of accessibility and price point. We are going to do a massive, massive deal on these pearls and they're totally and utterly natural, metallic also, which is they're very, stunning. very rare. Yeah, beautiful. Also... We have sterling silver spacer beads in a bundle to bring you as well. 
Um, can you see those just at the front here? There's absolutely masses in those little dish. Um, there's a pack of 100 wow. sterling silver spacer beads that we're going to do at another closeout deal with different designs. They're on pre-order. Is the other pearls on pre-order? <coughs> okay, both the pearls and the spacers are on pre-order as well, jewelry maker. So you can grab those. Okay, let's get into your personalised ring. You know, each of your purchases will come with Charlie's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the width. <laughs> Now, these are like £10 in our sister channel. You, I reckon you're talking about 20 for this book. Yeah. So <laughs> this, <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. If, it, if the project lends itself to it, I will try and give you as much option, detail, variation. Yeah. So there's loads of information in there. Modifying tools, how to do your beaded bezel. There's so much in it. Too much for me to demo today, so I'm going to talk to you about setting these stones. Um, so wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll get these with your purchase jewelry makers that you can keep, obviously you can file away for you to reference at any time. Um, and again, even, even down here, Charlie lists what, what you need to start creating this amazing piece, um, piece of jewelry. So you can see a few different tools. Now, um, this is your 925 sterling silver wire written initial ring, and you can choose your letter of the alphabet. Um, so again, you can see 2.5 inches and that's obviously the thickness of the what will be the shank, I suppose. The length, yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, the length yeah. of the shank. So if I show you, Charlie, I've got. Sorry to lean over, Adam. Sorry about that. Um, so, oh, you've got an E for L. I've got an E. Am I holding that the right way? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so it comes like so, and they're actually sort of bald. You can solder these. You can not solder these. Yeah, it's up to you. You can wear it on its own. I mean, I've obviously doubled up and used both. I didn't cut the ends off. I have done some sweat soldering to uh, solder it to the cigar style band. Um, dead straightforward, but if you need the instructions, they're there. There they are. And there's all your uh, letters. So you can choose which one. It's on a drop down box. Some of these letters are more limited than others, I need to point out. Um, F, particularly limited. E, particularly limited. H, limited. K, limited. Uh, Z limited, yeah. So you need to be checking out nice and early on these. Four pounds and ninety nine pence. Yeah, that that's my breath away then. Five. Um, five. It's going even lower. Really? Charlie. Yeah, it's going lower. It's not even stopping there. Goodness me. There's hundred and sixty across across the different letters. But if you think about that price, goodness me. How lovely to be able to personalise a piece of jewellery for your nearest and dearest. Yes, that's it. With the birthstone as well. Yeah, yeah. Team it alongside. Because you basically, you, you, you can use the birthstones alongside the uh, letters of the alphabet. Yeah, of course. Amazing. We're going even lower. Can you believe that? H has just sold out, jewellery makers, I can see that. That's just sold out. There are some which are single quantities available, so don't leave them in your baskets. Hello to you, London, getting two. Cheryl, Kate, Carol, Helen, Roz, Mary and Jerry, multi-buying. Wiltshire, hello to you, Fiona, Samantha. Um, I can't keep up with you now. Hi, Roz, well done to you. Kate and Dorset, Maker and Wiltshire, multi-buying too. You know, you can go, okay, what are your, your children's names, your grandchildren's names, your best friend's names, your partner's names? Yep. Ah, oh, lovely. And it means so much, doesn't it? That little bit of personalisation. Definitely. Well, you don't even need your own initial. You can have someone else's yeah. initial to wear to remind you of that said person. So, yeah, it's it's quite a lovely little make, isn't it? Well, I love that. That's yeah, I, love I that. think they're very cute. You could do, like, say something for, like, an anniversary. You could have both your initials oh. together. Oh, that'd be lovely. I, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'm watching The Crown at the moment, do you oh. know, and, and Ch Charles has just, uh, it's on the part where Charles commissioned that bracelet. I haven't watched it, so I don't know. Have you not, right? And um, he commissioned a bracelet um, with C and C instead oh. of C and D. Oh. Charles and Camilla, not Charles. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm. yeah. So oh. um, that bit there, but anyway. anyway. Still a love story. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you could do it with your partner, your friends, whichever it might be. Three pounds and ninety-nine pence. Loads of multipliers. Loads of sizes Deal. are selling out. Um, so again, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Um, the ones I would say D is a bit more plentiful. I say a bit. They're all limited. 
They're all very limited, so don't wait. Um, we're going to dive into the demonstration, as always. If you have any questions for Charlie, then do text us, because um, we are live here in the studio. Don't forget your Spacer B bundle. Don't forget your amazing pearls that are available on pre-order as well. Charlie, what are you going to show us, darling? Well, because it's because that the ring, it's quite a lengthy make. I've put down an hour and a half, but it might take a little bit longer, and I thought, mm, I'm going to struggle to demo that. So, because it keeps coming up, personally, yeah. With these adjustable rings with the burst downs, can I can I pinch that please? Of course. Thank you very much. There you go. So you'll notice that it's got this lovely little detailing around the edge of the bezel. So if you uh, want to set that oh, in your beautiful. usual fashion, um, you might end up removing the pattern around the edges. So what I thought I would do is make a supersized version. Nice. And show you how to Ooh. go about making I can't call it a seat really because what you're doing is removing material instead of adding to it. So I'll give you that back. So what I've done here is I've made myself a super large setting. And you'll notice that I've got a little mark at the top of my ring already. Now that is literally just to indicate to me where the solder seam is. So just ignore that for now. Now if you want to set one of these um, stones into this sort of setting but without using glue, I don't have anything against it. It just keeps coming up. So... This is the easiest way I would go about it. Grab yourself a marker pen. Now this is gonna be slightly exaggerated because it's so much bigger and it is actually really easy to do on a smaller setting. So I would use a Sharpie or any other marker and just color in the inside so you can see okay. what you're doing. Okay. And then with your dividers, usually what you do is you drop your stone inside that setting and you can actually run your, um, dividers around the inside of where the stone sits against the wall so you'll actually get the mark there without measuring but for the sake of demoing we're going to say it's about a mil and a half I think that's about a mil and a half so I am going to run my dividers across the inside edge can you see that little line mm -hmm. it's very slight isn't it if I go this way and where that line is can you guys see it what I so would take taking away some of the pen. Yes. Yeah, so right. it's just so that you can see what you're doing and it also gives you a bit of a guide. Now, with your burrs, it works with a round burr. I've got a heart burr, but it does work with a round burr. Don't worry about it. So when you're setting your um, cabbage on, you would work north, south, east, west, and then fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to remove the metal from the inside. So if I just turn it a little... I've already done it just there. Can you see that tiny little lip? I'm going to have to make much bigger settings, aren't I? And with your burr, you want to mark with the north, go right in, and you want to go in as deep as your burr goes, which is only halfway. So when, you're, when the shaft of the burr touches the inside of the setting, that's when you know, that's when you stop because you can't go any further than that. You can do it with a setting burr, but you'd have to have a more of an exaggerated angle when you go in. So you're creating a pocket like a V shape. So you're burring on your north and then you spin it round and you're burring on your south. And once you've done all those four corners, you then go to join that line up together. And once you've removed all that material on the inside, you would then come in with your uh, setting tool. Uh, I've not pulled it out. And you would just literally push this metal all the way around. And because it's got that empty space, it's going to lock in over your stone without really any effort, to be honest. And you're going to keep that lovely pattern on the edge of your setting intact. And it's the same way I've done it on the uh, ring over there. But on the, on the ring example that I've done, I've done a beaded bezel setting and with that, I'll suggest to get some beading tools, but in the instructions, I do suggest to get two. So just to show you that I do actually have two, it's, it's a setter's trick. I'm not going to reveal it because, you know, I don't want, we don't want everyone to know, do we? Um, but when you come into it in the instructions, I'll teach you how to create that beaded setting, which is also in the afternoon's demo as well. In the rain dance piece. Yes, in the rain dance piece. So if you get this kit this morning, you'll be able to apply the same technique in the afternoon. What I will say is, because I've modified, obviously I ruin everything, don't I, and, and take something that's supposed to be like this and change it to something completely different. Before you open it out, anneal it. So what I've done is cut one of these shanks off, but I haven't 
have, have annealed first then cut it off because it's a cast piece and the last thing you want to do is to cause any cracking on the inside of the structure right so anneal it first and chop your shoulder shank, shoulder shank off and then obviously the instructions will go into how to do that more detailed so when you've got all your pieces together and you've done your bit of sweat soldering what have you i've added a bit of a flare to mine so with these tools you can, they come in two actually, so you, you've got, I think they come in two, do they come in two? Is that right, is it a set of two? I'm sorry Ross, throwing you all off. One's a larger, one's smaller. We'll just, we'll have, we'll have a little look Real. now. Um, one size is for, for a taller flare, so like a, a yeah. larger ring and you yeah, can flare it out more. And then the same with the smaller, so you, if you want to make, say a really skinny, um, flared ring or even if you want to just encase say a rice pearl inside it or what have you but your your ring your ring blank is in here and you pop this on and you realize that actually these ends are meeting already just flip it over and use it that way around instead now when you come to use it i would clamp it in a vise and i would use my um what are they called my spanner and I would do a quarter turn. So once you've got your little nut on there, all the way down, and it's nice and tight, I would do a quarter turn mm -hmm. and release that pressure. And then I would do another quarter turn, then I'd take it off and anneal it. Because the last thing you want is this, where is it? This is just a bit of scrap. Uh, last thing you want is your solder seam to pop open while you're working on it. It's an absolute pig to fix. So. Once you've done all of that work, it does say that my ring's adjustable. Now it's not, but what I would do is, once you've soldered your sleeve together and you've popped it onto your flaring tool and you've made it all nice and round and you're finished, you can saw back through it and pop it back open and just round your edges off so that it's yeah. nice and comfortable to wear. Yeah. So it's just as straightforward as that, but it's just a nice way to collaborate three different pieces into one unique piece now that's going to be well over 100 quid if i sell that to someone else or if it was a custom piece i'd charge more so it's just a nice thing to have and it also offers so when you use these um a long time ago when i first started making jewelry i used to make flared hoops and i used to sell that many of them i got sick of it so you get product fatigue and you get sick of making them so just stop making them took them off the shop but they sell really well, so it doesn't apply just to rings. You can also make oh, big hoop earrings, earrings as well. Yeah. So that's what your tall I ones say, they good do for. Sound really nice. Yeah, oh, and this is it. And if you put a channel of beads or a channel of gemstones wow. down the middle, like a track almost, super sellers. Yeah. I got sick of making them. I got sick of seeing them. But you're more than welcome to give it a bash because they <laughs> are good money makers. Um, and your larger um, flaring tool is really good for that, especially if you've got bigger finger sizes. Um, so yeah, I, it's a really, really short one. No, because my my ring's too long to show you. Oh, do you know? Do but, you know? That's amazing though, and they can be if you don't do sort of the soldering, etc. I mean, mm, you've got with these. Yeah, you, you could do a bit of gemstone setting. You've got an amazing that's piece of jewelry straight away. Yeah, and just set yourself the challenge. You don't. I mean, if you want, just do do it as you want to. I mean, I like to set my stones. Um, it just adds a bit more security yeah. and peace of mind. So give it a go. If you have a problem, let me know. It's actually really easy with these smaller settings because that joining north to south to east to west, it happens in literally a split second. Yeah. So it's really easy. And then when you push your material over your gemstone, it just folds in like a piece of paper. Super easy. Beautiful. And then obviously you choose your gemstone. Yeah. So if you're a December baby, you've got turquoise. If you're a June baby, you've got pearls. Yeah. Um, you choose your gemstone. We've got some lovely moonstone. Now, these are all available on the website. Really? £10? So, of which you get the adjustable ring and you get the stone of choice. Oh, look at that. They're gorgeous. They're great and on their own. I mean, I've gone overboard because I go overboard with everything, but just on their own, I think they're beautiful. And I bet they would be, uh, you know, um, top sellers. Oh, yeah, easy. They, fly, they sell themselves. 
yeah. you know, especially when you put birthstone in the front of it, they, they fly out. And if you don't want it to be an adjustable ring, I would just cut the bobbles off at the back, yeah. solder it solder shut, it together. and then stretch it out. Well, yeah, and you've got the bobbles there that you can keep for another project because that's yeah. all precious metal. I love the texturing on I know, this. it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, Very, gorgeous. very nice. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets as if they were that price, Ross. As if, nine ninety nine. that's amazing. Um, if you go to all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, that, that's where you can source your birthstone. Also, if you click watch live, scroll down, you will see every single one of the birthstones. So on screens right now, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Uh, you know, it's not just any turquoise here. Sleeping Beauty I, turquoise, they are tenor. Yeah, they are so beautiful. Every, every single stone. And you know, I didn't have to modify any setting. Really? No, not at all. They all fit perfectly. Yeah, they all fit lovely. They all dropped in nicely. If you've got one that's maybe a little shallow, just um, solder yourself a small little jump ring and then solder it into your setting to wow. raise the seat. But I didn't need to with any of mine. Now, they're all on the web as we speak right now. So you can shop ahead on your birthstone. Um, $9.99, every single one. Just choose the gemstone um, that uh, is tailored to you, effectively. You've got all of them. Emerald, turquoise, sapphire, topaz, sapphire, amethyst, citrine, ruby, garnet. You can actually turn them into an S-clasp. You know, oh, like a, nice. like a, yeah, and just flip it around, make an S at the top and S at the bottom, yeah. and then turn it on its side. Yeah, so, so it becomes like a, a birthstone clasp. Mm, yeah, but yeah, because there's a lot of silver in there, isn't oh, there? Oh yeah, they're lovely and substantial. Yeah, they they haven't skimped on anything. And I do also like if you cut the bobbles off, you can make them into hoops. So if you buy two sets of the turquoise ones, then you've got a lovely pair of Love individual that. hoops that no one else has. Amazing, and of course stack them up. Oh, well, um, yeah, you can you can use gorgeous. them as intended. Now. Half hour away from your deal of the day, jewelry makers, all about um, the relaunch of your amazing sterling silver onyx Alhambra inspired strand. That's lush. It is a strand of silver. It's fab. It is absolutely amazing. Fab. The glossiness to it as well. There's 150 jewelry makers just giving you a heads up. You can make so much jewelry. Look, look, I was watching. Um, Oh, what was it the other no, not Antiques Roadshow, but I was watching something the other day and there was a with a celebrity. <laughs> um I don't know, I can't remember which celebrity it was, but she was like sat and she had one single four leaf oh, clover. Very classy. Yeah, very classy, and that's very. the thing that's using one. So these will sell out. I'm so confident about that statement. They're coming up at ten o'clock today, they're beautiful onyx, sterling silver, by the strand is hundred and fifty. Um also don't forget your amazing metallic pearls. They are open for pre-order as we speak, so you can secure yours. There's only 20 though. Multicolored Ripple Edison Pearls coming up very, very, very soon. I'm spoiled. We've also got that massive bundle of space to be, oh my goodness, look at those pearls. There's only 20. These are the pearls that I am, bu I am buying up as much as, I po as my budget allows. Really, do you know, I don't hear that very often, but Ross is like, have you got some of the Tahitians? Ross has just said, I'm buying these today if there's any left. It's a wise move. It is? Yeah. Because I don't want to sound frugal here, but I could literally buy those and sell them on straight away. Oh, you could, yeah, definitely. I'm sitting on mine. Me too. Yeah. I'm Me trying too. to build up my collection, but I'm not selling them. No. I might do at some point. Maybe two for a pair of earrings just to recoup my money back. But other than that, yeah. they are for me. Same. Yeah. Same as with Cotan. I'm keeping. Yeah. I'm keeping hold of that as well. Keeping them in your safe. Keep them in the safe. It's my retirement fund. And, uh, exactly. <laughs> at some point. At some point, I'll, I'll. I'll. I might have a look at it, and at selling them. Maybe. Now they're coming your way. Don't forget your sterling silver um, as well, jewelry maker. So there's loads to bring you. Still loads to bring you. Shall we do that gorgeous strand of sapphire that i teased you with this morning um yeah ross is saying i think this is one of the nicest strands in the entire company yeah i love this i don't disagree with you ross this is they're beautiful perfectly faceted oh hang on are we having a few few technical glitches gremlins i'll show you in the meantime it will come up in today's show look at the quality of the sapphire now sapphire is not just blue of course you get your beautiful greens, you get your reds, your pinks. It's a kaleidoscope oh. of colour, isn't it? It's stunning. Colourless sapphire. I agree, Ross. I, I think I that might well be one of the nicest strands of sapphire I've seen. 
It, it is Burmese. I remember us launching it. There's 30 available. Not yet. It's coming your way. Look at that luster. Um, and it's a long strand too. I tell you what, let's do a master carving, shall we, Jewelry Makers? This carving is absolute. Look at that. I love it. Isn't that amazing? It's so intricate. Got your money coins in there as well. Oh, is that what they are? These little rounds. Oh. Look at this. It's going to blow your mind the carving on this. It's a high goo, of course. But you can get high goos which are plain. You can get high goos which are incredibly detailed, like this. Look at that. It's pure natural type a white jadeite look at that quality it's perfection isn't it symmetrically yeah it blows your mind doesn't yeah. it it is do you know i've just had one of those moments where it's kind of just dawned on me thinking Elle, you are holding a type a jadeite natural burmese jadeite imperial white which was once upon a time reserved solely for the emperors of china nobody was allowed to wear the white one of the rarest colours, and I know that Ross is going to say something silly like close out deal. Oh. I knew it! I knew it! It is one of those moments though where you go, what on earth are we doing? You know? This is, and, and Adam said in my ear, Antiques Roadshow, these are the Antiques Roadshow pieces of the future. They're the Antiques Roadshow piece of, the, of, of now. Let's show you the previous closing price, because remember the Burmese mine closed in 2020. That's hundreds of years. 800 years of mining, gone. Gone, done. So even to be bringing it to you at £199, which is its previous closing price, this is not just carved on the one side, it's carved front and reverse. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, I've got to say that is quite special. The little money coins and you've got those details all the way around Flip it over. look at that that's some epic skills right there isn't it yeah. who is the genius that did that an artist oh yeah definitely a master carver that has perfected those skills over multiple 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 decades previous closing price <coughs> excuse me 199 pounds which is unbelievable how many do we have ross 10 okay exactly 10 available totally natural when you think that this is a gemstone that is physically as hard as steel and it's still carved by hand in an abrasive manner oh, just yeah, mind blowing work. huh it's very mucky work cutting stone yes i bet i want to buy this ross yeah i, I want my money though yeah i'd like said not it maybe even set a diamond in the yeah, center or something too. like that yeah me too 99 pounds and 99 pence and you might be thinking oh wait hang on a minute well just just for kicks let's do it let's do it i don't know what the stone is i'm picking up but here we go you get the idea oh well done or would you completely contrast it maybe with a ruby Would you go for Poppins. something like, yeah, beautiful. Would you go with a citrine? Do you see what I mean? Oh my goodness, that would be absolutely incredible. And again, you could almost set the exterior then. Yeah. Unbelievable. We have half the original amazing launch price. This is uh, type A Burmese Jadeite with your Imperial White. I'm going to get some of those afterwards. The slip pay was fab on that, wasn't was it? Was it? What, what was it? I think it was 24. Four ninety nine. Was that oh, right? Did I read that right? Pay. Goodness me. Um, okay, let's do a strand of Burmese jadeite, shall we? Now these are a recent launch. Actually, we haven't had these in the bowl for very, for very long. Um, the reason why we rarely see, particularly Burmese jadeite or Kotan, for example, in a cut like this, is because when you're working with something that's, that is as rare and valuable, price per carat, as jadeite. Um, the carvers are quite somewhat um, re resistant to actually double drilling them. Oh, are they? Yes, yeah, because you cut them carrot weight away. However, us as jewelry makers like those double drills because there's further opportunities. Um, so this is a new addition. Look at the quality of the colour. You know, imagine that. If you can't wear a bangle, if you if you know if you love the idea of wearing a jade bangle, but maybe it's uncomfortable or the size doesn't suit. 
Um, and this is a fantastic alternative because literally just put that onto your elastic and you're making high-end jewellery. I would imagine it feels lovely against yeah. the skin, very cooling. Absolutely. Screams summer, doesn't it? Yeah, you perfect. The kind of piece that you can put on and never take off. Holding a Mai Tai somewhere. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Perfect apple blossom green. How many do we have? Thirty. Okay. Let's put this on the wrist so you can see. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I bet that feels lovely against it your does. skin. It does. Nice, it? Like you said, it's nice and cool. Yeah, and then with the rounds as well, that must be quite a. Doesn't catch. It just. No, it's it's, not. it just Oops. is. It just is. It perfect just is. As it is. Yeah. Um, effectively, you're getting two strands. Does that make sense? You yeah. You're sourcing the rounds and you're sourcing um, the rectangles. Now, we're going to do a massive deal for you, jewellery makers. Um, yeah, just you know, sort of working our way towards the beautiful Alhambra-inspired deal of the day that's coming your way. Don't forget the sand and scan. Don't forget those amazing pearls. We've got loads to bring you in today's show. Also, don't forget the green Cotan jade that we're bringing to you at a close out deal. The mine close. We say 800 years with Burmese jade, right? 10,000 years history of Cotan. It's in two years. It, can no, you? no, exactly. Um, and we're basically seeing in the next last two, two years. That's coming your way. Get Cotan while you have the opportunity. We're at £199. For natural type A jade, I'm loving that. The simplicity, it's almost Morse code, isn't it? Do you see where oh, I'm coming from? Yeah. Look at the quality of those colours. So you're getting what, two, four, six, eight of the rectangles. And then you're getting, let's count them, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen rounds. We used to sell these by the little parcel, didn't we? Like your the rounds, you get a little parcel of six or fives or sixes, yeah, absolutely. Now you're getting, what, 14? And then you're getting these huge sizes, which could easily be used as a cabochon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good shout. It's not, let's not forget those moments when we first introduced the quality of jade that you're seeing on your screens. They were little tiny parcels. That's how most people actually purchase this gemstone, small parcels. Look at the carrot weight. 100 carats you're getting this opportunity at a ridiculous £49.99. £49.99. Remember when we're talking about your jade, we're talking, it's not the four C's like you would uh, um, <coughs> assess most other gemstones, not all. Um, but it, it's about translucency, so how fine that crystal structure is. An indication that this is fine crystal structure is the fact that it literally looks like. Uh, um, a melting ice cube they refer mm. to the water content plus then they talk about the lovely color this is an amazing apple blossom green um, and then the carving of it the cutting the artistry 49 pounds and 99 pence we are going to put a 60 second clock on your screens to close this because that's far too low 100 carats of this quality use the drill holes if you wish or treat them as cabochons it's up to you I'd be quite tempted you do those double bars, don't you? It's a yes. bar with two drill holes, so yeah. I'd like to take the rounds out and use the rounds around the back of your wrist nice. and then have the bars in between the, the square rectangles. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, just they could almost sparky. be connectors as well, couldn't they, with that oh, double yeah. drill? Yeah, or like a bolo style. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Oh, great idea. Lovely. In 33 seconds, we've got to move on from this because the price is, frankly, ridiculously low. Um, again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. When they say 10 centimetres, though, it's more than that, isn't it? because you've you've got the rounds in between yeah definitely that makes sense and they've measured the rectangles from the skinniest point haven't they yeah that way to that way so yeah i would agree unbelievable make sure you're checking out everybody june wiltshire marishka lincolnshire and june in hampshire again make sure you're checking out your baskets new customers london getting involved well done um how, we didn't have many of these did you say ross okay make sure you're checking out everybody to guarantee yours um, okay, remember the pearls, remember the pearls. Again, this is one of those opportunities if you are a pearl lover like so many of us are. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm a glass, uh, uh, um, glass is half full kind of girl because we could look at this and go, oh my goodness, the price of pearls has gone through the roof. Yeah, it has, which is a problem if you firstly don't shop the jewelry maker and secondly, if you, if you are looking to get pearls of this grade and you don't have us here, then it's an issue. It's not an issue if you shop with us mm -hmm. because we bring you the prices pre-purchase.
pearl frenzy. I'll talk some more about that. Um, get pearls now if you are a pearl collector, because unfortunately, we our accessibility to pearls, which has always been amazing over the years, over the 14 years, that has changed. We can't buy pearls like this. There's only 20 available. Shop ahead and pre-order, and um, that's coming up. Um, and don't forget also your sterling silver spacer bee bundle that we are bringing you to where you get a hundred um, different designs they're metallic we've casually missed that letter off that word off the um, off the graphics you know from a harvest of 10,000 cultured pearls less than 10 of them will be naturally metallic they're almost space like aren't they yeah they've got wonderful colors unbelievable I want to buy those um, okay let's do what sorry the sapphire, are we doing it now? Ross is saying, and you've got a, we've got a lot of sapphire in our vault. We have, that sounds like, yeah, we've got a lot of sapphire. <laughs> no, but we have. It's a gemstone that's quite easy to get hold of at the moment. Not necessarily this location. However, this quality, not so much. Um, but for us, for, for us to say, that quite possibly is the best strand of sapphire that we have in our entire business. And there is, I don't know if I'll get thanked for saying it, <laughs> millions of pounds worth of stock in our vault. There is. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to go and have a nosy. I mean, right. <laughs> blinded. You'll see why we've made that statement. Look at the quality of this sapphire. Look at those blues. I, I mean, those blues are perfection. Stunning. Aren't they? It's like a skyline, isn't it? You've got all the colours. Completely natural. <clears throat> Burmese sapphire, every colour, even down to the colourless. You've got pinks, you've got yellows, and you have the perfect cornflower blues. Ah, oh, purples. Does anyone else see yeah, like little purple is. shades here? Purples is one of the rarest colours of sapphires. Unbelievable strand. The I quality didn't know it came in purple. Didn't you? No. Yeah, it's very rare. Very, very rare purple sapphire. Up there with your Paparaccia Sapphire. Mm. Look at that quality. I agree with you, Ross. I think this is quite possibly the best strand of sapphires we currently have in our vault. Um, it's totally natural. It's not Fisher filled. Um, <coughs> I agree. I agree. Ross is saying, look, would you agree there's red on that strand? Yeah, definitely. So they're Burmese rubies then. <laughs> and that's all very much in the eye of the beholder. You know, whoever has actually graded. Um, usually the gemologist that's looked at it and says, right, they're sapphire. So th the only difference between a very deep pinkish red sapphire, um, let's put two together if you like, is the eye of the beholder. It's just the amount of chromium that's added. So a, a pink sapphire will transform into a ruby if there's more chromium in it. Oh, I didn't know that. You Did you not? No, 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 I learn that. something every time you are. There you go. It's, so for me, they are Burmese rubies that you've got in there. I wouldn't describe that these, for example, as, as pink. I would describe those as ruby reds. Yeah, yeah, yeah? definitely, yeah. So this one here, yeah, that's yes. pink. So that's a pink sapphire. These ones here, Burmese rubies. Definitely. 100%. It's just almost like making a glass of cordial, just a little bit more chromium. Right, that's gone from a sapphire <laughs> into a ruby then. I love it, it. It's that simple. Right. Natural, certified, Burmese. Ross is saying, I genuinely believe that this strand, the quality of these blues, should be here. He says, I'm more than comfortable. Yeah, there's four. How many people do you know own 45 carats of Burmese ruby, uh, sapphire? Not many. I can't think of any. No. With those colours. Do you know what? See, look, look at that one blue there. That one there. The price we take this strand to, I'd be happy to pay for that one Burmese sapphire. Yeah. We're gonna do this in one more price crash and then we'll put 60 seconds on your screen because there's only 30 available and the price is ridiculous. Are you ready? Get your certificate of authenticity be quick because when you see the price they will not hang around we all believe that this is quite possibly is one of the best the finest strands of sapphire that we have within our vault possibly ever are you ready you've got a minute at this next price forget 99.99 oh 
Oh my goodness. Are we going to a break after this? <laughs> yes, silly. Silly boy. What on earth, Roscoe? He says, that's why I think this is one of the best strands in the business. The quality, look at that. The location and, uh, sorry, the treatment, the fact there is none. And the price, what on earth? It's, it's natural, it's not diffused, it's not fissure filled, it's not even heat treated. Look at that. Do you know what, you know, at that price, you would expect this to be sort of hugely diffused, wouldn't you? And maybe a short 15 centimeter oh, yeah. strand. Yeah, it would Not be, yeah. the case, it's natural. Do you know less than, less than 5% of the world's sapphire is natural. Oh really? Most of it is treated in some way, shape or form. You've just got some of the 5% for 25 quid. Chris. I'm actually blown away. Me too. Well done everybody. That is gonna sell out, I'm not surprised, <sighs> incredible incredible don't forget your spacer beads everybody they're coming up you get a pack of 100 of those spacer beads of different patterns also they're amazing i aren't know they? aren't they? i'm dying to put them on <laughs> yeah or do you want to go on then go on go, go on. on go on right you on. Are. oh my goodness charlie they are stunning aren't they thank you i love the feel of them they're very natural aren't they they're very they feel like I should be in a ball gown. You know, they make you, like you said last time. You lift, you hold your head a little bit higher when you're in pearls Don't like you? this. Don't you? I'm not used yeah. to it left, right, left, right. They feel divine, <coughs> don't they? Amazing. Get your pearls when you have the opportunity, um, especially naturally metallic pearls like yeah, this. The definitely. price has gone through the roof. Um, <coughs> it's one of the gemstones, one off. Like I said, Kotan's coming up, Burmese jadeite, I mean, Burmese sapphire that you've just seen. It's one of the gemstones that I'm most definitely buying right now. And I asked the question to, um, I asked the question whenever I get the opportunity actually, to like your gem investors like Jake, like Dave. I was like, what gemstones are you trying to buy right now? You personally, for your own collection. Oh, okay, yeah, good and, questions. You know, and, and Burmese gemstones are often uh, sapphires, rubies, definitely pearls, jade. They're the obvious ones. They are the obvious ones. So we're going to yeah. follow that lead, aren't we? <laughs> Absolutely. That would make sense. Coming up, they're available on pre-order as we speak. <laughs> up next. Oh, I love these. The Morse code strand of sterling silver. I got some of these. I love it. And we talk about personalization, which is big everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you can get pictures personalized, can't you? Mugs, all sorts of stuff, can't Candles. You? Jewelry is fab. Jewelry, absolutely. The fact that you can write a little message, I don't know, you might have a, a nickname. You might have a little, little saying or a quote that you, I know, I'm not gonna ask, <laughs> but there might be a little little quote or saying that you say to one another and you could put it in Morse code. And Carol it's still... likes snotty words, doesn't she? She tends to Present get to Carol. Yes. Yeah, she well, tends to opt for four letters. <laughs> does she? Yeah. That does not surprise me at all with our Carol. I <laughs> love it. Love it. <laughs> yes, you could swear on them, uh, on your Morse and code gift children. it. And gift with it. With love. With love. <laughs> I wonder if the penny drops. I know. Can probably you not. <laughs> You're wounded, aren't you? Are they going to Google it? <laughs> you wouldn't want a present from her again, would you? Like, oh, yeah, cheers, Carol. Uh, nice one. <laughs> this is a strand of solid sterling silver in your morse code um so they are precious metal yeah you got to think about it what 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 naughty words would you actually put oh i don't know i can think of a few but obviously not for too, tv too many to say not yes. tv broadcastable obviously <laughs> Maybe after nine o'clock <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 make sure you're checking out i love these i love the idea you've got a nice uh, drill hole in the center so yeah i mean we brought you morse code uh gemstones didn't we and jade mm. and i made my husband a little stretchy bracelet he wears it every day i wasn't oh. expecting him to to be honest oh. um but yeah really simple with jade it just says i love you on there oh but if, if i actually like engraved that i'm not so sure he'd be as keen to wear no, it no it's too out in there. your face yeah almost. a bit out there yeah. maybe but something that's uh, that's written in morse code he would that's not what i'd put on for my husband no <laughs> <laughs> i'm so 
intrigued here, like, of all the nicknames that everybody would put into their Morse code. There's yeah. a few, isn't there? There's a few, yeah, there is a few. Um, or it might be a little mess, a little word to yourself, you know, relax, breathe. Reminder. Take, you know, yeah. a reminder, because life is crazy. Pardon? I did, I did. I turned it around to something, you know, sentimental. Lovely. Yeah, something <laughs> nice. Um, we launched these. Yes, you're right, Roscoe. We did. Three grams of solid sterling silver. They absolutely flew on launch. And we were actually showing you the... If you Google it, you, there's just the different letters of the alphabet in Morse code. So you spell it out, basically. And you even got, you've even got uh, um, numbers, etc. So you could put maybe anniversaries punctuation yeah in morse code you could yeah you could do i don't know you could do um dot 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 you could do your nickname with an exclamation dot, mark dot, couldn't dot, you dot dot <laughs> dot, hey, dot are you what, dash what are you what i can't say it <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody play that back and find out <laughs> find out what charlie has just spelt out 39.99 for a full strand of sterling silver morse morse code um yeah we launched these and look and i can show you a few examples oh, my cute. person i like that that's nice loved blessed yeah, well blessed i like that soulmate, soulmate forever, forever. And it, to other people, it just looks like an arrangement, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But to the person that, that received it or is wearing it, it's something much more sentimental, isn't it? I love that. Big gram weight of precious metal. It's got a lovely um, uh, texture to it, hasn't it? They are, they're I, stardust. I, I think I'd prefer that. Like almost little tic-tac shapes. Oh, yeah, they are. Team. That's Team. another one. Oh, that's a Team. nice one. And you could all wear them and you could incorporate your children and everything, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, see, that would be lovely. Or you could even do it as a necklace. It doesn't have to be a bracelet, no, does it? No, that's true. Have all the kiddies on there. Yeah, do you know someone that's going through a particular hard time? You or could, a pet's you know... name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably know. have my pet's name on there. We're at £19.99, and but it's not where we closed. Yeah, I would probably make one with Brutus's name on there as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. To be honest. Tom always says to me, if they were... Elle, if there was... Not joking about this. He goes, if, they, if, we, if there was a fire in our house, you would save the dog before me, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I think I'd probably do the same. And it's like that. Um, uh, no. Do you want a cup of coffee? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at him Look, look at him. Um, 19.99, but we're not stopping there. Susan and Brian as multi-bought. Deborah, Carol, Rem Fuchsia, Michelle, Shelley, Beverly, Maker, Valerie. I bought these on the launch. I love them. I absolutely love the fact that you can make something so personal. You know, you, you, you just think about your network, your circle of friends or, um, or family. You know, my best friend's recently opened her own business and mm. it's tough at the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, oh really, yeah. Really, really, really tough initially. It's like, you know, you could do sort of a letter, a word of encouragement, keep going, yes, you can push, do this. Yeah, definitely. And then she can wear it and look down and there it is. Seventeen pounds and ninety-nine pence in solid sterling silver. Three grams of sterling silver. Oh yeah, there's loads of things. You do point. you, yeah. Why not? Be individual. <laughs> individual. <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I call Willow Little Peach. Oh. So you could have Peach on there. Oh, that's cute. Tigatron. I was going to say Tigatron might be a tricky <laughs> uh, one to spell. Tigatron. Seventeen ninety nine jewelry makers. You know, and, and 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 for children, I think it's a great great idea because, you know, school is tough now, isn't it? Is. it? It's yeah. really really yeah, tough. So you could actually do a little bracelet for them, um, again with something encouragement or yeah. supporting. Have you seen those little crocheted? potatoes and vegetables no and it's like i might be small potato but um i believe in you or something like that it's little positive potatoes <laughs> that you put in their pencil cases and things like oh, that really? it's oh, cute that's cute i don't know it's not actually a potato it's crocheted <laughs> it's a it's called a positive potato yeah they're cute no, they're really 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 cute 
<laughs> yeah, in my days, I would have got a spud, an actual yeah. spud. Maybe just the written, green on, with, one. written <laughs> on with a Sharpie pen. You know, the one that's sprouting. Um, <laughs> 17.99, June, Maker, Deborah, Davinia. Hello to you, Valerie, Susan, Geraldine, Deborah, Carol. Oh, we're a sentimental bunch, aren't we? Lovely and sentimental. Love that. For Ross, for example, you would just put, you are the best. <laughs> Oh, you, I am the best. He, oh, right, you're making it for yourself, are you? So, okay, he's making it for himself, so he's just like, I am the best, because he's very <laughs> humble like that. I am the best. He's so modest, isn't I know. he? He says it regularly. Oh. Says it regularly. You know, oh. Ad Adam, he'd have, he'd make one saying, handsome Adam. Oh. There you go. He is a, he is a gentleman, isn't he? He is a gentleman. Such a he gentleman. Is, he is a gent. Would you, uh, for, for Dan, I'd put blues. Blues. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> right, again, don't forget about these amazing pearls, jewelry makers. Um, there is 20 available. The quality of these are on another level. They're coming up in one more auctions time, but not before we bring you the spaces um, of which you get, sorry, me reaching over, of which you get a huge selection. I like the fact, I don't know, Charlie, do you remember? How long have you shopped with Jewelry Maker? Do you remember? Almost from the beginning. Have Almost, you? yeah. Not the very beginning. I was a little bit late on the. <laughs> I'm always a little bit late. Um, but yeah, back back in the day. You stumbled across us, did you? We did, yeah. Bouncing the baby on your knee and you know changing nappies yeah, and moving up the do. rusk biscuits and all that. Yeah. As you do. Now, the reason why I say that is because I remember when we used to do space of bees by packs of ten. Yeah. I remember we didn't do space of bees at all. Yeah. And they were in little findings packs, the little black chiffon bags. Do you yeah, remember those? Yeah. And you got maybe three or four, um, but they were more crimps. Then we're like, oh, what a great idea if we were to sell them in packs. Yeah. So we did 10. Yeah. And then we did 15. And then we did 20. And we're like, okay, that's lots that is now. <laughs> and we were selling them normally around 14.95. Right. You're getting a pack of 100 sterling silver spacer beads, of which I don't know if you can see, they're all different. If I scooch them to the front, Dan. Can you see that? How many designs is there, Ross? Four different designs. Here you go. You get a pack of 100. So there's your four. Three millimeter. And you can see, if I pop the tweezers behind it, the different patterns. So you've got the plane. You've got the stardust. You've got this diamond cut. And then you have this almost kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe it, like a sort of flower-like detailing on the side. There's the three, the four designs, sorry. 100 sterling silver, 25 each, yeah? Oh, brill. That's good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is a good amount. Yeah, very usable. Because 10 for me won't go very far. No, no, no. And you use a lot of them, don't you? That's yeah, the thing you I do. used to have to buy packs of fives yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Now, I tell you what, jewelry makers, look at the gram weight. Five grams, five and a half grams of sterling silver. Sorry, five and a quarter. How about ease of maths a quid each? Pound for a sterling silver decorative bead. Elsewhere, that's what you'd be paying, yeah, definitely. Yeah, seems fair. Yeah, yeah. Seems fair. Especially the diamond cut ones. Ignore that. How about a giant leap of a price crash? Oh, I just There's 100 that. here, Ross. I don't know how we do this because the price of silver is not less. Oh, no, 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 no. Price no, of no, silver no, no. is much more these days. Yep. How many have you got? If these don't sell out, I will absolutely be stocking up on these because it's ridiculous to even be suggesting going lower than 24.99. What is that each now? 25, of course, 25p. 25p per spacer bead. That's fab, isn't it? And like you, I use a lot of them. Yeah, you do. You don't realise how many you use until you run out. You yeah. Oh, I've actually used quite a lot yeah. in that piece. There used to be one of our. Uh, there was there was a time when spacer beads used to be one of our biggest sellers. Like as a as a team here at Jewelry Maker, it was always like, oh, we got any spacer beads in today's show. It, you know, it was like one of the star. A thing. Yeah, one of the star products, and they still very much are because you think about it. There's so many different. It works with every medium. 
You can use them as an alternative to a knot, for example, on your pearls. Mm. You can use them as punctuations, maybe like, uh, you know, our sister channel will do on diamonds. Um, but they're not just a spherical bead. You've actually got detailing in this as well. I mean, we showed you um, not so long ago a simple sterling silver beaded bracelet from Tiffany's. That oh, was, of yeah. course, at a Tiffany's price tag. In silver, Very much which so. you could make and then some. Never mind twenty four ninety nine. Ooh. Never mind nineteen ninety. This is silly. Who launched these, Russ? I've not. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I swear. Oh my goodness me! We went lower. <laughs> what? I was there. <laughs> okay. I tell you, honestly, I've slept since then. It's so a blur. My, I have got a terrible memory. Nineteen ninety nine, and we're going even lower. Look, you get four different designs. I'd pay nineteen ninety nine for for the twenty five. Do you see where I'm coming from? Oh yeah. For one of those designs, you can make that Tiffany's design, and then some. To be fair, with multiple left over. You could put a little bumblebee. Yes, that's a nice idea, Roscoe. He, he um, is the best. He is the best. He is. That's why. <laughs> Don't agree. <laughs> Do you know what, Ross? I am going to make you a Morse code bracelet that says that, you know. Another 30 seconds, because I don't think people realise that we are going lower than 19.99. You're not paying that price tag. We're at 20p per sterling silver spacer bead. 35 have gone, that's half the stock. I'm not surprised. We're already far too low. Far too low. Four designs. I don't know why it needed a change of tone. I don't know. Like who? Did I? Sounded like Patrick Stewart. I don't think he did. <laughs> did I? <laughs> okay. Isn't he off Lord of the Rings? Uh, no. I can visualise him, but I can't think what he's been in. Yeah, what's he been in? <laughs> Star Trek, that's it. <laughs> oh, look at the price. Brill. We used to do packs of 10, 15. Yeah. For, the, for not far off that price. Yeah, you'd be paying that. That price elsewhere. You wouldn't be paying that price elsewhere. Well, you say this a lot, Charlie. You know, when we have to source... And we do sometimes, it's fine. So yeah. I have to. I've got an account with our with our competitor Cooks and Gold. Yeah. I have because there's items that they sell that we don't and, and they're fantastic. It changes so fast here. Yeah. So I have made the mistake of leaving stuff in my basket, going yeah. off to do the washing up, forget poof gone, and it don't come back for ages. So no. yeah, you but they you, wouldn't be seventeen ninety nine, no. would they elsewhere? No, you offer s silly prices <laughs> for a hundred. <laughs> that's one hundred spacer beads. I definitely get a few packs of those. I actually need some. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I always need some. <laughs> yeah, that's well. You're not alone in that. It's spacer beads, head pins. Yeah, clasps. You know, clasps. Yeah, these are the, always the things yeah. that are designed. And the crimps, the crimps as well. Never have enough of those. Yeah. I did think you could actually, because some people like to put a stop at the end of their Morse code letters, don't they? You could use a contrasting yeah, sterling nice. silver, so it blends in. Yeah. But it does, and maybe if you do um, a saying, like you said, a phrase, "I love you," you could put one of these at the end Otherwise of it's just I love you yeah <laughs> just never ending you could shout it at him yeah. I <laughs> love uh, you. yes full stop <laughs> full stop <laughs> so all of a sudden usually punctuation becomes a little bit more aggressive doesn't it yeah love that Quint quantity remaining um 11 so you can get these and the Morse code spaces for less than 40 pounds sterling silver you love laughing it. all the way to the bank aren't you or you could do kind of like passive aggressive things, couldn't you? Washing on the stairs is to be taken up. <laughs> you could do those, couldn't you? Socks don't live on the floor. No, yes, you could do all those. Pick up your towel. All those things. <laughs> Shut the drawers. <laughs> Why do you leave drawers open? Yeah, oh, Why? you could. I like it. this. I like this idea. <laughs> do you know? I reckon you're onto something here. This could be a big seller. Take the bins out. You bought me flowers last year. <laughs> <laughs> 
crack on. And swap them. <laughs> swap them around. Um, down to the final seven of these. Well done, everybody. Um, there's just five left. There's way more than five of you with it in your basket. It's all around the world getting involved as well. I'm not getting um, any of them, am I? I don't yeah. think I'm going to get any of the sapphire as well either, am I? Did that go too? Yeah, no. it's got to bring your phone into the It's studio. a black hole in here anyway. And I'm not fast enough. You guys are so quick. I know. I'm wish list slow. it. Wish list it. That does, you know, they'll come up on the wish list. Now, jewellery makers. I know that producer Ross, he's got his eye on these and I think it's a very sensible purchase, to be honest. He says, I, I'll make a deal. I will only purchase them if there is any left at the end of this auction. So that's more than fair. That's quite kind of him, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, Restraint. Now, with pearls, it's the five virtues. So we talk about their size. These are huge. We talk about shape. One of the most sought after in a Baroque pearl. Then we talk about colours. You can dye pearls, of which these aren't. These are totally natural. Then we talk about nacre how abundant, how thick that nacre is, which leads very nicely into the fifth virtue, which is, of course, your luster. How mirror-like is that beauty? And that's the most important, in my opinion. If you can have the most amazing, huge pearl, naturally colored, lovely shape, but if it lacks luster, then it's just me. So you have, the luster is so exceptional on these that they are actually metallic pearls. Uber rare. We have a quantity and it is a quantity when we're talking about pearls. However, it's not going to be enough in, for our jewellery maker audience. So be quick. True jewellery maker price in a style buy. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, let the cat out of the bag, but I will say I've asked producer Ross then, you heard me. I did, I did. So like, what are these going to, Ross? And he just said, and I said, that's crazy. Because I remember, never mind the current pearl situation, because we all know the current pearl situation, but rewind five, six years maybe? I don't know, don't quote me on that, but rewind a significant time ago. We used to do pearls like this, metallic pearls, strands of this length, I remember them vividly. Do you remember these, that guys? They were about that long, weren't they? That's a full 38 centimetre strand. Pearls are more expensive now. When you have entire harvests of certain locations around the world that are bought up for the future decade. Can you imagine that? Um, oh, hello to all you Tahitian pearl and, and all you South Sea pearl harvesters. I will buy the future decade of harvests. Now, does that have a knock-on effect to other pearl harvested? Absolutely. So your Edison pearls skyrocket in price, and they were already expensive. Akoya pearls. Akoya pearls are, are so staggeringly expensive now because they're one of the few that you can access. Freshwater pearls. We had our pearl buyer join us um, a few weeks ago on the show and she was saying I can't buy freshwater pearls because China won't e export them that what you know most of the freshwater pearls are are actually harvested in China and the market is huge for pearls in China at the moment you think about it they're a third of the world's population yeah China so yeah. if they've got an insatiable appetite for a gemstone there's no point in them exporting them the only pearls that we can get hold of right now are your Edison's but they come at a very high price. Like Akoyas, they are very expensive. Edison pearls are one of the big four. One of the best varieties in the world. You are looking at, let's go through those five virtues. That recording, Adam, is amazing. So you're looking at large pearls. In terms of their measurements, Ross, nine to 11 millimeters. When we talk about the color, surely when they've got that rich, almost gold, pistachios, purples, that must be dyed. Mm -mm, it's natural. They are so good that it raises those questions, yes. Surely with that much luster, 
the nacre is going to be substantial absolutely every single one of those five virtues virtues being ticked and then some what does not make sense and this is from one avid pearl lover to another is the price see it make the most of it and then forget that price because it is no reflection of the true value or worth good luck if there are any left i will 100 percent be joining you ross because this is one of the craziest deals i've seen they are metallic pearls i know our graphics don't say it but do you agree can you see bronze can oh, you yeah. see gold can you see copper tones yeah and that's natural from the thickness of the nacre i only have 20 though i only have 20. the ripples a baroque pearl is or, or ripple pearls in fact you know what roscoe we read that article didn't we talking about ripple pearls the new favorite there you go there's articles talking about the, the the desirability of ripple pearls what is a ripple pearl it's an abundance of nacre which is the rare precious material that makes a pearl beautiful you get these lovely almost imagine like throwing a silk sheet in the air like the Cadbury's flake advert and you get those ripples across yeah. that on a pearl that on a pearl we have 20 available opportunities they won't last long because straight away we've got pearl collectors getting involved when there's 20 available Ross did we have more at the beginning that's why it's that price then doesn't make sense but we bought when we bought these however long ago pre pearl frenzy ah there we go they've been under lock and key february these were launched okay when we bought these we bought them at a fantastic price because we bought quantity you are seeing that fantastic price tag today because the reality 1999 pounds that's already far too low for ripple pearls naturally metallic of this size of this quality that's not your price though you've got well producer presenter and many others i think in the studio all yeah mm -hmm. are you fancying these charlie mm -hmm. yeah designer all fancy in these and that's an unbelievable price already if we were stopping there if we were stopping there I buy pearls not just because they're so visually beautiful and classic and timeless and iconic I buy pearls because never mind like when my girls turn 18 or 21 they're not going to be anywhere near these prices they're not there now no. so what are they going to be in a few decades time I dread to think dread actually. to think exactly even if I've got pearl strands that I've been buying over the years that I've literally just put away yeah me too make sure you take them out of the plastic by the way yes pearls don't like being in plastic Very so good put them point. in yeah just put them in like a like a a, a cotton bag or something like that 299 is not your price the next price crash not your price I have to say again, yeah, I agree. Ross is saying this is one of the best strands uh, price point for what you're getting in the entire company. I agree. Again, Ross, I remember doing the like 10, 15 centimeter metallic pearl strands about five, six years ago, and they were more than the price that's on your screens right now. You've got a full 38 centimeter strand, and we're not even stopping there. They're big. They're full of luster. They're full of those spectrum colors. That is all totally natural. And they are one of the hottest trends of pearls at the moment. Natural color, beautiful layers of nacre that give you that amazing reflection, that orient, that brightness. Really, on, Ross has just checked the documentation. It's saying they do go up to, some of them go up to 13 millimeters. Well, yeah, look at that one. That's the, oh, where is it? There. 100% 13 mil. Nobody is paying 199. Oh, look at that one there. Oh, sorry. I know it does make you go, look at that. Oh, and that one. Oh! It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. If they don't sell out, I will absolutely be joining you, Ross. That's, that's unbelievable for Ripple Pearls. But again, 
not just the value of these, the accessibility of these. You know, you want to get a certain type of Rolex watch. You go on a waiting list for a decade. Oh, easy, yeah. At least, depending on what. We can't get hold of certain pearls. People will pay over the odds on certain types of watches so they don't have to wait that long. You know, we're bringing you this level of quality at prices that didn't exist six years ago. Look at them, they're absolutely unbelievable. Again, so super reflective. They're big individual pearls. I had 20, 37 pounds and 25 pence. That's a crazy low price, isn't it? Um, on your split payment. It's a long. What's that? that? Oh. We're not gonna be getting these. Um, and do you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay because I, I, you know, what's most important is our customers get them. Um, if anything falls out of baskets, then I'll be keeping a watch for life. <laughs> I most definitely be keeping a watch for life because, like I said, these are these are pills for the future. The pills for now, of course. The price is absolutely skyrocketing. It's no way near 149 pounds. These types of pills are sold individually for four figures on occasion. Oh, easy individually easy it's such a long strand as well isn't yeah it? it's not five or six that's red carpet worthy again you think about that um influencer the chinese influencer and holly and, and celebrity nini yes she was wearing tahitian pearls but they're pearls of this size oh yeah and yeah. And, and and that's taken tahitian pearls south sea pearls edison pearls akoya pearls all of them freshwater pearls to dizzy prices dizzy prices look at that five figures do you want to know how many of these are left? Five. There are five left within the business once they're gone. They're gone, jewelry makers. Again, we are not exempt from the current situations within any gemstone market. You know, the popularity, as with all gemstones, it goes up, it goes down. We fell out of love with emeralds once upon a time. Now they're back in favor massively. Pearls, they are that constant, aren't they? Even gents are wearing them now, aren't yeah. they? Which I think says a lot. Gents yeah. don't typically wear jewelry, but if they are noticing them. Oh, they are stunning. You're right, Libby. They're stunning absolutely beautiful it's the amount of colors natural colors that you're getting in these with that wonderful high luster now uh, we, we've got 30 seconds on your screen jewelry makers we're going to dive straight into a break and then we've got your amazing masterclass coming up all about the alhambra inspiration of course in sterling silver and beautiful onyx i've got a hundred here it is here is the strand, super excited and they're perfectly paired as well. Um, so they're coming up just after the break, jewelry makers, we've got 150 of those, so much more to bring you throughout the course of the morning show. More from our gorgeous Charlie, we will see you in two, well done. <laughs> Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. 
we also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're well this Friday morning. Oh, we're all just a little bit excited about your deal of the day today. Do you know when something, a piece, you think about some of the most iconic pieces in jewellery history. The Alhambra, the Panther for Cartier, the little padlock for Tiffany's and Co. Some of the most iconic are actually some of the simplest designs, mm. aren't they? Yeah. And they have stood not just over decades, over centuries. Yeah. The Panther has been around for, Cartier Panther has been for over a hundred years. Length, um, isn't it? Yeah, it stands the test of time. Yeah. And of course, you know, said maisons, as they call themselves, um, they come with a pretty price, price tag. You know, if you want to get yourself a little Al Alhambra, even the mini ones from Van Cleef and Arpels, you are talking thousands of pounds, thousands of pounds. Yes, they'll be gold and it'll be a beautiful onyx. Now we're not bringing you the gold because that would be obviously quite expensive, but we're still bringing you beautiful sterling silver and still genuine onyx. So when we talk about the four leaf clover, I don't think there's many people out there who wouldn't think of Van Cleef and Arpels, which is where the inspiration lies. So what's the history of this amazing design, this collection from this iconic brand? Um, well, they say a value dear to the Maison. I love how they refer to themselves as the Maison. Um, luck has been a perennial guiding light to Van Cleef and Arpels, inspiring uh, some of its most iconic creations. Four leaf clover motifs first appeared in the Maison's archives as, as of 1920, embellish, uh, embellishing select creations over the years alongside other symbols of good fortune, including wooden talismans, charms, and benevolent fairies. 
Jack Sarpel's nephew of the founding couple, an avid collector, would often pick four-leaf clovers in his backyard, offering them to his employees as a good luck charm. So that is where it all began. To be lucky, you must believe in luck, as Jacques Arpels, nephew of Estelle Arpels, liked to say. An avid collector, he would pick the four-leaf clovers in his backyard um, of his house, offering them to his employees alongside the English poem, Don't Quit, which is a very beautiful poem as well. Um, in 1968, the Maison created the first Alhambra long line necklace composed of 20 clover shaped motifs, increased yellow gold and trimmed with gold beads. This symbolic design achieved immediate success, recognized throughout the world as a token of luck, emblematic of Van, Van Cleef and Arpels. And like I said, it is one of those really simple and distinctive shapes that you see and immediately know who it is. It is iconic to the brand, isn't it? One of the original sketches, this is all on Van Cleef's website, by the way, um, 1948. So you can see that looks very like it's very much diamond embellished as well. You've got the beaded design, but you can see there's that four leaf clover um, going back, back to the 1940, uh, 1940s. Um, over the years, the Alhambra collection has introduced new aesthetics to its offerings, each providing an imaginative interpretation of the iconic motif, motif sorry, so dear to Van Cleef and Arpels. Vintage Alhambra pieces, which reflect the collection's original aesthetics, are complemented by elegant variations of motifs, symbols, colours and sizes. Faithful to the first Alhambra long necklace created in 1968, vintage Alhambra pieces stand out for their uh, eminently recognisable style, identical in size, each motif is edged in golden beads and are set with natural and refined materials. Boldly asymmetrical, magic Alhambra, so these are different designs, so you get the vintage and you get the magic one. Magic Alhambra creations feature um, a harmonious combination of shapes and, and materials from carnelian to tiger's eye white and gray mother of pearl white gold and diamonds the motifs are interpreted in playful uh, varieties of sizes so for example you know the one that we've shown with the princess of wales which actually is kind of asymmetric different size motifs that would be the magic um, and again let's talk about let's show you sort of the similar prices um, that yeah, Van Cleef, this one, there we go. So there's that, that's one of the magic collections because you've got the different sizes um, of your motifs there. Beautiful, beautiful, symbolic. It's that classic, classic design. But let's talk about some of the prices that you can expect on Van, for Van Cleef and Arpels. Well, you can sometimes pick them up from se uh, on the secondary hand market, but direct from them for um, a black onyx ring, by the way. £2,910. By the way, don't think, oh yeah, but it's the diamond out. No, the diamond's tiny. It's not the diamond. Um, look at the earrings. Without diamonds, £2,000. Uh, Let's call it that. Um, and they are smaller, definitely. They definitely, because they're sweet. Sweet is the small, little small ones. Um, then you've got the 10 motifs. There we go, 6,900 in that necklace. What about the black onyx in yellow gold, that pendant, that's the vintage. So that's not far off the same size as yours, maybe a little smaller, 2,000s at 260. Um, there you go, vintage Alhambra necklace in 18 karat gold agate. A blue agate, 7,850. Uh, and please know, I'm not sitting here saying it's not worth those price tags. It's Van Cleef and Arpels. They justify that price because they're iconic. And of course, they use gold too. However, I can't afford that kind of price tag. Um, we can show you a few more. The Black Onyx Vintage Bracelet, you can see there for 3,450. Um, Mother of Pearl, you can see there, 2,260. There's just a plain gold Alhambra, no gemstone, 6,750. Um, and should we just quickly, because I always like this, Roscoe, show some of the celebrities wearing it. So, okay, you have Princess of Wales, of course, wearing hers and she yeah, revisits this uh, suite quite a lot. Um, looks lovely. Here's that exact piece actually on their website as well. Look how beautiful that is. That hangs lovely, doesn't it? So lovely. It is stunning, isn't it? She wears it mm. a lot. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It suits her too. Uh, Queen Camilla wearing hers in Malachite. Amazing. She's a big fan. You can see it in the agate on her wrist. Um, on her wrist, there's she might have borrowed Princess Catherine's, you never know. 
Um, Mariah Carey, the Queen of Pop, of course, wearing hers, as you would expect. Um, the price tags, as you can see, alongside it. Oof, goodness me. Naomi Watts, um, wearing a long line Alhambra matching earrings. Absolutely beautiful at the Van Cleef and Arpels red carpet. Adele layering her Van Cleef and Arpels bracelets, you can see just there. Beautiful. She looks like she's some, somewhere like Monaco there. Mm. I feel like she's at Monaco watching the Formula One or something like that. Um, amazing. You have Reese Witherspoon. Black Onyx in the middle, you can see. She likes to style hers. And wear it shopping. Why not? Like you're Reese you Witherspoon. You can wear your Van Cleef and Arpels wherever. And to be honest, if I splashed out that amount of money, I would get my wear out of it as well. <laughs> I'd wear it a lot. Um, a look, an interesting article. Are Van Cleef and Arpels bracelets really worth £3,750? Um... I want to say jewelry expert claims cult piece loved by Molly May and Amanda Holden only costs eight hundred pounds to make. Well, <laughs> I mean maybe, maybe that might be the case um, in gold, but they're not watching jewelry maker, are they? Because <laughs> you can make a version a lot, lot more affordable than that. Um, it's well, do you know what? That's, do you know that you could say that about all jewelry? All jewelry is the markup is massive. Of course, it has to be. Has to be. Molly May's wearing the blue agate. But the markup on all jewellery is huge. It's like 400% in a jeweller's. So it's not just Van Cleef and Arpels, it's all of them. Mm -hmm. um, Blake Lively wearing hers. I like how she's styled hers down as well. Looks very cool. Very cool. Hers looks like agate again. Catherine mm -hmm. Zeta Jones wearing what looks like Mother of Pearl. Just one classic. Just one on a chain. Look how elegant that is. Apps. I think she's gorgeous, by the way, Catherine Zeta Jones. Um, Alex Scott wearing one of the minis, and Van Cleef. Uh, sorry, Amanda Holden wearing the bracelet there. I love that whole outfit. I know, I know. we're not supposed to be looking. <laughs> yeah, she's she's. I think so stunning. One yeah. of those beautiful women. I think Amanda Holden. Um, then you got Cardi B and Fam. We're all wearing the Van Cleef and our bells. Your baby's got them on. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yeah, baby's got it on. Aww. They've all got it on. Beautiful He's got it family. on. Yeah, they've split up now, haven't they? Oh, I don't know. Have they? Oh dear. Oh, oh really? Is it not? Is it? Uh, Are they arguing over who owns which necklace? Is it not amicable? Oh dear. Never mind. Um, Dan's favourite, Jack Grealish. There you go, Jack. There you go, Dan. Is is Jack Grealish for you? He yeah. looks lovely in it too, doesn't he? Uh, he's um, and then you've got Drake. Then you've got Drake. Isn't he like the biggest rapper in the world? Yeah. Drake. Is he? Yeah, he's big. Oh, and second. <laughs> is he second? Second to who? Who? Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick. That shows you how much I know about rappers. Um, anyway, but look, look. So <laughs> gents, ladies, everybody's wearing this iconic motif. Um, you know, it, it is one of those uh, those motifs, I think, that works for absolutely everybody, gents, ladies, and has literally transitioned throughout every single generation and era. Um, again, Van Cleef & Arpels is 50 years young. That's how iconic this brand is. And it shows no sign of falling out of favor. Oh, no. And I totally get that. It's luck, it's the... It's it's an icon, isn't it? It's 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 like the little black dress. It's yeah. like oh, the yeah. pearl necklace. It's an it's an icon in its style with ease. Yeah, definitely. it's not ostentatious. No. It's not over the top. It is something that you could wear to the office, like Reese with a spoon to the shops, whichever it might be. Um, it is the perfect design that that fits on the red carpet with obviously Princess Catherine, but it also works when you're rocking your little your brown paper bag, you know, whatever. Okay, now when we <laughs> when we launch these, what's that? One more thing to say, says Ross. They might be the most affordable Alhambra inspired clover motifs that you've ever done. No, these are encased in silver. That is precious metal, genuine onyx, the icon in a jewelry maker version. I love these. We have 150 available. I mean, look at that. How perfect is that? You can spot that a mile off, can't you? Yeah. What a stunner. Look 
how gorgeous that is. It's identical, isn't it? Yeah. You You've um. got precious metal wrapping your beautiful genuine gemstones, but what is not identical is the price. Oh. <laughs> we have 150. Again, this may well be the most affordable Alhambra-inspired four-leaf clover strand that we've ever brought to air. I love what Mark's created, so thank you to Mark for making this lovely necklace and pair of earrings. That is genuinely a piece of jewellery that I would want to wear on every occasion. You'd sleep in it, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's what it's about, isn't yeah. it? That's, you know, that if we were to put this, slot this onto the Van Cleef and Arpels website, would it look out of place? No. <laughs> Definitely not. How gorgeous. You be basically get two of each colour. It's all onyx. So you get two of the yellows, two of the orange, two of the blues, two of the greens. Oh. So if you oh. wanted to go down the earrings route, you can definitely do that too. The, they're silver, genuine solid 925 sterling silver. Okay, jewelry makers, the iconic motif as popular as ever, that article said. Icons and essentials, Van Cleef and Arpels, Alhambra is 50 years young. The iconic motif is as popular as ever. And I genuinely do not think it is diminishing in any way, shape or form. There's been little twists, versions yeah. along the way. But it's, you know, the essence, the design, the four leaf clover inspiration has stayed consistent. Now, as soon as we open our graphics, and again, I'll say it, remember this is one of the most affordable four leaf clover Alhambra designs that jewelry maker have ever brought you. And they will sell out. We have 150 available. Look at that. Would you mix the colours? Would you have them so that they are, you know, mirror image? I'd be tempted to do that and buy a couple of sets and do a full single colour. A long line? Yep. Oh, that yep. would be amazing. Yeah. Well, today, honestly, you might be able to do that because oh, really? even though this is silver and genuine gemstones and you've got, you know, it takes a lot to carve a gemstone into a four-leaf clover. Oh, we always yeah. talk about hearts being one of the most, most complex. A four-leaf clover is that times four. It's the cleft where the challenge is. Um, I've just looked at my star buy sheet and you're right, Ross, this is, that, that, that price is unbelievable. Okay, lowest price we've ever done, we believe. Okay, well, we're gonna put a clock on your screen. You get eight of your clovers and they are wrapped in sterling silver. There's 150 available jewelry makers. What I would say is do not wait. Don't hesitate on this. I do think it is going to be one of those uh, opportunities that is on and gone. I can't see this being available for the repeat, say, this afternoon. Um, get it whilst, have a go, by all means, if you are watching on repeat, have a go. Um, but don't leave it in your baskets, everybody. It's taken us, I remember the first launch of this kind of idea here at Jewelry Maker. They sold out in a heartbeat. They were more expensive than what we're doing today. Um, in different gemstones, sold out. And we went upstairs, Ross and I were like, can we have some more of those? More of those, please. And we were even saying, can we do longer strands? Get longer strands as well. It's here, it's happening, jewelry makers. There's 150 available, still in sterling silver, with your beautiful onyx, the same gem that wonderful uh, uh, Van Cleef and Arpels use. And today, though, at a jewelry maker price tag. The graphics are live. Good luck to you all. Wrapped in precious 925 sterling silver super simple to to create as well you know i am not a talented jewelry maker like charlie and you guys at home i'm not at all i'm very basic but i can open and close a jump ring oh yeah and, and that's the, basically what it is the jump rings are with it aren't they yep yep the phone lines have gone crazy the web's gone crazy um as promised jewelry makers this will be one of the best prices that you have ever seen for this design you think how much they are individually we sell, we sell, we have done, haven't we, Ross? The little individual four-leaf clover me motifs on their own. And how much are they normally? He says it depends on the gem. Between nine ninety-nine and fourteen ninety-nine, he's saying usually per motif. 
on their own, individually, individually. So this, let's say 14.99, 14.99, 14.99. Just bear that in mind, jewelry makers, um, when we uh, when we take this to your your deal of the day price tag. Thank you to those of you that are trusting the process and shopping ahead nice and early. Um, shopping ahead nice and early. Um, making sure, guaranteeing your success. Here's Adele wearing her layers of Alhambra. Adele wore that. Oh, I love it. Looks like black onyx, malachite, and green and red onyx. How much is that bracelet? We saw it, didn't we? Seven thousand, wasn't it? It's like seven thousand pounds. It's a small car, isn't it? Yes. She's got three of them wrapped around the wrist. Three small cars. It's three small cars. Good luck, everybody. Sarah in Shropshire, Fiona getting two, London, Sally, Wiltshire getting three, Deborah, Merseyside, Madeline, Deborah, uh, Debbie, Pamela in Monmouthshire, Pamela in Devon. Well done. Those of you uh, sit back and enjoy. We've got 150. I'm saying approaching a third of the stock's already been allocated. It is flying. It is the most popular motif that we have ever brought you um, a version of here at Jewelry Maker understandably so because everybody wants luck oh yeah don't they yeah. everybody wants luck and it's a pretty design oh yeah luck and love yeah. says adam that's all he wants in life fair play yeah exactly what more do we want oh wait solid sterling silver a full strand and they come in pairs as well. Okay. For a stud, pair of stud earrings, £3,800. £3,800. It's elite bank accounts, is it? I, I can only dream of earning something like that. But you but know what, now. Charlie? It's one of them, even if I had it, being I, that selfish I, to spend that much yeah, on I yourself don't know. on a whim. I, I, yeah, I think I would maybe struggle spending that on myself. It, 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 it's one of them. It's like, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, an it's astonishing amount of money. I it's know it's like, okay, if you're in that world, then maybe, I don't know, but um, I can't fathom it. I can't get my head around it. Here at Jewelry Maker, we can bring you that same beauty with a difference. There is a slight twist. And of course, yours is still with precious metal. It's, it's silver. Because you can get Van Cleef in white gold. Oh, yeah. You can get them in white gold. I think Reese Witherspoon's was in white gold, wasn't it? Um, but obviously, we can bring it to you at a more affordable price tag, our version. We're not stopping here, jewelry makers. Yeah, we're taking our time. And that's because we know that if we just bring the graphics in, drop the price straight on air, it will crash the system, melt the web, and we will not be popular. Your next price crash, which is where the phone lines are going to go crazy. Remember, we have promised one of the best prices on our Four Leaf Clover inspired designs ever in jewelry maker history. This is where the phone lines are going to go crazy. But it's not your final price. Are you ready? So simple to create high end jewelry out of this opportunity. Not your final price. These are not base metal. That's £10 per Van Cleef and Arpels inspired four leaf clover motifs. World which we personally. Sorry, yeah. Elle. No, carry on. What are you saying? No, they are world recognisable. It doesn't matter where yeah. you're from, you know that motif. So true. Yeah, genuine gemstone. Everybody recognises this iconic yeah. shape. Everybody does. 79 I love the red. £79.99 is not your price. The last time we brought you a selection of gemstones in this design, eight motifs, we went to 79.99, which is £10 each, and then we took it to the next price, the next price tag. Already approaching half the stock, Ross? Yeah. Half the stock is allocated. £69.99. They were less than £10 per individual motif. I know, I know I've brought you a version of a four-leaf clover to wear 
in excess of £10. But we have said from the very start today that we believe this is the lowest price per four-leaf clover that we have ever done. That is not your deal of the day. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Beautifully wrapped in 925 sterling silver. Super simple to create high-end, iconic inspired jewellery. It's going to be a one-show wonder. It's going to be on today and then a sellout. Because, like I said, you just... I saw Mark make this piece of jewellery, by the way. It took him no time to do. No time to do. And that's not a criticism to Mark, by no, the way. No. When you've got perfection, it doesn't need overcomplicating, no. does it? In 23 seconds, we're taking it even lower. There was 150. Half the stock is gone. And so many multi-buyers getting involved. Previously at 69.99, you think two little... What was what? Different gemstones. Okay, different gems. You can get a pair of earrings in 18 karat gold, granted. From Van Cleef. A whisper under four grand. Today, your deal of the day, you can make a version, be inspired by. For under 50 pounds. They are still solid. Does that look 50 pounds? No. If you put that at an artisanal market, and I get it, it depends where you are. You put it on a platform, whatever, where, in silver, mm -hmm. it's at least two, three hundred pounds, surely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it'll sell itself. You have to push it. Again, with the, it doesn't take very long to make. It'll no. just do it on its own. Because it's an icon. It, exactly. It's an absolute icon. Yeah. Everybody knows what it is. Yeah. Dirt there. And you can have a slither of that. That's quite special. It really is. You know, when you think about like a diamond, a rambling cut diamond solitaire, iconic to Tiffany's and Co, aren't they? Yeah. You get those everywhere now. Yeah. This is the icon. Yeah. In, in in a version of a necklace. And we get a piece of that. Um, and you can get you can recreate in yeah. that luxury jewelry, at forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence, solid nine two five sterling silver. You get a mixture of your colours. This is onyx as well, so you get your black onyx, your red onyx, your pale blue, and your green. Um, and your lemon, sorry. Yeah, sorry, you get red onyx, green, lemon onyx, and pale blue. Pairs of the green and the yellow, are, the, are they? Oh. The yellow and the blue are the chalcedony, and then the reds and the green are onyx. Oh my god, well, it takes it to another different price tag, doesn't it? Because chalcedony is expensive. The necklace that Mark has made has got, yeah, six motifs. So take into consideration at Van Cleef one, black onyx, is £2,590. One. Just one. Same gemstone. Same gemstone. Just different precious metal. We're at £49.99, pence, which is working out at £6.00. <laughs> 25 pence per motif in, it's just in silver actually it is isn't it and we have an announcement when i looked in the break at my star by sheet just to jog my memory of what we were launching this today for knowing that ross had already mentioned that this was going to be the most affordable alhambra inspired four leaf clover sterling silver opportunity that we've ever done I was thinking surely when we launched the previous one was it 69 79 pounds that's a great deal but that is not what's on my star by sheet price per motif we are absolutely certain we've never done before crazy 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 low Look at that on your screens. Add a class, job done. How beautiful. How beautiful. Mark made this amazing necklace in 10 minutes the other day. No, that's not me discrediting Mark. When you've got perfection, you don't need to reinvent nope. the wheel, do you? We're at 49.99, but we are going even lower, jewelry makers again. Good luck. 22 carats of your beautiful gemstones. So you've got your onyx and your chalcedony and your lovely clovers wrapped in sterling silver. Started with 150 of these. I think we're going to shock you on this, jewelry makers. 
Because this could come, even if I sat here and said £149, that's a great price. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. Me too. Me too. Because you've got all that sterling silver, and it is all sterling silver. You've got the complexity of the carving, the wrapping of the precious metal. Today, £39.99. That's £5 per motif. One on a chain, sterling silver chain. When you think Van Cleef and our pals, you're talking about £2,500. Here, you can make a, ver a, a version of for a drop in the ocean. My goodness me, Deborah, Frederick, and Anita, Kathy, Pamela. Yeah, what would you sell it for? Just one on a chain. Well, it'd be close to 200 quid for me. If I listed it myself to a single one, around about two, 250. And yeah. I bet it would fly. Oh yeah, easy. And I'd be greedy with my profit. I would just stick with the singles or I'd stick with the earrings or I'd buy a couple of strands, then make the one piece. But that's, I mean, I mean it'd be well over a thousand pounds. Yes. In sterling. It's precious metal. Yep. And they're beautifully carved gemstones. Yep. Yep. This is handcrafted jewelry in the yep. same way Van Cleef and Arpels do. Yep. You're handcrafting your jewellery. You know, there's, that's one of their things. Have you ever seen that? Uh, uh, if you're on their website, Van Cleef and Arpels, every, every piece is handcrafted. You do that on a daily basis. Yep. You do it on a daily basis. Um, hello to you. Is that Julie, did you say? Uh, I've got two. I can't see it. Yes. So. Yes. Thank you. Great price. Thank you. Th sorry, well done, Julie. Julie. I couldn't read your message. Um, well done, my lovely. It's absolutely incredible. I think our call screens has gone a little bit do lally. <laughs> um, half the stock has gone at thirty nine ninety nine. Well done, Julie. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, yeah, I think have the, have the call screens frozen. Might have done. When you've got something as popular as this, though, it didn't stop you shopping. I'm not surprised. Do you know? I, I'm with you, Charlie. I think I would multi buy. Yep at that price yeah definitely, definitely. multi-buy thinking a beautiful long line version just put like mark's done sections of chain in between yeah just to stretch out the alhambras yeah not matching little dra drop earrings and then why not a bracelet why not why not a bracelet there you all are my call screens had frozen so i couldn't see all your names but there you all are so many of you getting involved congratulations we had 150 it doesn't look like we've got any anywhere near that quantity now we've got in actual fact oh yeah mm. thought as much it'll be an on-screen sellout then like the pearls like the sterling silver spaces we're gonna miss out are they what the same inside yes so here you go sarah i'll show you they're lovely aren't they i know let me show you so i'll flip it over so there's the one side can you see or shall i do it this way is that easier? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I love that. And me. So if it does roll on the wrist or around the decolletage, doesn't matter. Oh, you'd be happy about it. Unbelievable. The final 21. Anita, I can see you multi-buying. Congratulations, Liz. Helen, June, Anna, Elizabeth. Um, from 150, I'm down to the final 17. There's how many still in baskets? How many? How many still in baskets? 151 people have got the final 17 in their basket or think they have oh we're definitely not getting any no we're gonna miss out on this but it's been fun while it lasted hasn't oh it? yeah and you want people to take as much pleasure out of them as well so they can have it oh they can have it i might buy one off you <laughs> but make sure you send your photographs into the wall Ooh. of fame because i'd love to yes, see those please. designs That'd be lovely. um well done good <clears> luck <throat> nancy well done to you cheshire london cumbria deborah J uh, five june lorna Susan, Norma, Sally, hello to you, Karen, Alan, Wiltshire, Mariska, there's loads of you getting involved, Paula, Jane, Sari, Jacqueline, hello to you, Pamela, Jerry, Debbie, I can't, I can't keep up with you, I generally can't, the call screens have gone completely crazy, completely crazy as we rapidly approach the single figures, um, yeah, there we are, we're in it, we're in it, says Ross, and at the beginning of the show we mentioned, look, look, we absolutely a certain that this is the most affordable Van Cleef and Arpels inspired motif that we've ever done. Ever, ever, ever done. Five pounds per motif. Have you ever seen that? And we've done them individually. No. 
we said originally didn't we 10 between 10 and 15 pounds yeah yeah now we have got just a couple of the original strand that we launched oh. there are 14 so if you missed out on this and if oh ross can you go back to where on the on the powerpoint where it talks about the different styles of van cleef because you have your vintage which they say faithful to the first alhambra long necklace created in 1968 the vintage alhambra piece stands out for their eminently recognizable style identical in size okay each motif is edged in golden beads the magic so the one with which uh, we showed princess catherine boldly asymmetric magic alhambra creations feature a harmonious a harmonious combination of shapes and materials from carnelian to tiger's eye white and gray mother of pearl white gold and diamonds the motifs are interpreted um, in a playful variety of sizes now the reason why i've asked for that ross is if you wanted to go a bit magic alhambra <coughs> like princess catherine then you can see where i'm coming from they're smaller yeah so these are these are more expensive so yeah these are more expensive than the bigger ones so this has got carnelian malachite bro different gems branca onyx and what and blue agate okay but if you want to go for your magic alhambra inspired where you have that playful variety of size as they say then here's a very limited opportunity the original that would work beautifully wouldn't it yeah okay we'll do this in two price crashes now again different gemstones so for example this has got the malachite this has got the carnelian it's got bronca onyx and blue agate they're all stunning though aren't they oh yeah if you missed out on the previous strand Again, it's a, it's a second opportunity, but a very, very, very limited one. Would you go for the magic Alhambra inspiration, or would you keep it symmetrical? Oh, like no, I would go vintage? with the magic. I do like the, the both. I would be itching to get this set if I got the first one, um, because there's just something, like you say, playful it about is playful. it, isn't there? Um, and I like the fact that they're different gemstones, because there's yeah. even more to push, isn't there? And they do that. They mix their gemstone. There's a piece on first dibs, which we've shown before. That There we go. Now, I know it's different motifs as well, which they talk about. But if you go to first dibs, Van Cleef and Arpel's Lucky Alhambra, 12 motifs, £17,500. Oh, That's a medium-sized car, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to go straight to the price because there's so many of you there. And it's just, it's sections, two inch sections of yeah. chain like Mark has done. 69 pounds and 99 pence. Different gems. You've got Malachite, you've got Bronchoronyx, you've got Blue Chalcedony and you've got your Carnelian in these. Framed in sterling silver. If you've got the first and you mm. want to go sort of magic Alhambra inspiration where you have that playful arrangement then you, this has got a, a different size to them all in sterling silver and it's just literally opening and closing a jump ring isn't it definitely you need the second set if you've got the first set you oh. need the second set without a doubt um, they're so beautiful yeah i'm quite jealous actually <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> just add a class to it if you want that's it that's it as simple as amazing five jerry london swansea pamela cheshire you've done it libby's there devon's there uh nicolette's there lorna's there kent's there manchester's there and cumbria's there well done now well done everybody now we do have oh my goodness and if 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 van Cleef's, remember we're taking inspiration from them the mizzle the mizzle you say that so well <laughs> Um, I did go into Van Cleef and Arpel's shop when I was down in London last. I looked so out of place. You know, you just like feel I so... I can imagine you did, No. I bet you felt out of I was, place. I was poorly as well. So oh. I was like, oh. oh, maybe not. I was poorly, but I forced myself <laughs> to go into Van Cleef and Arpel's. And you know, it's like, it's so uncomfortable. Do they have to buzz you in? This was the one. Walking. This was like like the um, the one within Selfridges. Oh right, okay. Yeah, so they have like a little like almost a room if you yeah. like in Selfridges. 
but yeah, so they don't buzz you in. But again, it's it's really uncomfortable, I found. Anyway, so they play with different shapes, motifs. How about playing with different gemstones? How about adding one of your absolute favourites, that is Labradorite? This is going to knock you off your feet. The quality of the Labradorescence just literally illuminates the surface of the strand. Oh, my goodness. There are 20 available natural Labradorite. Look at those. A full rainbow just here. Everybody went wow in my ear then. That, yeah. It's breathtaking. When we talk about Labradorite, that's what we want. Complete coverage of that amazing phenomena effect. Perfectly aligned little microscopic platelets that capture the light and create this amazing, amazing glow of colour. One price crash, we've got how many? 20. Had. Says ad. <laughs> 14, oh, £49.99 only. Yeah, again, if Van Cleef play with the motifs and the different varieties of gemstones, I think we can do exactly the same. Look at that. So beautiful. Super, super beautiful. 49 99 There was only 20 available, though, everybody. Um, Nicolette, Manchester, congratulations. Cathy in Swansea, good luck to you. Swansea, London, Fife, Maker, Pamela in my home county of Monmouthshire, Sandra in Dorset. Well done, everybody. Look at that. It's magical. Totally natural, beautiful feldspar. But again, it's like, like your opals. The more of that phenomena effect, the more desirable and valuable the gemstone is. Um, we had 20, it's going to be an on-screen sellout. June in Newport, Virginia, well done. I've got Angus there, Alison in Kent, well done. What a morning, I told you it was going to be a cracker, jewellery makers, didn't I? I did tell you it was going to be a cracker of a Friday. Oh. And we've still got more to bring you. We've got mm. the next hour, if you are a collector, as I think so many of us are. We're not, we're not ju just jewellery makers, are we? We are gemstone collectors. Treasure you know, seekers. We were quite, hey? Treasure seekers. Treasure seekers, I love that. Yeah, well, we are. <laughs> I am, definitely. We are, most yeah. definitely. Even Eventually. if you don't consider yourself to be a gemstone collector, you naturally are one. Yes. Because you make jewellery. Yeah. If we're talking about a gemstone to collect, then definitely do not overlook that of Kotan. Yeah. Because we are talking about one of the longest histories of gemstones in the world. 10,000 years of mining has been documented, announced, they're now managing the mining process of Kotan because they don't want it to run out. They believe they have at most two years left. Right. There are 26 remaining opportunities We've seen some massive closeout deals. It's ridiculous that we're saying the same with this. I, can't, I have to be really cautious what words I use. However, let's just put it this way. I am buying Kotan with the future in mind. We have San and Scarn back by very popular demand. That's totally natural. You want Imperial Green in a variety of jade Look no further than Sam and Scarn because it's natural. That's coming your way. And we've got one more clover to bring you before the break. We go into the western cost, uh, coast, cost? <laughs> western coast of Australia along Mooka Creek. Only two mining licenses remain. Might even be less now. So who knows? Mookite might. I sounded Australian then, didn't I? Mookite might <laughs> deplete before many other gemstones. We don't know. It's a variety of jasper. It's one locational. And it brings you this beautiful fusion of colours. Think about, if you were to visualise the colours of Australia, warm, mm. ochres, crimsons, taupes. Very much so, yeah. Then I bet it looks something like this. And it's totally and utterly natural. How many do we have, Roscoe? 24 available. Why not? Van Cleef and Arpels use, use carnelian, tiger's eye. They've got those warm tones in there. How about the mookite? Maybe they don't use mookite because of its rarity. Possibly. It's very grounding, isn't Is it? it? I think so, yeah. Are you into metaphysical? Not 
particularly but I do get a feeling from gemstones that I feel more in touch yeah. with where we've you come from to certain yeah. Gems, yeah so some gemstones are more showy offy that one would make me feel calmer inside but no that. it's not it's not a forefront I agree. It's making. more humble, isn't it? Thank it's you. Much, Better much, word. much more humble. Yeah. Much like your jades, for yes. example. Much like your carnelians and yeah. your tiger's eyes. We have a limited quantity left. They're little uh, hematite spaces dotted in between, by the way. So don't discard those. Smash them. Our final auction before the break, and we're going to do it in one price crash. Hand carved again. The complexity. They're not small either. The complexity that comes with a four-leaf clover. You know, it's effectively the cleft of a heart times four, which is so challenging because the risk lies where you can particularly, where you can split the gem in 50-50. Oh, I imagine that happens quite a lot. I There'll imagine it does. Of... And then really, well, nobody wants like kind of a, a B shape, do they? No, no. If that makes sense. Yeah. Not as in a bumblebee, as in letter B like, shape. Yeah. Because if you were to split that in half, it's, you know, it's, mm. a, it's an odd shape. Anyway, £24.99, beautifully natural mookite, all the way from Western Australia, just the whole geography of it. You know, it's halfway around the world, literally takes a day to get there, and it's a long flight. Oh, it is a very long, long flight. Long, long, long flight. Um, well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Again, just a heads up, everyone. How many did you say, Ross, we have of these? Sorry? 26 available one of the final few opportunities that we are bringing our audience on Cotan Jade, certified, genuine Cotan Jade. Massive, it's ridiculous I'm saying this sentence, massive closeout deal coming up straight after the break. You also have Sam and Scarn coming your way. Um, it's an hour not to miss, especially if you are a collector. And I'm very excited about our forthcoming masterclass as well at 12 o'clock, which is a little bit of Boodles inspiration. We've gone from Van Cleef to Boodles, yes please, um, with your amazing rain dance. Yes. Oh, do you know who wears the rain, Boodles rain dance ring? Emma Thompson. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I watched a... I watched a, a uh, what, what? <laughs> Emma Thompson, yeah, I watched a documentary and she was talking about how it's her little, you know, she loves boodles, loves to oh. spend money in boodles. Oh, okay. um, and then after I watched that, probably about five, six years later, when I went to um, the Inspirational Women's Award in London, I saw her wearing it. Oh. Saw her wearing a little rain dance, so, and it looks almost exactly the same. You can make your own. So that's coming up. Don't go anywhere, jewelry makers. Don't forget your Cotan Jade's coming up just after the break. We will see you in two. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you've all had a really good week. I'm here to tell you all about my show coming up on this Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm going to be joining the lovely Elle, Ross and the crew. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a couple of the hours that are going to be featured. Nine o'clock, I have been given the most beautiful natural coloured agate kits. Here's a couple of the pieces I've made. Beautiful ombre earrings. These are four millimetre rounds. Then I've got the most incredible, incredible Kiss Cross Station necklace. Those colours are incredible, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you'll receive if you purchase any of the kits in the nine o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make one of my favourite techniques, the embellished netted cuff bracelet. 
full instructions included in all of the kits in the nine o'clock. This is beautiful. Now this is faux Fordite. We've got it in four different colorways. I'm gonna show you two of them now. We've got this beautiful hot and spicy. Every single bead is completely and utterly different. And again, this is our take on the Fordite stone. And then this piece I've just completed as we speak, this incredible peacock kiss cross graduated necklace. It also comes in a rainbow colorway and also a black and white, which will feature in the show. And as I said, you'll get a tutorial booklet on all of the kits that you purchase in the 12 o'clock. So that's this Sunday, 14th of April. Join myself and Eleanor from eight o'clock. So excited to see you there. This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. As we make our way towards what is all about Rarity Weekend, this is a gemstone that fits firmly within that description. Because Kotan Jade not only has a history, it is one of the world's rarest and it is one of the world's most valuable variety of jade that exists. It's also, when we talk about the thousands of years history of, of jade mining, it's not actually Burmese that we're talking about, it's Khotan. Khotan is the oracle in the jade world. So much so, we've shown you necklaces um, that have been created the most expensive necklace or piece of jewelry in the world with a colored and diamond faceted and set in, uh, in a center stage. They could have chosen any gem to halo it, couldn't they? They could choose the finest rubies, the finest emeralds, the finest sapphires. But the halo is your Kotan, Kotan Jade. Can we bring that information up? Because we've shown articles in the past, amazing drawings, sketches that have been published for over thousands on thousands of years. Once upon a time, Kotan Jade was mined in the river where miners used to literally wade in under moonlight because that's when the jade pickers could see the reflection of the moonlight on the Kotan jade. And you might be thinking, gosh, look, you can see them holding those boulders. Yes, Kotan jade forms much, much smaller than that of Burmese jade. It's actually, they've never found the primary deposit of Kotan jade over those multiple thousands of years mining. This is all secondary deposits because it's basically uh, um, found in the river. So the, the original mine primary deposits never been sourced. 
So they are, yes, almost palm sizes. And you can see the photograph. Now, we have in the past been fortunate enough to actually go to locations, that, uh, and Dave, Jake, Steve, definitely, that have, have been to China on multiple occasions, of course, and they have witnessed your Kotan jade being sold, and the prices are eye-watering. These are the kind of sizes that we reference, which is so far removed from what you would find in Burma, you know, where they can be the size of a car vast vast boulders and they're sold on on sort of almost little towels literally on the floor little pebble sizes um but here's an article from the new york times talking about jade from china which is kotan um china's west surpasses gold in value there's that ancient chinese proverb of course um gold has a value jade is priceless it's this location that they're talking about but ounce for ounce, the finest jade has been more, become more valuable than gold with the most prized nuggets of mutton fat jade. Mutton fat is that beautiful translucent white um, that you get from Kotan. So named for its marbled white consistency, fetching $3,000 an ounce, a tenfold increase, increase from a decade ago. Decade upon decade, the price of Kotan jade skyrockets. And there is a very logical reason behind that. And it is the fact that those 10,000 years of mining is about to run out. Just, just as a gemstone collector, somebody with a, a passion for gemstones, not just because of their beauty, but because of the story, the history, the legacy, all those things. Is there a single other gemstone that has such an amazing story as Kotan Jade. Because I don't think there is. The Kashmir Sapphire, the ultimate, had such a fleeting window of mining, just a few years. But we still talk about it today, don't we? Can you imagine being able to, imagine me saying these words, your Kashmir Sapphire mine is about to close. Oh my goodness me, I wish we were there and I was able to buy some because the price of Kashmir Sapphire is extortionate huge huge price tags they're remarkable don't get me wrong we are in that place in time but like i said kashmir didn't have ten thousand years history thousands of years this has always been regarded one of the world's most valuable gemstones and it's about to get a whole lot rarer and a whole lot more valuable here is Sally. The jade mine uh, mines are closed. There is no jade mining um, as of last month. This was the update from Burma. There is nothing in the market here in China. Even my team are now almost exclusively working in type B and type uh, uh, type B, and the prices are more than previous type A. Yeah. So this is um, Sally here talking about your jadeite versions. But the reality is, Kotan jade is significantly more expensive than Burmese significantly so when we talk about any variety of jade whether it's kotan whether it's Bur burmese whether it's british columbian whether it's san and scan we always 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 talk about the translucency how fine the crystal structure is how the light can actually um influence the heart of the gemstones and we talk about the color let's go to first dibs because this really hits home for me First dibs are a platform, right? They're not a company, they're not Van Cleef, they're not Tiffany's. They are a platform for people to sell jewellery. They'll take a significant commission, by the way, but they're fantastic. So they talk about your Kotan Jade. And they say, um, Jade necklace, hand-carved, white mutton fats. So this is the white colour, regardless. Certified untreated, treated, natural, like yours. The price for mutton fat jade starts at $995, tops out at $325,000, with these necklaces on average selling for $93,250. Now, you know, we, our eyes widen at that, but it is the reality. The fact that little old jewellery maker in the centre of, in the centre of the UK bring this quality of gemstone to our audience at such an, a, an achievable price tag is amazing it's absolutely incredible and i've said it so many times not before the show 
I remember the other, the, I think it was last week, I was like, we should be buying more of this. As in not us as a company buying it, we can't. We find it very difficult. However, if there is any in, within your grasp, within your reach, within your budget, do it without hesitation. Because in a couple of years time, it's not gonna be possible. Sources of rare jade in the Xinjiang could be depleted in six years, they're saying. There you go. Deposits of Kotan and Hotan jade, gone in six years. The jade is considered to be the highest quality because of its pure texture and tallow-like luster and has been associated with emperors throughout Chinese history. 10,000 years history. News agency reports that prospectors in modern mining, uh, with modern mining equipment have flooded into the region to capitalise on the gemstone's high price. I can't blame them. I don't blame them. Is that any different to what I've just said? Buy it if you can. Buy it if you can. I've got Cotan Jade that I've bought and I've never even entertained being able to afford it up until before Jewelry Maker. Never. It's not within my budget. Um, that I will literally just keep. And at some point, might sell it. Might approach first dibs. Why not? I'm waiting though until the mine is announced as closed. That's one of the things that Dave actually said to us all. If you own Cotan Jade, don't sell it yet. Just hold fire just a little bit longer. Um, there we go. Tales of the world's most magnificent and important jewellery. Are the jade sources really in danger of depletion? Rumour has it that the geological source of top quality jade are at rich risk of being depleted. This rumour maintained by Chinese jade traders uh, might be driving the price of jade higher and higher each year. In some areas of China, such as Hotan, Kotan Jade, government agencies have cracked down on commercial pillage of the beautiful white nephrite jade, um, along with White Jade River um, area. They are concerned that this age-old source of mutton fat jade might be complete, uh, completely depleted if they don't protect it. So they are, the, the government is saying, we need to monitor this. They don't want to see that history gone. Good luck to each and every single one of you. When we talk about heirloom jewellery, my goodness me, it doesn't get much more heirloom than what's on, on our desk right now. And if your budget permits, don't hesitate to own Cotan J. Get your certificate too, because it will say Cotan. It will say natural. You can see the quality. Does it look like a melting ice cube? That melting ice cube luster indicates the fine translucency the beautiful quality of the Cotan Jade that you're acquiring. This is genuinely a legacy piece opportunity, one that you cannot, you can do whatever you want. You see how simple that mutton fat necklace was on, Co uh, on, on first dibs. That was, what, what do you reckon? I don't know mm. whether it was, it was the thousand pounds or whether it was the 325,000 pounds or whether it was just, as, uh, just averaging casually around about 93 grand. You know, you can make that, couldn't you? And I'm gonna say it again, jewelry makers, this is why we should be selling gold. We've got Cotan Jade on our screens right now. That, if you're gonna put it with a precious metal, then it would be, for me, it would be 18 karat gold. Plus today, it is madness we're saying this, Ross. It's a closeout. Every Cotan is closeout, because it is closing out. But it's not, it shouldn't be at a closeout price. Does that make sense to you? That's a what? 58 centimetre strand. Perfectly colour match. Do you remember the size of those boulders? You've got 58 centimetres, not just colour matched, translucency matched as well. So there is one item that is more expensive than a bangle in the jade world. And that's strands, because they have to match them all. Wendy, well done. Mariska, well done. You're not alone. So yeah, that's approximately 100. 100 individual cotans. And they are totally and utterly natural. Ross, what are you taking this to? Oh my goodness me, that's amazing. Sorry. 
I'm just telling you everybody that it is absolutely incredible. Let's just say first dibs did not come even close to the price point I've just heard. Starts at 995. And this is far look at look at the translucency of yours. It's more lustrous, more translucent than that mutton fat one that I can see. It might just be the photography, you don't know, but I know which I prefer. Mm. We start at £799. This is where things get serious. Do I buy this for, for, for the future? Absolutely. Do I buy this for my girls? 100%. 100%. Because they're not going to be able to buy Cotan Jade. Never mind what it does in terms of price. Never mind. It might be... Hun the hun I mean, right now it's hundreds of thousands of pounds. Um, in many cases. But... They might not have access is the other thing to consider. We're at 799, but not stopping there. A more than reasonable, beyond reasonable, absolutely unbelievable 499. But still not your price. And I'm not sitting here, I say it all the time, I'm not sitting here saying £499 is not a significant amount of money. It absolutely is in Elle's world. But for what you're getting, it isn't. Do you know, it wasn't until jewellery makers, some, what, 25 years in the, in the gemstone business, it wasn't until jewellery makers that I actually even saw Kotan in person. I'd seen it in the book. I've seen the, that Heritage in Bloom, is it called? The most expensive necklace in the world. Here it is. Heritage in Bloom necklace is a $200 million masterpiece. That diamond in the center is a Cullinan diamond. They could have chosen any gemstone to halo it, couldn't they? Hong Kong based jewelry retailer. Uh, Chow Tai Fu released a gorgeously crafted diamond necklace, a heritage in bloom in September 2015. Once released, it became the most expensive diamond necklace in the world. In the world. There it is. That halo, that circle of heaven surrounding your diamond is Kotan Jade. See the beads, the diamond encrusted beads that literally work away? Can you see that? Kotan Jade. Your next price crash is where it launched with Dave. This was Dave's amazing deal. He is was I know how he got these as well. It's just it's just dawned on me. We didn't buy these as in it wasn't just a monetary exchange. We bought these strands from an exchange of jade. We remember Steve bought alongside Bernard some boulders of Burmese jade and it was one of those you won't lose money you'll make money it's it's you're in it for the long haul it's not a quick overturn of cash but how much money we don't know so they he went 50 50 with Bernard bought some Burmese jade it turns out it was great Burmese jade so they carved some of it some of it went on our sister channel some of it's been here some of it went to Tucson just gone some of it was traded for Kotan and a big amount of it was traded for the Cotan Jade. £299 is where we launched it and have sold it at every time, very successfully, at an absolutely unbelievable £299. It's a full 58 centimetre strand. 58? Goodness me, it's longer than I said. 58 centimetres. How many do we have? 20? 26 available and there's just 20 left now we're not even stopping there jewelry makers you want to if, if we talk about heirloom legacy opportunities can you imagine fast forward five years ten years however long and we go Kotam oh, jade's mind out then thank goodness i bought someone to get yeah. the opportunity we are going stop clock we are going to the absolute lowest price that we possibly can. The clock is on your screen, not because we are closing the auction, because we are going lower, which is, again, I have to say, ridiculous. I really want to emphasize this. 
it is ridiculous for Cotan Jade to be going anywhere lower than seven nine nine. We've brought this to air at an amazing two nine nine in the past, and it's sold very successfully. Today, uh, is that why? And we can't we can't give special treatment to certain gemstones and not to others. We need the location within the vault. They'll be within our vault for so long. If they don't sell out immediately, then we'll keep them for so long and then we'll do, we might do a closeout deal. But we could sell this to First Dibs. We could sell this to Hong Kong. We could. How about you do it? 30 seconds. And we're gonna take it to that closeout deal price tag. Never been done before. Jewelry makers, good luck to each and every single one of you. I got 20 of them left within the vault. You've got your five way split pay. Rosemary, massive congratulations, my lovely multi buying. Wendy, massive congratulations. Sally in East Sussex, Patricia in Yorkshire, Marishka in Surrey, London's there as well. In a few seconds, we're taking it to that closeout deal price. 26 can be gone in a nanosecond here at Jewelry Maker. I've got less than 20 now. This is an opportunity that none of us should ever even entertain and imagine happening. But it is, it's the reality. Oh, goodness me. From three, what did they say, $995, topping out at $325,000. On average, 93 grand. You can get it home today for 39 quid. You can, and you are talking about gemologically lab certified Cotan Jade. Never been as low as what's on your screens right now. If these don't sell out, Ross, I'll buy them, rest of them. I will. And they'll just go, they'll go in a safe place. And I might look at them again in two years. Show the girlies. Show the girlies. And one thing, another thing that I'm, uh, um, I'm doing with, with gemstones, particularly with the J, because it's not as obvious if you're not in the business, um, making sure that they're, they're listed so people know what they are. So put a tag on them saying this is Cotan Jade. Right. Yeah. Makes it's, sense. Make, because, my, you, know, if, you know, if anything did happen, my husband wouldn't know. No. My husband wouldn't know what it was. No. You know, so I think that's really, really important. These are heirlooms, never been at 195 pounds. That is frankly ridiculous. Rosemary, well done getting three. The reality is, do you know, we are talking about one of the world's most expensive and one of the world's rarest gemstones. And we've just brought it for 200 pounds. Yeah. It, uh, how, often, how often are you gonna see, I don't know, let's think about it. A D flawless diamond. That's like a student similar, do you see where I'm coming from? But it's rarer, significantly rarer than any diamond. We had 26 available opportunities. I've got 10 left. Marion, Heather and Jackie, Rosemary's got three, well done my darling. Samantha, Sharon, Sally, Marishka and Wendy. We have never been anywhere near this price tag quite clearly. Um, and um, we never will be again, I shouldn't imagine. The reality is the only way that we've been able to offer you Cotan, and that's this strand, and I think there was a couple of others that we brought to you um, <clears throat> that are long gone, Ooh. that are long gone, was because we made literally an exchange of gemstones. We do that quite a lot. It's quite common actually within the gemstone world. Um, rather than actually being a monetary, right, how much is this price per carat on your Cotan, it would be way with, out of our budget. Instead, it's okay, we had a parcel, well, not parcel, sorry, we bought boulders, the, the, our founder bought boulders alongside Bernard, um, did very well out of it, sold some of it back into the industry. That's how we've gained access. We've done that with Sleeping Beauty Turquoise before in the, t in the past. David, Marion, well done to you. Uh, Moy in Essex, good luck. Ruth, good luck. Maker, good luck. Sharon, good luck to you. Oh no, Sharon, you've got yours. Patricia in Yorkshire, amazing. If any of these are still available, come to the top of the show, I am all over it. Absolutely all over it. To say that you own Cotan Jade, certified natural, definitely, definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity along this as well. Keep that documentation because it is absolutely, without putting the price tag on it, which this is the thing, your your certificate of authenticity won't say 195 pounds. No. Which which is good because it, yeah. that's no reflection of the true value or worth. I have four of these left. What it will say is green Cotan Jade, and it will say, treatment, not enhanced, hence Taipei. 
So you are sourcing the ultimate rarity. Um, not price reflective on your screens right now. The final four opportunities. Good luck, everyone. If everybody checks out, it's sold out because we are actually over allocated on this one. Massive, massive, massive congratulations to each and every single one of you. Um, it is a beautiful gemstone. And, and again, you've got that history, literally in a 58 centimeter strand. Most people can only long and, uh, and dream of owning a simple cabochon, if you like, a small cabochon. You've got a full 58 centimeter strand. Well done, the final few of those. Oh, the pearl sold out earlier. Have you seen these? Um, gorgeous Dan, can you pass me that lovely gold bus just there? How many? There's 20 available. These are, if you loved your pearls and you saw the ones earlier on that sold out. Oh my goodness. Why do I feel, I, uh, these are familiar. Isn't it funny you only see pearl strands, but yet something which is still classic. It's very familiar. Look at those. Wow. They are very impressive. Oh, my goodness me. They're beautiful, aren't they? Mm. Not them with silk, gold clasp all day long. Oh, yeah. That's high end jewelry. High end jewelry. Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. Inset. Look at the quality of those. The Orient. Remember your five virtues where we talk about size. We talk about shape. These are your, your iconic rounds. Nine to ten, ten millimeter rounds. We talk about color. The pure whites. Then we talk about your nacre, how thick that nacre is. Well, these are nucleated, so you know that you've got thick nacre, which is why they have so much luster. Look at that quality. How many of these are available? 20 available opportunities. I'm going to ask you, Ross, have you, can you put the five, uh, the five virtues up? Quality factors, I think the GIA refer to them as. Because again, just to solidify the fact, these aren't shell pearls. We know about we know about the current pearl situation. Whatever type variety of pearl it is, we know of the current situation, don't we? So, how do we grade a pearl? We talk about the five virtues. The GIA, which there is no better authority in my eyes than the Gemological Institution of America. We have our own version as well here in the UK, um, but they are the largest institution um, in the gemstone world. And they say pearl quality factors. You can see some lovely photographs just there. In fact, look at the white pearls. Um, and they're pretty similar, pretty similar. Um, so they go on to say, the quality that determines the overall value of a natural cultured pearl or a piece of pearl jewellery are size, shape, colour, luster, surface quality, nacre quality, and for all jewellery with two or more, matching also plays its part. Um, okay, so when other value factors are equal, larger pearls are rarer, obviously, and more valuable than smaller pearls of the same size. So yes, the larger the pearl, the more expensive they are. If they hit double digits, then absolutely, um, it's like a diamond reaching a carrot. It leapfrogs at its price tag. Reading on. Shape. Round is the most difficult shape to culture. There, well, we could just finish that sentence there, couldn't we? Because we are talking yep. about round. That's because to get the perfect spherical, you can see on that diagram there, um, the ones at the top, perfectly spherical, then you've got slightly spherical, and then they go almost like a bit baroque at the bottom. If all other facts are equal, also, gen uh, um, also generally the most valuable. Uh, there are exceptions, though, well-formed pears, ovals, or baroques, irregular shapes, culture pearls are, size, are prized by pearl lovers. Yeah, absolutely, but pearl, spherical pearls do still command the highest price tag. Colour. I mean, look at those pearls in that photograph. Sorry, I was just literally gravitated towards the image. Natural and cultured pearls occur in a broad range of hues. There are warm hues like yellow, oranges and pinks and cool hues like blue, green and violet. 
Pearls have a wide range of tone from light to dark. Pearl colour tends to be muted with a soft, subtle quality. So again, they're talking about the luminosity almost of that colour. Um, but also you can dye pearls also. Moving on. Uh, then they talk about overtones and undertones. So pearl colours have three components. Body colour, which is the pearl's dominant overall colour. Overtone is one or more translucent colours that lie over the pearl's body colour. And the orient is a shimmer of iridescent rainbow colours. Um, on or just below the pearl surface, and there's an image there under magnification that you can see used on Tahitian pearls. Tahitian pearls do show those overtones and undertones far um, easier. A white pearl, though, quite often will take on the colours of its surroundings, so it will re uh, reflect your skin tone as well beautifully. Read, read it on. The law of supply and demand determines the value of certain pearl uh, colours at any given time. If supplies of um, high quality pearls displaying a preferred colour are low, their price can uh, rise to an unusually high level. Other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions can influence colour preferences. Well, we've, we're seeing that today more than ever, don't you think, with the current situation. Now, we have 20 available opportunities. When we imagine a pearl necklace, you know, certainly when I was a, when I was a girl, if I imagined a pearl ne necklace, it was something like this. Yeah. And as I've mentioned today, I'm watching the crown at the moment. So there's a lot of pearls to be seen on the crown. We've had Marbe pearls with uh, mm. uh, Margaret Thatcher wearing her Marbe pearl earrings, which were quite iconic. And of course, Her Royal Highness wearing um, her triple row pearl necklace. Much smaller than these, though. When we imagine the classic pearl necklace, it's something like this, isn't it? We have 20 available opportunities. And last but no means least, luster. Of the seven pearl value factors, luster might be the most important. Luster is what gives a natural culture pearl its unique beauty, and I totally agree with that. It's the most important of the five virtues. Excellent where the reflections, look at the, di the, the image as well. Excellent where the reflections appear bright and sharp. Very good, reflections appear bright and near sharp. Good, and so on and so on. I'm not going to bother reading the others, because yours obviously don't go anywhere near that. The graphics are live, beautifully graduated. Knotting this on an 18 karat gold class, I think would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. We cannot access freshwater pearls anymore. We can't. We can get Edison. That was what our pearl buyers told us recently. Look at that luster. Look at the quality of that luster. We sold out of the previous pearls. And this is going to do the same. Okay. Your first price crash is not your final price crash for a full 38 centimetre strand. If you're walking down Place Vendôme or down Hatton Garden or Bond Street or Milan or any of those places and you were looking in, you're pressing your noses against the posh windows of those luxury jewellers, you'd see something like this, wouldn't you? Say that again. The first price that you're about to see, times it by 10. That'll be a bit more realistic. And by the way, we still won't be done. Not where we are closing. Sally, well done. Rosemary, well done. Manchester, well done. Not leaving anything for chance. I have 20 available. Not stopping. Imagine this with your Kotan. Goodness me. I agree. Times it by 10. Yep. That's more realistic. Yep. Not where we're closing now. I've got 20 available opportunities, Jewelry Makers. The days of us bringing you, do you remember when we used to do pearl weekends here at Jewelry Maker? Can't do that now. Can't do a pearl hour now, let alone weekends, because the, mar the market has massively changed. Yes, supply, hugely influenced, but it's also the demand, the global demand, in particular the Chinese demand for pearls. Freshwater pearls, they're not being exported. Why? Because, well, we'll buy them, say, at £199. The Chinese market, very affluent at the moment, yeah. their economy is absolutely booming, will pay fortunes for quality pearls like this. So we're just being priced out, effectively. Get them whilst you can, jewellery makers. In nine seconds, we are going even lower. It's the classic, the icon, um, the iconic pearl necklace. Not your closing price. These are a staggering size in perfect rounds. And today, 
first Pearl Strand that we bought you sold out. How, how, how are these 129s? To be honest, I mean, how are they 299? There's only 20 available. We need the locations within the vault. Madness that we're saying that. Our pearl buying, honestly, has always been, and I've said it so many times on air, regular viewers will back me up on this, has always been one of our greatest strengths. Yeah, I'll back you up on that as well. Yeah. We can't say that anymore. No. Because we can't buy them. The so one is. of our greatest strengths is, is pearl buying. Our hands are tied now. Mm. If Charlie Barron yeah. can't source pearls, yeah. Then what, what hope do we have? And he's a sixth generational pearl harvester. That's quite sad, isn't it? We, if, what chance do we have? You've got the likes of Cartier who will, who will pay a pretty penny for them. Yeah. What chance do we have? But the reality is not even Cartier, not even Tiffany's and Co. The West aren't getting the same opportunities in pearls anymore because they, freshwater pearls, aren't being exported. We can bring you Edison's, but they expect the price to go up. A minute, and then we will have to move on, jewelry makers are 100, that's madness, isn't it? It's still one of my favorite gemstones. Oh, without a doubt, I think it's got to be probably up there with everyone's, hasn't it? Oh, look how beautiful that is. It's classic, isn't it, beyond. And again, imagine yourself walking down, I don't know, Bond Street, Hatton Garden. Good enough for royalty. Absolutely. It says a lot, doesn't it? It's not out of place, is it? No. Knotted perfectly with a beautiful clasp. The, the price is almost rude. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you know? Uh, do you know, and this is why I'm, we don't make our own job easy to be truthful sometimes because no. we underprice and people almost question it then. Yes. Um, and I do appreciate it. That's why I, I do understand that. That's why I always say no reflection on the true value worth. No reflection on the true value or worth. Yeah. Because I've brought you, per, uh, listen, I've brought, back when I was at the jewellers, I used to sell, I used to look after the pearl cabinet at the jewellers 25 years ago. They weren't anywhere near that price then. No, no way near. Thousands of pounds, 25 years ago. Well done, well done, well done. Look at those. Okay, now, um, our team went over to Hong Kong recently and uh, they went, usually it's for pearl buying. Yep. and jade that's why they would go to hong kong at the beginning of every year they do tucson and then they do hong kong tucson's more for your colored gemstones your rubies your sapphires those kind of things uh diamonds as, as well hong kong is more about pearls jades that's what that's all about however for the first time ever the team went to hong kong knowing that they were never going to buy pearls knowing that they most likely wouldn't buy any jade um it was more for footage updates on prices which is invaluable to us as well however they did return with a variety of jade it's one of the hottest varieties of jade that is now being commissioned in cartier if you go to cartier they have a, they are launching a bangle i don't know if they've done that as of yet um but also they commissioned their cactus to cartier um, which features some tiny, tiny, tiny little salmon scarn rounds, maybe three, four millimetres in their size. It's like the inside scoop, keep telling. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're cool. They're very, very cool, very dynamic. You know, I, it's one of them you either love or you hate it, I think, kind of designs. But the choice of gemstone, I think, is absolutely genius. They could have chosen, let's be honest, Cartier budget. They could have chosen any gem they wished. They could have gone Zavrite, couldn't they? They could have chosen, I don't know, a Demantoid or, or the finest quality emerald. They chose a little known gemstone at the time that is San and Scarn. Here it is. That's a ring. Set in 18 karat gold. The, tie, the diamonds are minuscule, by the way. Look at the price. Mm. 91,000, which is 20 grand, that ring. It's a big car. Look at the quality of the uh, sand and scarn as well, can I just say. Very opaque. Yeah. Remember earlier on we spoke about sand and scarn. It is your opportunity to get imperial green 
in a variety of jade without the imperial or the Burmese imperial green price tag. But it is still being used by Cartier. So there's the bracelet, which again, if the ring's 20 grand, God goodness knows how much this is. Jewelry ed editorial shoot with Cactus to Cartier. Discover all things radiant from Cartier and, new, and the new Cactus to Cartier collection. This exquisite, the exquisitely prickly flower, unlike any other, um, shines bright in our October issue, dedicated to fine jewellery and more. And you can see Middle East exclusive yellow gold, Southern Scarn and Diamond Necklace. It's the green is this beautiful gemstone that's totally natural, but it is very rare. San and Scarn gemstones are recently discovered and found in Western Pakistan. These gems are known for their striking green color due to a presence of chrome. At Afia Jewelry, we cut San and Scarn into slabs for pendants, showcasing a un unique contrast between the gemstone's natural appearance and polished metal. The rarity uh, of occurrence makes it uh, a distinct gemstone, meaning it should be handled carefully. Uh, what they're saying is, it's a rare gemstone. Don't mess up the cutting. Right. Don't mess up the cutting. So rare that if you go on to their, their own website, there's none available. None available. And we've seen that before, haven't we, across different websites too. San and Scarn forms, I think, a really rich chromium green color, but if you can imagine it in its rough form, it flakes. It's very, very, very fragile in its, here we go, that, that, yeah. Look, look at how rare, that almost looks like it's the green, the chromium rich color is just dusted over the top, like you would do icing mm -hmm. on top of a cake. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna get very, very, very little San and Scarn from those boulders. And when you do cut into it, it's powdery during the cuttering process, so it's difficult to retain that carrot weight. The yield is huge. Now, unbelievably, we're about to bring you a full 38 centimeter strand. And you know, I keep saying, if you want the imperial green color without an imperial green price tag, still a variety of jade, still totally natural, salmon scarns the way forward. But get it now, because it's very new. As soon as the world hears about sand and scarn, what's going to happen? I have two strands, eight millimetres, and I also have some brand new nuggets to bring you. Remember how opaque the, the um, Cartier ones were? Wait until you see this. This is one of the lowest price tags that you'll ever see on sand and scarn. Brand new. Look at that colour. It's, it's your opportunity to channel your inner Barbara Hutton, isn't it? It looks beautiful against the skin. Better on the stand, uh, better off the stands than yeah. on it, doesn't it? Yeah, because it glows, doesn't it? Yeah. How many do we have, Ross? 18. Okay. Mm. I would knot that or maybe put some little rubies in between. Ooh. Or just a single gold space of aid yeah. for me. Gorgeous. Yeah. Magnetic yes. clasp, absolutely. Again, this is totally and utterly natural. The Cactus to Cartier have featured maybe three, four millimeter size stones. They're quite mottled. Did you see that? Little mm. black conclusions. Mm -hmm. Yours glows with translucency and chromium rich color that's natural. It was launched in August last year. I have 18 available opportunities. It's breathtakingly beautiful. And I'm gonna say it, but can, I be, uh, can I be controversial? Because I think San and Scarn's one of the most beautiful varieties of jade. Don't you? Yeah. It's all about the green. It's only green. Yeah. But when you talk about like, never mind the rarity, never mind the rarity, the mining, the history and all of that. If you were to look at all the green gemstones, this is, for me, this is in a world of its own. Right up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's like yeah, Zavrite. It just has that something that just is amplified. Let's go straight to that price tag jewelry makers. I love this. Imagine knotting that with a gold clasp. Yeah, yeah that'd amazing. be stunning, wouldn't it? There are 18 available opportunities.
unbelievable. Again, can I also just say this? Oh. Can you imagine mixing <laughs> it with your pearls? That's a great combo. Oh, and then it would become like a lovely long line necklace, sand and scarn and pearls. Yes, please. What would that be on first dibs? Oh, goodness knows. Silly money, wouldn't Silly it? Silly money, yeah, absolutely. Knotting it as well, separate them. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. Lovely. Look how it illuminates the sand and scarn yeah. as well. Really lights it up. We've got 18 available at £199. You've still got your 0% interest split payment as well, which is crazy. £39.80. Again, I love Cartier. I love the jewellery. I love this style. I think they're quite out there as well on occasions, which I think is quite bold um, with this launch. But again, it's the choice. It's the fact they could have gone for any green gemstone, couldn't they? They could have gone with Zabrite. They could have done. They could have gone with Imperial Jade. They could have done. Because let's be honest, Imperial Jade's been stockpiled. There's lots of that. There's not lots of sand and scarn. I think it was quite a bold move on their part. Yeah, definitely. Taking a gem that's not, only just been discovered is astonishingly rare, but I understand their choice. Look how beautiful that colour is. Marishka in Surrey, Fife, well done. Margaret in Tyne and Ware, congratulations. You've got your five-way split pay as well. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets on this. I've got the rounds and I've got the nuggets. So it's all down to your personal preference um, of shape. The final few of those. Let's do, really? Oh. Okay, hang on a minute. It's intriguing. I'm just gonna put this strand on the back of my hand. I'm not doing this yet, but I'm just putting it on the back of my hand and you'll see why. We have 150. And this, I remember Ross, what you said earlier on, might well be one of the most affordable sand and scarn opportunities you ever see. Oh. Not have seen, might well be one of the most affordable sand and scarn opportunities you ever see. We know that Cartier are launching their own bangle. We wanted to do a sand and scarn bangle, right. but unfortunately, they're all bought already <laughs> by Cartier. So we know they are going to be launching it. We are working with, you're working with, more importantly, that same beautiful material. Look at that alongside your pearl nuggets That's as so well. That's tactile, isn't it? That looks lush. Oh, for the spring and summer months that are oh. coming. It's going to be glorious this month, this week, yeah. isn't it? Natural sand and scarn, certified genuine. We've got 150 of these available. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Roscoe? Is there something going on with my call screens? Hang on a minute. I, I know, I guess, Ross is like, oh, we've just opened the auction. I was like, I know. No, but 150 of these. And you're promising the lowest price tag that we, we may ever do on Sand and Scarn. Look at the size of them, they're not small. Especially when that Cartier Cactus one was, what, four mil? Yeah, even in the rough form. You can't imagine getting that much yield out of it, can you? Those are... When you see the boulders incredible. earlier yeah, on. Yeah, yes, yes. You can see how granular yes. it is, can't you? Yeah, so oh. to be able to have that is quite special. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Big so carrot. carrot weight, natural sand and scarn. It's a variety of nephrite jade. A new discovery. And I think one of the most beautiful. The price on your screen, just to get the wheels in motion, not where we're stopping. I've got 150 available. Just, to, just for starters, that is. A taster. They're not small nuggets. I don't want to call no. them nuggets. They're no. tumbles. Yes. Oh, is that what our graphic says? Amazing. Tumbled nuggets. Yeah. They're, they're too big to be nuggets. Look how each and every single one, one of them glow, that chromium rich, natural, genuine gemstone. Can you imagine, again, sorry to keep using this description, uh, this analogy, but can you imagine if we were there when Kashmir Sapphire was first discovered? You know, we are looking at, Sand and Scarn is in its infancy, in its infancy it's to the, the gemstone cusp, world. It's on the cusp, isn't it? On, it's on the, cusp. the cusp. Straight away, you've got Cartier saying, yes, please, I'll be adding yeah. that to my amazing jewelry. And I understand why, totally understand why. So we're getting an opportunity, a window of opportunity we, we, we rarely see in certain gems where infancy and then it goes through the roof, goes yeah. silly prices. Yeah. 
it happened. We've we've brought Russian Alexandrite to air here before at Gemporia. Is it a brief window? Very brief. Yep. You see the price of Russian Alexandrite now. We've not. brought you Brazilian Praeba Tourmaline before at Gemporia. You see the price of Brazilian Praeba Tourmaline now? Yes. Astronomical. Unreachable. Unreachable. So who knows? It might be Sand and Scar next. Haven't seen Grand Digerite in about a year. Absolutely. Well, we were silly with our prices there, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Can't buy it like that now. Another price. Not where we are stopping, $49.99. But it's lush. It's beautiful. It's natural. It's new. It's exciting. It's vivacious and glowing. And we're not even stopping there. Crazy. If... The most attractive, the most valuable variety of Burmese jade is Imperial. That's what we've been programmed, haven't we? That's yep. what they've said. Imperial, Imperial, yep. Imperial. Most expensive, most expensive. Stockpiled it over the years. Amazing. And it is, it's millions, absolutely oh. millions. <laughs> Have you just seen the price? Yeah. Going even lower though. You know, this is the same. It looks the same. I'm not saying it's the same gem. This is a nephrite jade. Imperial is a, is a jadeite jade. It's still a jade. But visually they're the same yeah that forestry green is just oh it's lush otherworldly isn't, it? isn't it yeah we're at 29.99 and we are not stopping there lovely jewelry makers it's brand new we've got 150 available once they're gone they're gone especially at this next price tag the lowest price we may ever see on sand and scarn says roscoe for the carrot weight, the size, yeah, it's got to be up there. I agree. Even here, Ross, it's got to be up there. Yeah. Such a, a rare gemstone that you can see from its boulders that literally looks like someone's literally dusted the green across the surface, like you would do ice a cake. Twenty nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence <laughs> for so, get it while you can. Get two. Yeah. I would have two. Yeah. Make it go even further. One for me, one to sell. Yeah. Yeah, a bit as, greedy like that. As a sorry. collector, you're a new collector straight away. Yeah. So how many was it? One, two, three, four, five. So let's say three mil stones oh, of yeah, sand and scarn with the diamonds. Yes, there's a big amount of sterling silver on that ring. How much was it? Nineteen grand. Yeah. Just shy of twenty grand. Hmm. We're not. Just so you know, we're not running out of gold or diamonds. By no. The way. No. Sand and scarn is is very very rare. And here we are bringing it to you at 19.99. That's why so many of you multi-buying on this. Yeah. I love, the, I, I, I've, I've put these together because I think they really complement the pearls. You know, your beautiful sort of tumbled organic shapes of your pearls. That might be coming up a little bit later on. Sandra multi-buying, Susan multi-buying, Marion's got three, Alison's multi-buying, Samantha's got three, Mariska's got three, Jane's got two, Linda, Anne-Marie, Shirley, Cornwall, Valerie. Ah, oh, jewellery makers, it's been a mega Friday. Um, as we step into your rarity weekend, this absolutely firmly slots itself within that description. Yeah, we are launching your rarity weekend with Sam and Scarn. We're fortunate. You know, you've got to remember we have got the likes of Dave, Jake, Steve, multiple gem styles, lovely uh, gem buyers, lovely Rachel who works with us, who work tirelessly. Georgia, Wayne, don't forget Wayne. You know, Wayne, I think, I've, I've said this many times before. I think Wayne is one of the gest, best gemstone buyers we've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, without a doubt. I hell. genuinely, genuinely yeah. believe that. Um, you know, the fact that he sources the rare, but he also sources the, um, the quality and mm. amazing prices. Anyway, they work tirelessly to bring you opportunities like this. A gemstone that's little known, it's not known yet yet yeah because it's the, in its infancy yeah, that that's why we read key. that website mm -hmm. newly discovered that's why you're getting prices like this in the past that we when we when we had opportunities to bring you russian alexandrite brazilian prima tourmaline and they were affordable then didn't realize at the time did we like the cotan we didn't realize although we do with the cotan didn't realize at the time the imminent rise in price this is natural San and Scarn Nephrite Jade, and you're getting it today for £16.99. pence. These are huge. Cartier's working with it. That's all we need to know, really, isn't it? Um, incredibly rare. We had 150 of them. 
half the stock's gone we've just passed it everyone um so if you're waiting don't wait too long on this one loads of multi buyers lots of twos and threes i can see getting allocated your wall of fame is coming up jewelry makers and uh, plus we have got charlie's amazing masterclass all about the boodles inspired rain dance ring so i'm very excited about that love it love it love it love it love it love it so can't wait to uh, and we've got tools as well coming got up tools yeah we've got settings tools precious metals gemstones yeah the lot very exciting so don't go anywhere jewelry makers make sure you check out your baskets on your sand and scarf we had 150 but they're absolutely flying out the door wall of fame coming your way after this <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you've all had a really good week. I'm here to tell you all about my show coming up on this Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm going to be joining the lovely L, Ross and the crew. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a couple of the hours they're going to be featured. Nine o'clock, I have been given the most beautiful natural coloured agate kits. Here's a couple of the pieces I've made. Beautiful ombre earrings. These are four millimetre rounds. Then I've got the most incredible, incredible Kiss Cross Station necklace. Those colours are incredible, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you'll receive if you purchase any of the kits in the nine o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make one of my favourite techniques, the embellished netted cuff bracelet. Full instructions included in all of the kits in the nine o'clock. This is beautiful. Now this is faux Fordite. We've got it in four different colourways. I'm going to show you two of them now. We've got this beautiful, hot and spicy. Every single bead is completely and utterly different. And again, this is our take on the four diet stone. And then this piece I've just completed as we speak. This incredible peacock kiss cross graduated necklace. It also comes in a rainbow colourway and also a black and white which will feature in the show. And as I said, you'll get a tutorial booklet on all of the kits that you purchase in the 12 o'clock. So that's this Sunday, 14th of April. Join myself and Eleanor from eight o'clock. So excited to see you there. This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. 
Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. Okay, jewelry makers, are you ready for your wonderful creations? Is this what we were talking about? Oh, uh, the Morse code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be. Take it away. Could you be. read Let's the first one. Let's have a look. So the first one is two four two Margaret Anderson. I made this Morse code bracelet for our daughter-in-law with our late son's name. Ah, oh, bless you, Margaret. That's lovely. Isn't that it? is beautiful. I love the sentiment behind yeah, that, that as well, and she's always gotten in, hasn't that's she? That's it, it's very close. special. Keeping Beautiful, close. Margaret, amazing. Um, we were literally talking about it this morning, mm. weren't we, Morse code? How amazing is this? Some lovely wire work here from Janet Ray. Hello to you, Janet, you're number 243. Hello, lovely jewelry maker folk. Here's my, my current waffering. Um, a druzy pendant in plated silver wire. Um, my first bit of wire weaving for a while, but it just happened. Everything from your wonderful jewelry maker folk, and I thank you every day. Take care, hugs to all. Lots of hugs to you as well. A bit of druzy. I love that. I like a bale as well. The bale's great. Very nice. Mm. Loving that. Very um, cute. You're number 243. Okay, so next we have 244 Sharon Saunders. Hello JM, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's from one of Mark's kits, blue agate, branca onyx, silver spacers and veil, and the beautiful carved fish. All from JM except the magnetic shell clasp I got from your sister channel, which I thought went very well with the marine theme. All the best everyone. I love that blue. It's gorgeous, Pops, isn't it? it? And those little fish. And the little fish. Beautiful, isn't that. they? One of those non-aerodynamic fish. <laughs> yeah. You know the ones that kind of just swim like that. Great big bug eyes. Boggly yeah. eyes and just yeah, they're not they're not streamlined. <laughs> if I was a fish, I'd be that, be that fish. one. I'd be that fish. <laughs> um this is very elegant from Alison Quince. Alison, you're number two hundred and fifty-five. Dear jewelry maker team and fellow waffers, loved Liam's visit a few weeks back and have been busy making um, with all the delightful mother of pearl shapes. But I decided that I had to keep something back from me. So here is my lariat style with uh, two donuts. Um, I finished, sorry, I used fine Prince of Wales unfinished chain um with crimson covers um and a double silicon slider everything is from jewelry maker hope you like it must admit it's a current favorite for me to wear good luck to all in the drawer i can see why alison that's absolutely beautiful yeah i'd love wearing that that looks fabulous yeah beautiful a little bit like the princess of wales kind of asymmetric yeah, loving theme. that only a couple of entries this week yeah. uh, this friday so do get your photographs in remember um Message, the only stipulation is that they're jewelry maker products, effectively, and you get entered into a draw. We do it every week. Runner-up will receive £50. Um, winner will receive £100. And it's not done on merit. It's literally picked out of a tombola. So you get might as well in. get your entries get in. in. Absolutely. Um, OK, now, wow. <laughs> I've mentioned this before, Charlie. When, you've, when we first met for the first time, it was in the canteen, wasn't it? Yeah. And there was a big crowd of Britain's Next Gems hopefuls, yep. uh, of which you were, you were one. And I remember, and you were just to my left, and I looked down and Charlie had this lovely box full of beautiful jewellery, and I was like, oh. And you said, what do you do? And I went, I'm a caretaker. <laughs> he was like, what? <laughs> what, you're a kid? It was pieces like this that yeah. literally, I remember, I'll never forget that moment. I rem it's jewellery just like this. Just wow, Charlie. They're absolutely incredible. And your talent, well, it's that, is, funny, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? I think all jewellery makers see their own flaws in their work, don't they? So, our own, for, well, yeah, our, our own worst critic, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. And I do strive for perfection, sometimes to my own detriment. It drives me up the wall sometimes. But 
I think that's part and, part and parcel of wow. being a crafty person, isn't it? You always want to do better than the next and better than the next. So one day I might get to the end and go, I'm happy with that. But I always see something that would change, maybe do a little bit differently. But that's why these, um, this project in particular is really good for that because there's so many avenues you can go down with this one. You can create a whole collection yeah. just from this one design. Really? Oh, easily. And I mean, is the inspiration Boodles? Yes, so I was, it's a bit of a funny one this one. So I was approached with it and um, they suggested it and I said, yep, that's okay, that's fine. And then there was a problem with delivery and it was delayed and then it was delayed again and then delayed again. So in the end they were like, can you just use whatever you've got and then when the products come, we'll send them to you and you can double check the sizes, make sure they're all right, which I've got here just to show you, I've got the sample pack. Um, so what I did was, because I didn't know what material I was gonna be working with for the project and what you guys were gonna be given, I did one in a round wire, one in a half round, and one is a square wire, and then I've got one just on the go that's Whoa. both, that's um, square and half round. So, but again, you don't, like last week, you don't, you don't have to solder them together, and it's one of the last stages, so you don't have to do it. I know it looks a bit of a mess because it's still under construction, but you can see that the square wire's at the top and the half round at the bottom. So, and then I did a different sort of setting just to, Mix it up. A bit. I love yeah. it. I absolutely love it. And we sp we've been talking at length about about Alhambra, haven't we? You know, this is an iconic design, isn't it? That wonderful kind of uh, um, cluster. Yeah. Um, and like I said, Emma, I know Emma Thompson uh, wears the what's it called? The rain dance. Yeah, the rain dance ring. Which, by the way, would I was dancing in the rain wearing this. Oh, <laughs> absolutely, Charlie. They're absolutely stunning. Thank you. Absolutely stunning. I love every single one of those. Now, um, each of your purchases, so your kit purchases or project purchases, will come with your written instructions, mm -hmm. written by yours tru uh, truly, lovely Charlie. So, um, even down to tells you approximately what time, what you're going to need. Yeah, everything you need in there. Um, the projects have got your stones as well and there's um, a tool that'll help you mm. bring the whole piece together at the end. I, I Just ignore the time. It takes as long as it takes. If it takes you three days, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not a rush, is no, it? No, exactly. And that's I think that's the most important thing. Don't rush through it. And although it looks like a challenging piece, once you break it down into manual pieces, it's actually quite straightforward. Wow. Mm. It's not the easiest thing for me to demo here to you because obviously I don't have a bench peg. So what I'm going to do is run through a couple of problems that you might have. Yeah. And then hopefully tick those off the box before you even get your project. So when you do come to do it, it will be so much easier for and you. And you have the instructions to reference mm, anyway, don't definitely. you? Definitely. Um, okay. Sorry, sorry, what was that? Say that again, I can't hear you. Here's the ring, the rain dance ring. Here's the rain dance ring. Um, 11,700 pounds. Ouch. For that rain dance ring. I tend to not look at these things. I tend not to look at things I really, really can't afford. So when they approached me with this, I was like, oh, this is a nice idea. But mm. then when I actually went looking, it was like, <gasps> yeah, ouch. Geez. Yeah. Ouch. But yeah. We, we can make that together for a fraction of the cost and you can sell it at whatever price tag you like. Well this is the thing, we bring you the gemstones, we can bring you the yeah. calibrate, we're bringing stones today, the perfect collection for you to do your version of and it's one of a kind, yours is one of a kind. Yeah. That's but this the reality. Is the there's, there's no two will be the same. No. Even if you plan to make it the same, there'll always be something slightly, slightly different. different. Yeah, so it's quite unique really. Wow. Charlie, they're absolutely beautiful. So okay, now, um, Let's show you um, the items that you actually get. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Thank you, lovely. Amazing. Can we just oh, scooch that one. that one over as well? So that you bit. get two different varieties of your wire. So you've got a flat wire, which if I hold it up first, you can oh, see, or square. square, square wire. Yeah. Just like it. Of which, look at that. Is that a 30 centimetre length? Yeah, that's definitely 30 centimetres. So can, you can't quite see it there, but if I was to turn it that way towards Adam, you'll I'd notice. it's about 1.5, without measuring. I haven't measured it because I wasn't sent it. That's a lot of silver. Oh yeah, you'll make loads of rings out of that. There'll be loads do, left over. We used to do that length. <laughs> we did. How many? Yeah, 30 centimetres. So we've got the square, 
And then if I hold the other one next to it, you'll see the difference. Is that your half round? Uh, yes. yes. Or D-shaped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah D-shaped. So you can see the difference between the two. Solid sterling silver, both 30 centimetre lengths. So whichever you choose, or whether you get both, um, they both come with, if I was to put them like this, you'll get an idea, a selection of your gemstone mounts that Charlie will obviously talk us through. So how are we looking at what? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I think there's four, 1.5 mils. I can't quite remember. Um, I can tell you that. six mil, one, four, two, four mil, two, three mil, and four, one point five. I'm sorry, I'd have to double check. We could, have we got the specifications? We're just having a little look now. Um, okay, so yeah, we can give you those details. But again, they are, they are, um, they will fit calibrated sizes, which we regularly yep. bring to you. Like the Zircon that we had this morning. Yeah. They'd well, be what amazing. What deal they were. Yeah, pounds. Silly prices. <laughs> but I did, yeah, I know, bonkers. <laughs> I have checked. So when they sent the sample pack to me, I checked the stones <coughs> against all the settings. So you won't have a problem setting the stones. You can just drop them straight in and I'll just point out and highlight what the perfect height is okay but there's no there's no work to the seating so what is that sorry a one by six a two by four a two by three and a four by two. Oh, two mil I yeah was okay two mil, yeah. so they will they will fit the calibrated stones we've also got coming your way as well this tool what's this <laughs> it's your ceramic ring stick now I thought oh. I'll bring that with me and not open it because I know a lot of people will open it and go uh, I don't think that's right but it is and I'll show you so you just tighten everything up don't you basically yeah and it'll come to you eh. once I get it open and you look at it and you think eh. so you get that bit and you get that bit yeah and you that oh, hang on that's not quite right the clamps in here and there we are, it just scoots you over a little bit, there you go, perfect, but then you get that. But then you get this, so you would clamp them in at the same time, you would hook on the one side and hold it, and then hook on the other side, if the gap's big enough, let me open it a bit. I haven't actually, I thought I'll unwrap this live on air, great idea. There you go, and then you would up. close it, nice and tight, so it's like a ball and socket joint. There yes. You go. Yeah, there you go. So there you are. So quick, took a second. Took a second yeah. to do. So um, don't, don't panic. Perfect. So that's your ceramic ring. So, uh, ceramic ring holder. So yeah. There you go. So also available. Do you want to take it up? Ross, what? <laughs> Which one do you want to start with? Kits or the ring holder? We'll have Which a quick one? talk about the ring holder. Okay. Um, and it is literally just so that when you come to the end, or actually, when you're in the beginning of it, and if let's say you decided you made, you wanted to make two sets of um, two sets of rings, mm. is yours nice and tight? No, neither is mine. One second. So you just use you your fingers to tighten it. Yeah, I mean, really, you should use a screwdriver. But anyway, okay, we get the idea. So you can slide on uh, as many rings as you want on this. So if you wanted to. Um, solder let's say you do three rings for this ring and then four rings for this ring so you need to do seven rings don't you you can literally line up all of your rings on this one piece solder a ring knock it off solder another ring knock it off ah. and keep going like a, almost like a production line what i will point out is when these are brand new um they might you, you when you flux your pieces they might want to stick to each other so a, a tip with these heat it up before you use it like get it get it quite hot you know because ceramic is can be a little bit like a heat sink but when you come to uh where's the other one so if we're here and we'll talk about the settings in a sec so we've got multiple settings on that ring when you pop them together you can line up all your rings together and your settings won't wobble off so if you haven't got a nice secure fit i'll show you how to alter the settings to be able to do that um it, it won't go anywhere but if it is taking a little bit longer than you'd like lift it up a little it's a bit too far down here so with your tweezers in your hand you would rate just raise it up ever so slightly and just by doing that it'll make the solder go whoop, and it, it, easy peasy so these are really handy for that and again when you've got all your three rings bunched together and it does go through it more in depth um, in the instructions you can come when you come to soldering you use your tweezers and you can just pinch them together if they're not quite 
doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so this is a really handy tool to have in your arsenal. Wow, okay, well the graphics are live for this one. Ceramic rod with holder on base. Is that there what it's go. called, ceramic rod? There you go. Uh, to be fair, I mean, it's one of those things that it's actually quite handy to have. Um, and I, I have been known to line up studs across the top here. So you can literally solder in one go. So let's say you've got six pairs of studs, that's a lot of earrings, isn't it? But if you, obviously it'd be tighter because you'll tighten it up at home properly and you can line up so you're, um, uh, ear posts are pointing one way and you say your bezels are pointing the other way and you can turn it and solder them all in one go yeah without them running off anywhere because I can imagine when you're soldering and working with a sort of your your precious metals mm -hmm. um, obviously having both pairs of hands is a really oh, big thing definitely. you need to have both pairs of hands yeah, don't you definitely. so this is that third hand Makes in a effect big difference yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna do this in one price crash how many do we have Ross 80 available oh, that's quite few that's quite good isn't it? yeah but when you see this price, I'm guessing, and it's a bit of kit, wow. Hey, it's a bit of kit that you're not gonna have to replace every day, isn't it? Oh no, definitely not. And I, to, to be honest, I don't think you'll ever need to replace the ceramic stick. I've, ne I've never replaced mine. I have got one, I bought one right in the beginning of my journey. Um, and I, I couldn't bring it with me because it's absolutely <laughs> revolting to look at because it will go, it'll, it'll stain and colour because it's, it's like an old shoe, you know. Um, so this one's nice and pretty, but it it's will last loved. you forever. It's loved. <laughs> it's loved. I need to remember it that. Uh, it's not well worn. <laughs> no, it's loved. It's well loved. Um, but they are handy to have. And 20 quid. Oh, it's now, is it? Yeah, it's for, now, for something it? that you are going to use like repeatedly. Yeah, definitely. And if you've got the little turntable, it's quite handy to have that there as well because if you've got multiple settings and as you can imagine you've got lots of settings we'll use the example one lots of settings say heavier on this side but you need to turn around you can use your turntable and do it that way as well so you don't actually have to take the flame off your work at any no. point so it's really quite handy to have fabulous mm. amazing remember if you've got any questions for charlie um make sure you do text in loads of you getting involved on this one i'm not surprised I'm not smart. And it's, look, if I can put it together, anybody can. <laughs> we and just did that with no tools. Yeah, and that speaks volumes, doesn't it? I'm got a screwdriver. Um, <laughs> um, basically, just a. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and it's solid and robust as well. There you go. <laughs> and you just tighten it up here, basically. So tighten yeah, it's up just there. Just a screwdriver. You'll be right. Job done. Um, and nicely weighted, too. Yes. That's See, very important. Bit. Yeah, especially if you've got multiple rings on there and it's taken you a really long time to get those settings on that piece. You don't want it to just blah, fall off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, so definitely it's good. not. We had 80 of these. Look at the core screens. They've gone crazy. Well done. Oh, it's handy. It, it is. is a handy tool. It is. And we've got, again, the silver wire with the gem settings and we've got the loose stones all to bring you. Are they available on pre-order? Everything is on pre-order as Brilliant. we speak. As we speak. So... Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Okay. So, let's bring the wire yeah, in and then we'll dive into the demonstration. And you've got your loose stones. It's all available on pre-order. So I'll leave that with you. Do you want to do flat or the D shape first? Either or. Either or. I ain't fussy. The square wire. Let's do the square wire first. Okay. So, that, again, I love square wire because you get this lovely luster mm -hmm. across it. It's almost it. like a facet, isn't it? Yes, mm. that's a perfect description. Now, again, 30 centimetres you're getting here. You're going to get loads, aren't you? Loads and loads That's a lot of, of ring that. shanks. Oh, yeah, easy. And then some. You'll, st you'll always have a little bit left over and a little tip. You can flatten it out to turn it into a, um, a setting if you want to add another setting and you've run out. So you, it's already, uh, in theory, a rectangular shape once you've flattened yeah. it out. So it, you can use every little tiny scrap Look at that. Again, a thick piece of wire as well. We used to, I remember us doing like your square wire, your D-shaped wire, round wire, all those. But again, the, the, the square, initially these were much shorter, yeah. much, much shorter, which is fine because you can still make rings out of them. But oh, you're yeah. getting, you're getting uh, um, what, 30 centimetres. You're getting oodles and boodles. Oodles and boodles, exactly, for your boodles ring. Um, then you get your gemstone settings. What, what do we call these again? Tube sets, is that right? Yep, yeah. Tube settings, yep. um, which will fit your calibrated size stones. So again, you can see, I'm gonna bring one of these amazing rings over for you to see the inspiration just behind. So beautiful, Charlie, so, so, so beautiful. 
See, square wire for me is, is essential. You guys don't list it as essential, but for me in my workshop, I use a lot of square wire. Do you? So I'm hoping that it's going to be something that will keep coming your way because it is, it is universal almost. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely say that if you say, and we're doing more and more silversmithing mm. now, aren't we? So yeah, um, ninety nine ninety nine for all that gram weight of precious metal for the gem set so that will fit perfectly, and that you can see in this beautiful ring. We've got loose stones to bring you as well in this hour. They're all available on pre-orders. Remember that <coughs> your project, if you purchase uh, um, the project, it comes alongside with Charlie's instructions as well. Um, and you can mix the, the sort of the textures of your wire, mix oh, your gemstones. Yeah. You know, Boodle's piece was add a little charm. Oh. You could the little bee charms you had this morning. You can slide Very one of nice. those on in between the bars. You wow. can cut out and have negative space. Honestly, it's the my mind were blowing. I couldn't hone in just how many things I wanted to make with this one design. And appro approximately, I know it depends on sort of the the tube settings, but. How about this length of wire? How many ri rings do you reckon you could you could create? Oh, at least six, eight, ten. It, like you say, it depends on the size, doesn't it? And yeah. if you're anything like me, I tend to make a couple of sizes smaller and then stretch it out, so yeah. you'll always get more out of it. Yeah, amazing. Uh, Forty nine ninety nine. Again, any messages? Do text in. How many do we have, Ross? Sixty. Oh, okay. Not your price though. Going even lower. Let's hope it does make its way into essentials. Oh, I do. I, I, I really do hope so. <gasps> hey, that's bad. Uh, twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only for all that precious metal gram weight and the settings. The settings are pre-cut. You know, that that's a time yeah. saver. It's, it's, it's a fantastic deal, is that? I'll show you how to uh, modify the bottoms of the settings to make it fit what you want it to fit and, and maybe solder in a slightly different way. But there's no solder seams. They're immaculately finished and they're highly polished. So I literally couldn't fault them. Wow. Wow. Well, ha well over half the stock's gone now. We only had 60. Look at the call screens. I've got two full rows of names and multi-buyers on there as well. This oh, will sell so out. Much fun. This will sell out. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. We've got the D-shaped wire to bring you as well. That's quite a, that's quite a, um, a traditional shape, isn't it, D-shaped wire? Yeah, Obviously definitely. wedding bands. Yeah, it? very much so. I get asked for it a lot as well. And um, you do get comfort fit, but that's when it's slightly curved on the inside. But you can do that yourself when you come to finishing. So you can make your D-wire into your comfort fit. Mm -hmm. Very popular um, because it's so comfortable to wear. Yeah, I get that. Get, totally get that. Twenty nine ninety nine. that's an unbelievable yeah, deal. Unbelievable. Again, I'm bringing these in incredible absolutely incredible 29.99 we had 60 of them um well don't you tracy and powers london samantha anna multi-buying devon judith cumbria multi-buying wendy maureen west midland susan buckinghamshire oh, mary wow. and jerry shan heather lynn multi-buying merseyside marishka tracy jean vanessa jane dumfries and galloway this so the call screens have gone crazy we only had 60 though have we got, oh, well over half the stock, is that right, Ross? L, there's, yeah, I like it. Ross oh. is like, L, there's less than 10. <laughs> there's less than 10 remain. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, so I tell you what, we'll bring you the, the other project um, in a few moments' time. Let's dive into the demonstration. So basically, it's just what the, f make sure you check out on this one. The D shaped wire is coming up again, same length, same settings. They're, they're both lovely to work with, and because they both technically have an edge, it makes your life a lot easier when it comes to putting them all together. And if you want to stack them individually on their own and not solder it together, go ahead, why not? So, the first one I just want to talk to you about is the stone height. So, obviously, this is a singular one just to show you. So, I checked all the stone sizes, and this one I haven't changed the seating, I haven't altered anything. There's nothing um, that I've tweaked to it. I've literally soldered it to a ring shank. Now this stone, one of the stones we have, can you see 
it might be better with the front on. Can you see that it's literally just a hair above the setting? Yeah. That is perfect. Now, if you have a stone that's maybe got a little bit of a chunkier girdle because it's eaten too much at Christmas and what have you. Hey, don't judge. <laughs> you can, yeah, no, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you can drop the seat down with the setting burr. But to be honest, when I checked every single stone, they were perfect. They were absolutely fine. So I didn't need to modify any of those. So we're going to have to talk about the settings. So how I've done it, I don't know if you can see that. I might actually turn it on its side, you might see that better. Can you see that I've managed to get the setting and it looks like it's incorporated in the ring? So it just, it's seamless, it's not soldered flat on top of it, it's part of the ring. Can you guys see that? Maybe the front one, there yeah. you go. So the, these settings here, you know, they've, they've just seamlessly, and then what happens is, it matches the ring That's shape. That's amazing. Yeah, so it's comfortable to wear and you don't have, the problem with sometimes setting a stone, so if I soldered my setting just like that, it's quite uncomfortable to wear and there's a good chance that you're gonna make it wonky and knock it off. Oh. Okay, so when we come to modifying these little, I say modifying, it's tweaking really. In fact, Elle, can I pinch your big one, please? That one. Yeah. Thank you. So obviously you're having a look and you're looking for um, the top and the bottom. So you'll see that there's a seat already cut at the top. So what I need you to do is flip it over. Now with your Sharpie or whatever you have, um, I tend to use them a lot in the beginning, but as you get with more practice and you, you find it a little easier, you don't have to use the Sharpies anymore. So I would just mark north and south okay and if it's a little wonky it doesn't matter because you're going to true that up with your saw blade now all of these little steps are just to get you off the ground running to begin with but after a while you don't really need to do this and you can go straight in so what i would do with these settings i would hold my saw blade over and find the first one i wouldn't go straight over the top and do both sides i would just do the one first and you'd make a little nick and then turn it over and line it up again and lay it over and do another little nick. Now when you do that, and if you say, so here's one I would nicked earlier, one of them's ever so slightly off, and what I've done is I'd slipped it. They're so small, I'm sorry. The no, instructions will make I'm it clearer for you. I'm following you on that screen so that I can see. So if you've got one and it's, it looks like it's wandered already, a really nifty way of fixing it is by using a half round file and lean your half round side to the side that you need to nudge it over to, if that makes sense. So I can see, if I lay that down flat, I need to nudge more over to the right, which is here, and I would turn my needle file that way, so the half round is pointing to the side that I need to make it wider. And by doing that, it makes your life so much easier when you come to using your half round. So you would use, with your, with your tools that you have, you would make a little burr and check it and then flip to the other side and do another burr. So with this bigger one, it'll be easier to see. You need to do all your measurements. Now I'll, that's in the instructions for you. So it, it'll give you a, a better idea of what you're doing. Which comes um, free with your kit purchase. Um, it's available on your order history upon dispatch of your project. Definitely, and print them out. It's a great, great idea. Yeah. If you can print them out. Um, so what I will mention is once you've measured accurately and you're making this empty space to match your ring shank, let's just lean over, I don't mm -hmm. think this will be right, oh no it is, so you're going to keep checking the fit and seeing how well it fits against your ring shank, I'm sorry guys my fingers, I'm going to have to make some bigger settings. So you're just going to keep checking. Oh no, that's perfect yeah. Now can you see I've got empty space at the top there I don't want that so I still need to keep going and altering to make sure it's a really snug fit and when it is a snug fit you'll be able to now I want to touch about these other settings you've got as well these were a little bit of a well-kept secret they've got a halo underneath we'll talk about that later um, once you've finished cutting your um, negative space for your ring shank to run through you may find that you're putting it on but it's not quite right and the reason for that is, is because you're coming in straight. So that's fine, but with your heart, with your D-shaped wire, it's not a full half a circle, it's slightly, it's a D-shape, so it's almost got a flatter top. 
but also your ring shank is curved. So if you don't curve the cut on the inside, so you need to dip towards the, the inside of the setting, I suppose, my fingers are too big. So rather than coming in straight like that, you need to come in at an angle because if you don't get that curve, it won't sit nicely on your ring and it'll have a funny mm -hmm. seating. So you can see one side I've done enough, the other side I haven't done very much at all with. So these little settings are beauties. So when you have, because I can't demo the whole thing here for you, when you've, when you've soldered your um, settings to your ring shanks and you've got three of them, and then you've managed to solder your whole piece and then it looks like this, obviously ignore the stone, I just threw that in because it looked a bit boring without it. Um, you'll think, oh my gosh, I've made that, great. There's, I don't know, how many is there? Three, six, seven, eight. I've got nine stones on there that I need to set. Where the heck do I start? Which is a fair point because I, you know, in the beginning when I looked at it, I thought, oh, how do I do that? So with one of these rings, the one that's got the square wire, with this, yeah. Is it that one? Is it that oh, one? yes, it's this one. So you see, I've oh. got. I'm sorry, my love. Yeah, I've got over there so I just can see. There you go. There you are. So, nifty little trick, which is why oh, I like these that. other super settings. So, these stones that I've set here, I have set them first, then soldered it to my ring shank. So I can do that because these particular ones are cubic zirconia. I was so going to say you've got melee stones there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So, and obviously, if, depending on what stones you use, you can still set your stone first, then solder it afterwards, but always check what you're working with first. So when you are working with so many settings, if you've noticed, I have got, so with this one here, I haven't removed the inside. Can you see that bar? Now, I've not removed that bar because I haven't decided what stone I want in there yet. So that's staying there for now. But with the rounded ones, I've removed all of that material and I've removed it because it's going to let so much more light in. This uh, chrome dioxide here had so much more colour in because mm. I've removed the empty space. That little one next to it, mm. I haven't done so. So I would maybe use a black yes. stone or a darker stone, so yeah. it doesn't really matter too much. Certain stones do need like an open gallery. Yeah, they from do. From dioxide being one of That's them. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it, it just to amplify the beauty. Why, why, why shadow it almost? Yeah. So that's a really straightforward one to do. And you would use um, your drill bit first, and you would burr straight in, and then go back in with your round burr, and make sure you remove any of the um, little lips that you get left behind. So you've got all of that done. Again, at where do we start? So I would actually start with every little setting. This one's down here, and I would do the little one here. Because the problem is once you've set these stones, the bigger ones in the middle, if you did that first and then moved over, when you wiggled in, it would, um, you would, you would end up knocking it against the other thing, so against the other settings. So you'll end up with flat spots and then it's really hard to clean up. But that, that's all I can share with you right now. <laughs> did, I, did I swear again? No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, no, you didn't. Um, <laughs> oh, no way. Don't you worry. What did I do? No, you didn't do anything, my darling. It's just me. It's, it's Adam. I'm not made for TV. It's, <laughs> it's Adam. Not look at his angelic It's not. Look, face. nobody will believe me when I say that because he does look so angelic, doesn't he? Um, you me it's now. all no. It's all me, my darling. It's all me. <laughs> oh dear me. Right then. <laughs> Play the silver, don't make me cry, I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wicked, you're funny. Um, right then, let's do, let's do the next, let's do the next, you are amazing Charlie. Um, okay, 30 centimetres again, this is the D-shaped. Yes. Like we said earlier on, it's traditional isn't it? Could you do, here's a question, mm -hmm. can you wear the D-shaped wire the other way around? Oh, of course you can, my inlay rings are made like that. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll hollow out the front and have the comfort fit on the back. That's what the comfort fit is, actually. The half round on the it's inside. It's an inverted mm -hmm. D shape. Yeah, and actually, it'll right. make it quite easy for you to set stones into if you wanted to. Does it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So you get your 30 centimetres and you get the same mounts. Mm -hmm. so, uh, one thing I was thinking about how do you sort of make the arrangement? 
Because I assume you can't just sort of bunch them together. They've got to be arranged, haven't they? They do. Now, the one thing that you do need to be aware of is how close they are. So if you've got all your three rings and they're grouped together, you may find that they kind of overlap So because you've dropped the seat down. Um, what I would do is if you want a wider gap, I don't have one with me, I would, when it comes to soldering, mm. I would slip a... Um, scalpel blade in between so you can have the wider space yeah but you can the arrangement doesn't necessarily have to be methodical you can just lay them out first and almost pretend to make it and you yeah. can draw it out like and arranging plan that a bunch way. of flowers yeah definitely i'm not very good at that no actually. no way. <laughs> I bet you are though, because if you can make jewelry, I bet you are good at arranging. I'm really good at lots of stuff, but not that. And I can't yeah. sew either. No, I can't sew either. Uh, yeah. I can't either. Um, okay, let's bring you. So 30 centimeters of your D shape uh, wire. Plus, then you get the mounts, which are your tube setting, and they are how many did you say we got? What was that? Four, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in there total. All solid sterling silver. Um, we could stop here, couldn't we? That's amazing. I mean, if you, if I was was to stumble across your amazing pieces, Charlie, at some artisanal market, there is no way on earth I would ever expect these to be anywhere near the price that that's on your screen. Oh, the kit prices are absolutely silly. Sausage out there, I can't, I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. No, because there is an awful lot of precious metals with it. And what I will say is, if you can get both kits, because you get so much more. Um, visual effect by combining the half round and yeah. it, it, like like Elle said very cleverly flip it round because you'll actually have lots of different facets that way and it, it will probably be even comfier to wear yeah. they, they slip on like a glove yeah but that comfort fit will definitely add to the whole feeling of the elegance and the rain dance oh, and it's, the, it's oh. gorgeous it's actually one of my favorite pieces of jewelry the rain dance ring i didn't know what it was until i looked it up and yeah I was like, it's lovely yeah. yeah really nice uh 29.99 how many do we have roscoe 80 so it's slightly more plentiful oh, but good. again same instructions come with it because it's the same technique oh yeah 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 same yeah. technique yeah it applies across all of them um, and if you got the kits this morning, they teach yeah. you how to, I'll teach you how to do the beaded setting, which is on the purple one, I think, with the butterfly. Yeah. The middle one. This one. Yeah. So if you got the kit this Hang morning, on, where's the butterfly? You'll be just here, Flower. Just that. Do you know what that is? It's a space oh. bead. Oh. It's not charm. It's a space bead. I, I never even there. saw the butterfly. Ah, oh, that's a kaleidoscope, isn't it? Isn't kaleidoscope it? of colour. Charlie, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. We have got loose stones to bring you as well that will mm. go with Charlie's um, tube sets. Some so lovely gemstones. Are they easy to set them in these tubes? Oh gosh, yeah, very easy. It's so straightforward. So if you've um, got your gem setting kit, if you've got a bezel pusher, um, the, these sorts of ones where it's got mm. a hollow space, if you've got them, you'll bash it off really quickly because it is really straightforward. Um, and what I would do, let me just grab my little pusher out of this one. When I've got lots and lots of settings on the go like that, and if mm. I line up all my stones in place, you're thinking, why the heck would you put them all in there in one go? Because you can lock them in place all at the same time to speed the process up. So you would left, right, or north, south, however you want to say it. And then again in the middle, left, right, lock that into place. And don't close all the way down onto the stone just enough to make it not move yeah so then once you've done that you can then go back and use your uh, bezel pusher the rounded ones with the concave tip and you can go over now when you use them i would first do a quarter turn to the right and lift off it doesn't look like i've lifted off the work but i'm applying no pressure and then i would do another quarter turn to the right and then the wobble okay because when you do if you do a right left right left right left the metal doesn't know where it's smooshing so try and go the same way every time and you'll get yeah. a higher yeah, end yeah, finish yeah. You're, you're, you're almost undoing it yeah that's the thing you? it's like confusing it like which way are we going yeah and then if you have a pointed um um pointed burnisher mm. you can just run around the inside of your gemstone just a simple there we go so just as simple, no, I'm not applying loads of pressure, it's just to run around the edge. And that'll give you a pretend, um, I've forgotten what it's called now. Uh, 
bright cut finish which is what you do with an engraver so you would actually remove the material just a slither and that helps bounce light back in the stone but by using a pusher you're going to be able to do that like a master would but without the risk of digging into your stone or ruining your setting or anything yeah we so. don't want that do we no, no no but these stones that we've got they're all a lovely hardness so you'd have a hard job breaking them anyway but there's enough in these packs that you can practice till your heart's content yes absolutely well speaking of let's do the stone shall we um okay so we have which one do you want to do first the citrine big citrine or big, big is that amethyst let's do the one with the citrine because i know which one is here on the sample oh my goodness <laughs> it's even got wayne's name on it <laughs> wayne's name got wayne's name wayne's world <laughs> It is a party time in there. Um, a few messages, Charlie, coming through to the studio. Charlie, you are amazing, Aww. and so is your jewellery, says Thanks, Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> yeah, um, agreed. North Yorkshire saying, amazing, helpful tips, Charlie. Can't wait to get this project home and work through the instructions. Thank you, Al, and the Jewellery Maker team once again. Ah, oh, bless you. Thank you. Um, Isabel, I love the way that square wire and D-wire hugs and doesn't slip. Yeah, good point. Well said, Flower. That's yeah. exactly it. And it's really nice to work with. You know, your round wire does it's quite tricky to work with sometimes, but having that slight edge will make life so much easier. I guess it's probably easier to hold, isn't it? Oh, gosh, yeah. And when it comes to the, the instructions explain more, but when you come to putting the three together, yeah. having that that is like a guideline really and you once you put them together you know where you're filing mm. the instructions will explain more oh perfect and you get that again with your project uh, purchases so within this you get a uh, pretty much a carrot of your beautiful multicolored gemstones um what's it from two millimeters to six millimeters you can see the collection there um a pack of four essentially but again I mean, multi-buy, if you've bought maybe both the oh. kits, you'll need to multi-buy a couple of these. But, yeah. But my goodness me, it's so worth it, all those colours. Definitely. And you'll have, once you've set one stone, you'll have so many more to play with. You'll, yeah. The world's your oyster with it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, worth £5 per stone. I mean, look at that citrine. Look how beautiful that citrine is. It's a beauty. It certainly is. But we're not stopping there going even lower we've got a hundred available opportunities so the opportunities without these you couldn't make your rain dance rings you need the you need the calibrated stones don't yeah, you yeah these stones fit the settings beautifully like I, I i couldn't i couldn't fault them i didn't have to tweak any settings at all yeah not for the seats anyway slots I did the in perfectly <laughs> yeah. slots in perfectly and that's what the, the the rain dance is all about it's colorful isn't it yeah i know they do them in diamonds as well but they do them in the color gems i don't know which one came first but um we're 9.99 that's awesome isn't it oh gosh yeah i mean you guys blow me away with prices every time it's almost annoying <laughs> how about two pound per stone then oh really just to really press your buttons Whoa, why not why not go for it? It's all right. It's nearly home time. I can vent in the car. <laughs> <laughs> what are they thinking? <laughs> Two pounds a stone. <laughs> yes, an answer. Yeah, we <laughs> definitely are. We've got a hundred of these available. Um, again, perfectly calibrated. Um, the quality of the stones that we're bringing you, you know, they're all. I mean, look at that aquamarine. That's amazing. That aquamarine. Oh, they're eye clean. They're cut beautifully. They're just exquisite i can't fault him if i if i had something negative to say i would tell you and i'd probably get told off for it but i don't no you can see that quality can't you look at there's the aquamarine right there oh i'm loving these absolutely loving these seven pounds and 99 pence we had a hundred of them another message coming through for you charlie farm is that karen um i love those rings charlie you have inspired me to take the step into silversmithing oh, congratulations Amazing. honestly you'll love it it yeah. just opens up so many doors and it doesn't matter what your medium is you can combine it with silversmithing i really love the idea of beading and smithing slam those two worlds together and can you imagine the pieces you could make i'm rubbish at beading and i'm not even going to bother trying It'd be a waste of time but if you want to give it a go this is a really good project it's going to help you with your accurate cutting mm. it's going to help you with your marking it's going to help you understand thing another thing quickly about soldering if you're using soldering um sheet like i do 
don't leave your solder next to where you're soldering. I know that sounds really strange, doesn't it? But say you've got your sheet here and you pop it to one side and you're soldering, the heat is going to oxidize your silver strip, your solder strip. So what I would do is pop it to one side because there's only two reasons why solder doesn't flow. It's contamination and oxidation, oxidation. And um, it won't flow over non-metallic surfaces. So keep it clean. When you cut a nice clean strip of your solder, always use sandpaper first then solder because if you've oxidized your, your solder it'll never flow and you will always have problems with it so just bear in mind once you've taken your little snips off pop it to one side don't put it next to your work wow top tips there um you've got another message coming through charlie and this was from hertfordshire hello hertfordshire um charlie i've never done any sil silver soldering before um, I'm a complete novice. Can you tell me which wire is easier to use, the square or the D cut? Good question. Uh, for this project, I would go with the D because with the square wire, you'll either do it one or two ways. You'll either make a square space on your setting or you'll make a almost like a straight incision on your square wire to allow for the setting, which then you also have to curve as well. So I would say start with your half round, but don't be frightened of your square. They're gorgeous, Charlie. They're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that I hope that helps. It just meant drop it's me a, a message. Good, it's a great question. Yeah. Look at that. And you think? Oh my goodness me! How much that would be if you were looking in? Right, I haven't actually put my spreadsheet up yet because I thought I'm going to price that up and see how much it'd be in my store. So yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah, it, definitely. What the cheap? <laughs> no, well, I could, and understandably so. Um, okay, let's now bring you the other collection of your beautiful multicolored gemstones. Um, multi buy on these because they're beautifully cut, amazing quality stones. Again, oh my goodness. So you have within this. Gosh, is that? this is that a specitite wait is it garnet might be garnet what size Pessonite maybe there's your oh, it's aquamarine three, though, isn't it? and a colorless topaz can you see that yeah i think it is the quality of that lovely little melee topaz yeah, so inside you have a carrot of your stones which includes black spinel Garnet, it is garnet. I think that's a hessonite. Sky blue topaz, I beg your pardon. And what, sorry? And white topaz. But I've been mixing all of these together, don't you think? Yeah, if you can stock up, stock up. Yeah. I mean, the prices are just nonsensical anyway, aren't they? But yeah. it just gives you, it offers you more chances for error, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Loving that. And it's a full carrot of as well. £7.99 pence only. Unbelievable. I think this could be like a, um, a one, you know, you were saying about your hoop earrings. Mm. I reckon this will be a big, oh yeah, a big hit. Yeah, because they are stunning. Well, you could stagger stunning. it, couldn't you? You could have one bigger, then a slightly smaller, then a slightly smaller, all in one oh. hoop, couldn't you? So that that'd be quite nice. Beautiful. Yeah, and if you wanted to do that at home to get that angle, just slip a uh, scalpel blade in between your two hoops, so it raises it or keeps them separate. Because obviously, oh, it's trickier to do when it's yeah. So created that kind of layer. Mm. Unbelievable. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Again, the phone lines have gone completely crazy. Um, so you get your instructions. Keep your messages coming through. We've got a couple of minutes, as it may be, um, between the top of the show. So if you've got any questions for our lovely Charlie, it's been such fun today. Such fun. Um, we've had a giggle. We have had a giggle. It's been a day full of goodies, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been busy as well. And I always learn something. I can't guarantee it stays in there, but I do always learn something well, from you. Well, we, we could say exactly the same. <laughs> I absolutely always learn something too, Charlie. It's been wonderful. Um, now, coming up uh, this weekend is all about rarity weekends. So okay. We've got the biggest pills that Jewelry Maker has ever, ever sold in our 14 years. Just a final recap on today. There is an extremely limited opportunity on today's deal of the day. So the, the amazing um, Van Cleef and Arpels inspired. Uh, if you don't get them in silver, I will grab those. Uh, yeah, me too. I really yeah, like we those. Thought they sold out. Yeah. Um, okay, oh. the single figure quantities. Okay. Right, so um, it was the lowest price. 62 people still have it in their basket. So that's £5 per motif. Uh, per motif. You've got your Onyx 
and you've got your Carl Sedney framed in 925 sterling silver. I mean, you only need to can. add a class there. Oh, yeah, well, that's it. Yeah. Or an ear hole. Job done. Yeah. Gorgeous. And that's the lowest price we believe that we've ever been on a Van Cleef and Arpels inspired clover piece. Um, so you can still get it, just it has been busy. Tomorrow we have, look at this, your satellite spaces. That's a first. I'm excited. Sterling silver satellite spaces. We've got all three colours. And then you've got an amazing project with a lovely Debbie Kershaw with black jadeite, um, which, by the way, is Guatemalan type A black jadeite. Your deal of the day, the launch of your Sky Mountain Quartzite Jade with lovely Dave Troth. Excited about that. Another launch is your Colour Change Australian Opal. I'll be watching that. Very excited. Mm -hmm. Always a popular stone. And then we have um, Yoko of London inspired the purple coloured nucleated pearl oh. projects. The pearls are amazing, by the way, with what our lovely day. Debbie. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be unbelievable. It's all high end this weekend and it started today. Um, you're awesome. When are you back with us? Uh, I think I might be popping in at the beginning of next month and then back at the end of the month. Amazing. I'll see you in the morning. Have a lovely afternoon.